Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Nerd Theory Monday. Yo, what What's up, going everybody? on? So we, uh, we got some interesting stuff to talk about today. Josh, how was your week? How was your weekend? Dude, weekend was good. Um, grinding a lot of that Elden Ring. I also watched oh a bunch God. of Batman this weekend, too. So I had a really nerdy weekend. Um, but yeah, d- getting some good Did levels in Batman? Elden Ring. Yeah, I saw. So I saw the Pattinson one on Thursday, and then I watched pretty much every live action version of batman i did a tier list earlier today of like you know where do i rank them and stuff um so yeah i had a batman filled weekend bro i watched uh i gotta watch it i haven't seen it yet yeah yeah it was good it was good i liked it okay we gotta do a movie bros on that one yes 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 100 percent um maybe we'll see it after the show tonight anyways uh how are y'all doing chat what's going on hope you're all doing well uh we have some interesting stuff to talk about today as always uh josh take it away dude yeah so uh do you want me to share this out too? share the thing yeah sure why yeah why okay cool 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 so the deal is guys this is actually really really fresh um theory just told me about this like as we were about to go live we were going to talk <laughs> I, about something i saw else, i saw the headline and then I, and i'm like hey did you hear about this i didn't actually read it yet so this is going to be news to me as josh is reading it yeah and pretty crazy pretty crazy okay so um and spoilers if no one wants to know in case this is legit we don't know we just sure. literally saw this in an article like two, a minute before i went live so sure sure the title. yeah 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 so um yeah this is pretty wild it's kind of something that we had speculated it would be in the show a long long time ago but it's very wild that they may start the entire show this way and uh yeah so let's just let's get into this so here we're on the direct right now they're referencing an article from making star wars and it says uh the first scene of the obi-wan kenobi disney plus series was recently screened in burbank and yes it takes place during the events of Revenge of the six you know nothing new there but it says the scene is rumored to feature the jedi temple on coruscant where clone troopers are attacking two padawans who appear to be in their late teens or early 20s their jedi masters sacrifice themselves to save their students who managed to escape the temple okay so that's the scene yeah crazy okay but yeah it's saying that essentially this is how they're going to open open um so okay let's just read on a little bit just i want to make sure i don't miss anything interestingly enough this isn't the first time order 66 or the jedi temple has been featured in disney plus series in fact the audience has recently saw that in book of boba fett this is true however according to the report this moment from the obi-wan series is not the same moment that grogu recalled in that tamara morrison series right uh so that's pretty interesting and yeah wow dude like okay so there's a lot there's a lot to get into with this i mean first of all the scene itself being in there like yes that's cool dude yes like we, you know we wanted this we we talked about it we didn't know for sure there were some people bro even when after we first started talking about this people were like they wouldn't do that you know they're not going to put that in the show like you know so that's pretty crazy but the fact that they're going to open the entire show with that kind of a scene wow like dude that is a bold move true but remember they did that something exciting like that with bad batch this is true this is true but i think to do this kind of a scene for the kenobi show i don't know man it's just In live reads, action is it's yeah, different yeah. it reads to me as very very bold because yeah. you're basically putting right out in front a wild piece of star wars canon like a very wild thing that we haven't seen a ton of it's going to set sort of the darker tone for the show i mean you're seeing sacrifice yeah. you're seeing like the tragedy of order 66 and then maybe it like pulls to kenobi or something after this but bro i think this is crazy bold i feel like they're trying to make a statement like right out the gate uh and so if this indeed is true says something about the show that's for sure i've got to see the new leaks long shot but apparently john and dave opened mando season three with luke I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. I'm stuck on this, dude. Wow. This is crazy. I'm like still processing this like in real time here. So I don't know, man. Like, what do you think? Like to open the show like this, if you see this, I mean, what what's that going to do to your anticipation of the show and of this uh, first episode? Well, you know, you start strong, you got to finish stronger. So 
I mean, I think that'll give a big context to who that rumored uh, random Jedi is that's searching for Obi Wan. You know, and that probably that Padawan who's who escaped mm -hmm. is probably the one who goes on to be, what's his name nari nari i think is yeah the name they gave him that's a great point actually yeah so that could be segueing into his character and then yeah, that would make sense down. yeah i like that quite a bit actually that would be interesting because there were a few jedi that did survive order 66 from the temple if you got away but uh we don't really know what happened to them like Quinlan yeah. lost what the what happened to him you know yeah so we'll see yeah i wonder how much of the scene will they show because to me like when you go to order 66 there's there's a whole bunch of interesting stuff that i want to see one thing is if the temple guards particularly even the one that becomes the grand inquisitor if those guards do turn on the jedi or if there's something involved where they leave then they leave because of palpatine or something like that like do you think something like that could be in this opening scene as well can you repeat that again? I was reading chat. Yeah. So Sorry. the the temple guardians. Remember how in Rebels it's explained that yeah they turn into the inquisitors. Inquisitors. Mm -hmm. So do you think that you could see the temp like the Grand Inquisitor there? Because you were saying like it could be Nari. That's really interesting. What if it's actually the Grand Inquisitor and he happens to be there, or they're exploring that? Oh, idea? Crazy. Yeah, that'd be really cool too. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I mean, dude, there's a lot. Like Vader. Do you think we would see Vader in a scene like this? Because Anakin, yeah, hundred percent. So, dude, that's what I'm saying, though. Hundred like, percent. And then everyone bro. who was like saying shit on Twitter when I said I want to see Anakin dice up Jedi, yeah, they better not applaud. They bro, better they, not they, like they, it at all. They better fucking stand down and be like, <laughs> "Oh, okay, well, maybe I shouldn't have been such an asshole to this yeah. guy because it actually happened." Yeah, true, true, double true. I think that, I mean, he doesn't, it's not explained in what we read, but yeah, I mean, I think it totally makes sense, dude. Like, they're having a standoff with the clone troopers that are coming in. Of course, then, if they're having trouble, like, Anakin comes in and works them, bro. And I, oh, man. Like, if this show starts with Hayden Christensen mm -hmm. coming up on some Jedi and, like, working them, bro, I'm going to be out of my chair. I think I'm that's literally going to be out of I think that's chair. too bold to start you with. I think so? Where do you go from that? I mean, that's like you're, that's you're starting at the, the, the high of the high, and then it's just like, okay, what, what's happening now? So it's, yeah. I mean, it's going to have to be. I think they'll probably bring that in later, maybe with like a flashback of. Um, I don't know. It could either be a flashback of the Nari guy talking to Obi Wan, or it could be a flashback of Vader. I guarantee you, we're going to see Vader flashbacks. Yeah, in that back tank. I think so too. Guarantee I, you. I think it's the yeah. I think that's how the could setup. they not the flashback does right. <laughs> never heard that <laughs> <laughs> gotta have them bro you know good, yeah. um yeah that'd be, that'd be good then we could see flashbacks of padme we could see flashbacks of uh you know maybe even his time in the last 10 years mm -hmm. damn bro could you imagine we get a couple episodes that are just flashbacks of vader yeah well i think that you're going to have some moments that are flashbacks of vader like i feel like you you need you need that you know I what i mean so. i hope so. um I hope so. So, but I don't know how much like, so here's the thing, right? With all these Kenobi leaks and we've been, you know, talking about all the different rumors, all the different things. We still have no idea like how much of the show is going to be made up of those things. Because like, for instance, when we talked about Boba, there were some things we talked about, like we talked about um, the rumor of Black Kersantan, you know, we talked about all kinds of rumors. And Kersantan was in it, but like he doesn't play a major role in the story. So there's like a lot of stuff that we could be missing from Kenobi. I think one of the questions is like, how does all this fit together in six episodes? Because it seems like a lot, bro. Like it seems like they're doing a lot. Are they Two still sticking, fights? Are they still sticking to the one hour episode? One hour uh, per episode? I actually, I really don't know. Um, there's nothing that says they have to. I mean, they could do longer right, they, if yeah. they wanted to, right? Yeah, I so, hope so, dude. What I is the longest ago, episode of uh, of Star Wars Disney Plus right I now? I think it was Boba, and I think it was, <coughs> I think it was, uh, was it episode six? It could be episode six. Yeah, I think it's like a, over an hour. It was an hour and like five minutes, or wasn't the uh, wasn't Bad Batch season two, uh, season one opening like seventy minutes though? Oh yeah, it was, but that was like two episodes in one. Mm, okay but in live action i think yeah i think the boba was the, the longest one which was i think it was like a mandalorian episode bro if they push... oh, no, i think it was the finale 
Yeah, I think I think it was the finale, bro. If they so if they push uh hour in each one, I'll be super satisfied. Like six hours would be great, but if they if they go over an hour on like each of these episodes, and, and I think we've been saying this for a long time as fans, when are we gonna get the hour and a half episode? When are we gonna get the movie length episode? Like oh, the long episode. Yeah. yeah, but why not? Like it's a movie that's built into uh like a show a structure an audience and somebody that's like having an experience going through forward. time watching it yeah, i think pe people would watch it bro you know what i mean 100%. like what was that show that had an hour and a half episode um was it sherlock sherlock had some really long episodes i don't particularly remember it was a great if, show yeah yeah it was a really good show 100 i i don't know if that was ever that long i know some of the episodes of like daredevil and the marvel shows got really really long Mm -hmm. um yeah i don't know man i'm just look i'm frankly ecstatic i think that this is such a cool opening to the show and even if it's just that and it cuts into some other stuff like good enough for me but like you could do crazy stuff like i'm telling you right now like i maybe i'm just getting too hyped up about it but dude young hating christensen just show him show him working some jedi right away bro show him work i think it's jedi. gonna happen bro i really do uh, oh man like that's gonna be pretty great and then you cut to like some slower stuff right like kenobi in the desert and, and him in the wake of all of that as he like just looks after luke like i don't know that could be that could work you know what i mean and then you end on a a high note on episode one as well maybe with some inquisitor fight or something like there's there's some room here man there's, there's a lot of room, room bro and i think yeah. it's gonna be pretty badass i think it's gonna be really cool yeah um it's definitely a show that i'm anticipating the most of anything that you know uh, star wars has done since episode three yeah and yeah, they yeah. better get it right because it's you know i think the show's gonna really hit i have a feeling it's gonna do really well yeah yeah well you know what actually it's so funny too is like boba apparently is still doing really well as far as an in-demand show so even though like some people like you and i were kind of like eh, it's good but not great you know it's okay we want better mm -hmm. uh i think by and large a lot of normies actually boba's really hitting uh with a lot of people according to some data that's so. the thing you know that's that's i mean i have such mixed feelings well i don't have mixed feelings i just um you know, Star Wars is becoming so mainstream right now that a lot of normies are going to be. It, there's going to be more normies than the hardcore fans, and they're going to be like, "What are you talking about? It was a great movie. It was a great show. Oh, you're toxic if you don't like it." And it's like a lot of the hardcore fans are going to be like, "Well, no, you don't understand because of this, this, and this for the last forty years." Yeah, that doesn't really fit in the story, or this is a little bit different, or we were expecting something like this, and they're like, "No, what do you mean, Baby Yoda? Haha, <laughs> so cute." It's like, well, the you, okay but you're new to this so there, there's a lot more that you have to do your homework on in order to really understand what's going on it's not just a uh, guns blazing show where it's exciting for a minute and then oh end credits okay let's move on to let, let's watch something else or it, this this is very serious so yeah that's my only issue with star wars becoming so mainstream is that a lot of people are starting to think that well okay maybe this is all there is to this show and it's super mm -hmm. cool. And we're just going to discount everybody else who was a fan of this before it was mainstream. Yeah. And whatever. I don't really like yeah. that fact. But no, I mean, said, I don't I don't like that either. I mean, I think you got to strike a balance, right? Like you've got to be able to like the normies. Well, norm, you know? yeah, exactly. hundred percent. Like normies are important. Like they're a big, important part of the formula. Fans and, like, in general are important. I totally agree. But normies I think, are not. No, 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 no. I, so i actually disagree with you here but maybe that, that can be okay we can have an interesting debate about this let me explain what i think they're really important because in a in a perfect scenario which like marvel's the closest example of this that we have but even they could do better but the idea is if a lot of moms dads grandpas uncles everyday folk mm -hmm. like the thing and they support the thing it creates a windfall of enough cash and enough sort of corporate success that they can keep the party going so like normies are a really important part of that equation because i don't think a hardcore fan base is enough to propel like what it would cost to kind of keep these parties going in a sense so like i think you need to cater to both but i think i think normies are pretty important bro like you you've got to be able to have them 
you know, have an access point and be able to appreciate it and like it at a certain level. And then I think what you do is you just make it so that if they want to dive deeper, like it can be deeper and there can be a deeper and wider experience. Like that's really what Marvel has kind of created. And, yeah. and I think like there's no reason you can't do both, especially with Star Wars. You know what I mean? Well, the thing is, yeah, once you have normies, then then some of those normies will transcend and they'll really go deep into the lore and they'll come watch, you know, some star wars youtubers or they'll they'll yeah. go and read their own stuff and then they'll get really into it but what i'm trying to say is it's not the normies that are the issue it's it's people thinking that they're that this there is this is all that there is to it you know like sure. boba was great it was fine it's like well okay but you know we've been around a little bit longer and we've been reading the comics and the books and we had a different understanding of boba and uh, we thought he would be more like this or like that and, and you know it's that it's that fandom divisiveness where they we just fight against each other mm -hmm. and that's what i don't like and it's mm -hmm. and it's from people who are like very new and green it's like a very established engineer taking on a trainee who's like just got his engineering ring and he's yeah. like a year or two in the game and this dude's been there for like 50 years and there's always this discourse between it's like well you got to kind of understand that maybe the older experienced guy is like understanding things a little bit from a different angle that's yeah, the only I, that's the only issue with with the mainstream stuff i think yeah i mean i totally agree and i think that if disney were to just simply cater to the newer people and like kind of leave you know more hardcore fans behind that would be a massive mistake look in some ways that's what star wars is doing yeah. i don't think that's really star wars's biggest problem um that might be a problem within the fan base you know what i mean but i don't think that's necessarily a a, a disney problem i i think a lot of this stuff there's still ways to go deep on it you know what i mean especially mm -hmm. like the john and dave stuff we can hope obviously that uh kenobi will be um the same boba is just a weird show like it's just kind of a weird example i i don't know how i don't know man i i don't know how much boba's an example of even what we're talking about with like normies versus hardcore folks because it's doing well, but maybe just because it's Star Wars and there's a huge oh, appetite Star Wars for it. Well. Yeah. yeah, and there's also like an appetite for content right now, whereas some of these other shows may have been hurt because there was it was a little more saturated with shows at the time. I mean, really, right. what what else is out there right now? You know right. what I mean? Um, so I don't know, man. Look, I, I get what you're saying with all of that, and I hope that uh kenobi will do both that it'll have normies be like really in, into it and excited and then touch on some incredible lore and give us hard yeah, that's what i want a lot of cool stuff to talk about so yeah and yeah. uh aaron says i never gatekeep star wars theory no i don't i want everyone to be a star wars fan so i don't think you're really understanding what i'm trying to say in the sense that it, people shouldn't be excluded just because they're hardcore fans it shouldn't be just for raking in numbers by bringing in you know uh an audience that can understand really anything just because Bo baby yoda's cute i want the hardcore fans to really enjoy their time too with a lot of references to the old lore material and um essentially the understanding of star wars that has been established for the last several decades so um uh, unfortunately you took that as me gatekeeping but um that's not my vendetta here so yeah, gatekeeping is an interesting thing too because you know, like I think there's all sorts of ways you can like slap gatekeeping as a label on different things. Like I'm sure, you know, what he was trying to get at was saying that like the fans must appreciate all of this backstory and stuff. And like I don't think that's exactly what you were trying to say. That it's not like a mandatory part of enjoying the content that you have to understand all of this lore. But like the flip side of that is also weird and feels gatekeepy as well, where it's like, oh, well, if you try to say that there's more there and that certain people would have an appreciation that is different than surface level fans, like that's where you kind of lose me. Where it's 100%. like, I think it's gatekeeping know, the other way, where it's like yeah. we're just trying to appease to a wider audience of fandom instead of just making Star Wars for the story. Right. And to say that it's like toxic or to have the sort of hair triggered response to say, oh, it's toxic or, or, or gatekeepy when you say those sort of things. I think the best way to say it is just like, nah, man, like that's a value proposition. I think when you buy a brand that is that massive and that big and that old, you must understand that it's going to come with certain expectations from the fans as well as okay. it should. Otherwise, why'd you buy it? 
You know what right, I mean? Yeah. Like buy a different brand or make something up. Then it's then it's a clean slate and there's no gatekeeping at all. You know? Absolutely. 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 You know what else is wild too is that there's a rumor out there mm -hmm. that we could get the first trailer for Obi Wan Kenobi, which we've been waiting for forever this week, my friend. I know. Apparently on Wednesday. But how Wednesday. legit is that rumor? Like, where's the so? Story? So the deal, it's coming from a couple of different people. Nothing like ironclad. Right. But it seems like it would make a lot of sense. And there's a big investor day thing. Disney has a big investor day meeting on uh, on Wednesday. Wednesday yeah. And so it's actually potentially more than just Kenobi. Like it could be. Remember how we talked about last week? They made a IG account and a Twitter account for Kenobi. And we were like, oh, they're ramping up. They right. just made it for Andor as well. So Andor's ramping up. Uh, there could be where, some Marvel stuff announced. Where on is this? Because I, I haven't seen the account. The Andor one? Oh, they're the uh, one. Yeah. So I don't think you can follow them, but they've made the accounts. Like it's one of those weird things where people can see that it's an account that's made. Uh, but I don't even know if it's like public or not. Like I don't even think you can follow it. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, I'm trying to find it right now. Oh well, it's not there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hidden, my worthy Jedi. Let's see. Let me see. You can follow them, but it's pending. Oh, really? Hmm. Interesting. So you can follow them, but it's pending. Yeah. Here's the. Story is good. It will appeal to all parts of the fandom. They just need to focus on writing good shit and stick in Star Wars. Yeah, man. Here's the. Like Mando. Andor one. But. You know they had both sides. Baby Yoda because he's cute. But then also a lot of lore. And it was a great story. Dude, the Andor account's following three accounts, too. Who could they be? It's you, me, and... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's you, me, and uh, yeah. uh, Melvin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, yeah. No, but I mean, like, dude, that would be hype to get the... Um, to get you old trailer this week would be crazy. And oh, especially, dude... Find it, man. This league, I'm still, I'm still kind of stuck on this league, bro. Like, this is pretty wild. Like, order sixty six um, out the gate. We'll come back to it. But did you hear that uh, Star Wars Eclipse is going to be coming out? Rumored 20, 20, 2027. Well, yeah, because we talked. We actually, I told you that like the week you after did. it. I was you like, did. bro, that shit ain't coming out. I was like, that ain't coming out for. I was like, no hour. way, man. It's coming out yeah. for like twenty twenty three. Why would they yeah. release the trailer? You're like why would, five years? Dude, six why years? would they release a trailer? So I have a theory on that too, actually. I, I think they may have released that trailer to try to keep the gig. I think that like Disney was literally maybe thinking about pulling because it's not like Disney hasn't pulled the plug before. They've pulled the plug plenty of times on video games. So I feel like Quantic may have been looking at all their options and said, we need to pay for a dope ass trailer now. And so they like made this trailer and now there's all this hype. So Lucasfilm well, that, doesn't feel like they can pull it. Dude, you know, that trailer probably took a long time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That trailer's incredible. So. Yeah. Can't wait for yeah. it. It's gonna be a really yeah. good game. I think. Yeah, I, I will literally probably be able to play that with my son. That's how long it's gonna take for this freaking game to come out. So yeah. Think what you like, Blue. It's all good, man. Yeah, think what you like, dog. Think what you like, dog. Think what you like. Um so what else do you want to touch on? on that? Do you want to touch on that air of the empire rumor? Yeah, I saw someone mention it in my chat. Uh I was playing Elden Ring, I think it was last night or the night before, and someone mentioned yeah. it. So apparently there's a rumor that, and I don't I, I don't think it's valid at all, but yeah. there's a rumor that uh, Heir to the Empire is going to be a movie uh, made by Disney, and it is going to be at the end of all of these shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so a couple of things on this. So when you sent me this rumor, I looked at it. I always like to see the sources and everything, and so unfortunately it's not coming from a good source so it's on uh geekosity and it's coming from mikey sutton and hey look man if this is true i will go back and say dang mikey got one right you know what i mean i i don't think his track record is all that great however there are some things that make me think that this could be happening and sometimes like people that are in like the insiders game even if they can't prove something 
if they feel like it's going to happen and they have a lot of evidence, they'll just say it's going to happen and that they heard it from a source. And then if it gets proven true, then they're like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. So maybe like that's what's going on here. Because I remember a couple of months ago, there was a report that came out that John and Dave are going to be doing something on the movie side mm -hmm. and that they're going to be doing something working together on the movie side of Star Wars. We have no idea what that means. Like it's so ambiguous what that means. Right. But there's also a lot of rumors and speculation that the Filoni verse is creating a new version of Heir to the Empire. I mean, dude, that's not surprising at all. Like, I'm sure most of the people in chat have thought about that. Um, most of the people that watch my stuff have thought about that. We've talked about it. And so technically, this is possible. And I think it would be absolutely incredible if they if they did this and let it up to like a movie. I think version. it would be amazing, dude. But I mean, you know, wh where is... I mean, where are all these characters going that they're going to lead up in the same spot? And they would have to, are they going to tweak Heir to the Empire? You know, like, are they going to tweak Thrawn? Are they going to change him? Like, is it really going to be Heir to the Empire verbatim or is it going to be something else? Is there going to be Luke? Is there going to be Jorah Sabaoth? You know, um, yeah. Mount Tantus is a thing now. So exactly, it very well could be, and I hope it is. This is something you and I have talked about for years. Yeah. But uh, will it be? I don't know. Yeah. So it's, no yeah, idea. it's hard to say, but. I think the Ahsoka show will probably be our best look at if this is actually going to happen because they have to establish Thrawn. They have to do a lot. Ahsoka meeting up with Luke and being in Boba is like another feather in the cap of this theory because it kind of implies that they're setting all this stuff up to pay off later, right? Like I doubt she's just randomly in there for kicks. Like her and Luke will probably meet up again. There's going to be something else that happens. So if she then just goes to like find out about Thrawn and Thrawn creates enough of a threat to the entire galaxy. Yeah. I think Luke Skywalker would be involved. There's also like a lot of just weird stuff going on with Star Wars right now, like a show apparently being worked on very, very quietly, a movie that's weirdly being worked on quietly. That is rumored to take Rogue One's date, but Rogue One is still dated for next year. So mm -hmm. there's a lot we don't know, bro. And I think, you know, celebration you know may the fourth and maybe some of even announcements this week will hopefully bring some clarity to all of that but it's totally possible and i'll just say this for the record if kenobi slaps if andor's dope if they lead up to heir to the empire with the filoni verse and then we get something absolutely epic that's heir to the empire-esque in the theaters done by john and dave bro it's I, I will probably say the bad times are behind us you know what i mean and i right. will just be fully committed at that point to the repertoire that lucasfilm uh and disney are creating within star wars that would be that'd be a magical feeling man it would be like going back to 2015 before you know before the dark times you know before the last jedi and, <laughs> <For> the <Empire. laughs> it was just we'd be loving it again bro you know well, that's what I hope. I hope that a lot of fans can come together after all these shows. And, um, you know, I don't like this division, man. I've never seen this kind of division before. I mean, there was division with the prequels when they came out. But this is something else. You know, this is yeah. literally next level. And it's it's what I hate about it is that it's turned into like if you like the movies, you're on one political side of the spectrum. If you don't, you're on another political side of the spectrum. And it's just so ridiculous. It's turning absolutely insane but uh to address ryan z turning away business is whack people want to watch the show let them in to see it yeah i agree yeah i agree with that 100 percent. who's turning away business who's yeah i don't know i don't know if he was uh, talking about something else in chat maybe well, something... what we were talking about yeah i'm not really sure but i uh yeah so if, if you guys didn't understand what i was trying to say what i was trying to say and i'll reiterate for the third time is that I don't want them to make Star Wars like they are making it just for Marvel, where it's like, oh, let's just appease newcomers because that's you know like what they're doing with Batu and Galaxy's Edge or, or and and Star Cruiser and all that stuff. Let's just bring in the new fans. Mm -hmm. I want them to also focus on us too, like the older fans who have been there for a long time. That's all I'm trying to say. And for anyone to think that's gatekeeping, well, you're gatekeeping the newcomers. You're just letting them in and not giving a shit about the oldies. So. Yeah, I don't I don't know if like people are freaking out about what you said or whatever in chat. I'm not really paying attention, but uh yeah, I look, I get what you're saying. No, and I'm I just think making some things clear. Okay, because I look, I know the distinction, and I think I mean 
it's an issue with all major brands, but particularly with Star Wars, it certainly feels like a lot of uh, the most hardcore of the fans are not only not being catered to, but kind of ignored in some way. So, you know, just by example, the EU sort of going away. And I know some people make the argument like, oh, it didn't go anywhere. Like, it's still right there. Dude, people were so fair. Paid. Fair, but it definitely was devalued. Like, there's no way you can say that it wasn't devalued by Disney. So, yeah, that's that in some ways was the start of it. And then the treatment of the legacy characters. Maybe you love the treatment of the legacy characters. That's fine. I'm not saying like you're not entitled to that opinion. But the reality is, you got to recognize that's a minority opinion. Most people think that wasn't a good treatment of your legacy characters. So, how is it not reasonable to feel as a Star Wars fan at this point? Yeah, they should be taking care and thinking of the more hardcore fans a little bit more. Like, man, like not to take it to a crazy, toxic Lord of the Rings place, right? Right. But talk about a brand misunderstanding their own fan base you know what i mean like amazon is walking into what they probably thought was going to be happy go lucky let's just make fantasy lord of the rings time they might not even fully understand and comprehend why some hardcore core tolkien fans are taking mm. issue with some of the things that they are doing uh right. and by the way tolkien fans very rowdy bunch bro <laughs> like they're they're definitely not happy and they're gonna be super vocal about it star wars I think has made similar mistakes. I think a lot of brands make these kind of mistakes. The thing with Star Wars is, and this is, I'm going to tie it into this comment. Why does it have to be old fans and new fans? We're all just fans. That's it. Right. And that's what I said. However, when fans are fighting against each other, it's like the Sith and the old empire fighting against themselves. Eventually we're going to die out. You know, it's just, it's just like, there's no point in constantly fighting with each other on what was better and what wasn't. Just let bygones be bygones. If you like a certain era of Star Wars, great. If you like a certain movie, great. If you don't, you don't. That's it. Yeah. As long as we, we can be respectful to each other and understand that we're both just Star Wars fans, then that's really all that matters. Nothing yeah, else matters 100%. at that point. 100%. Do you think that in some ways this is um, a little bit unique to Star Wars almost because of the prequels and because of the sort of generational approach that George took, because you can almost make the argument that like, what is um, like actual star Wars? Do you know what I mean? Like, cause there's at this point, there's kind of like three different versions, two of them done by George, but you can still see that those are pretty different. Uh, sometimes I think about that where I'm like, I wonder if, the Star Wars fan base, one of the reasons that it has this problem is that there are a ton of people that claim like the prequels. Like when we were talking to Dijon the other night, like he mm. said, he doesn't even like the OT. He thinks it's boring. You know what I mean? So like to right. him, prequels is Star Wars. So that could create a rift between him and OT people, people that really don't like the prequels that really love the OT stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you introduce the sequels into it. And so think about this, right? Like talking about a person like Jadeon, he's just likes one of three at this point. There are right. a lot of people that probably just like one of three and they like the OT and they don't like the prequels and they don't like the sequels, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know, man. In some ways, that is kind of inherent to the identity of, of, uh, of that brand. You know what I mean? It is. And so bringing back to what I was saying, um, and this guy says, I think people saying theory is gatekeeping because he previously said the hardcore fans matter and the normies don't. No, I said all fans matter. However, there's an issue whenever the normies discount the hardcore fans and say that, oh, your opinion is invalid because of this, this and this. And it's like, well, we have X amount of years of, you know, history with this franchise that we understand stuff. But the normies just come in there because they think Baby Yoda's cute. It, it, it doesn't give them a platform to then point down and say, shut the hell up. You're a toxic fan just because right. you have opinions. And that's what I'm trying to say is that there needs to be less infighting in Star Wars fandom. And maybe I didn't explain it properly, but there yeah. needs to be less infighting. And we just need to focus on Star Wars going forwards and leave it at that. So with Kenobi, I hope it's going to be great. Boba Fett. I liked the show. I felt it was watered down a little bit. I felt Boba was just, you know, not as uh badass as he could have been. And we, yeah, we uh, elaborated on our points when the show was out. And as for Ahsoka, I don't really know anything about that show yet. Right. Same very with early. Andor. Yeah, it's very, very early. Very mm -hmm. early. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I have high hopes, but I guess we'll see. 
Yeah, and I think that like so so here's the thing too is like from Lucasfilm's perspective, right? They're making content and they are making it for a wide sloth of fans, like a, a mm. bunch of different people. It's a big IP. Star Wars is a big brand, it means a lot to a lot of different folks. So I think it would just make sense, no matter how good you think they were doing before, they want to do better when they approach the content like Kenobi, like Andor, like Ahsoka, even like Boba. It they should have in mind the room that they are in. Like they should be able to read the room and try to do better yeah. at appeasing all of these different kinds of fans. And I think that's like that. I don't understand how that could ever be like, how is that controversial? Like that should be obvious. Like, yo, like, yeah, they should do better. And I think you can take it a, even a step further. Like I'm, I'm being super fucking terrible. Like we know what it is. Like star Wars as a brand right now is on, is, is Rocky. I know some people don't like to believe it. Some people don't see I it. I think it's better now. Well, it's better. But it's not like it's just not the place where we would want it to be. It's not where it was in 2015. It's not where Marvel is currently. And I think I want it to be there. Like, that's all I'm saying is like, I'm not trying to be rude right. about it. I don't even get my kicks off of them being down. Some people get shot in Freud and they like it. They're like, yo, Star Wars is messing up again. And they take pleasure. In it. I take zero pleasure in it. I want Star Wars to yeah, be Yeah, I want better. Star Wars to win, dude. Yeah, I want Star Wars to win. I want it to be dope. Like, I want... Yeah, I want it to to persist and to be cool, and so I think that um, I think that that's really what we were talking about. Is like, can we get the content to be at a place where there's a more ubiquitous feeling amongst fans, like where fans are just like, yeah, like this is this is that thing? Because then I think that the whole idea of like gatekeeping goes away, because like I think naturally, if you like a thing and you're interested in it, you're gonna dig deeper. And it's kind of like what you were saying, like they'll go watch YouTube videos, they'll go pick up books, they'll do some research. Yeah, man. That's part that's called going down the rabbit hole. Like, yo, that's what makes fandom. Like the word fan stands for fanatic. It means you're really into it. So the more you can go, the more connections you can realize, it enhances your experience as a fan. So um, yeah, let's get it done, Kenobi. That's what I'm saying. I'm also really excited about Andor. I'm pretty excited about Andor too. Yeah. I think it's I I think we've got some some I mean there's some weird casting things that are happening like really prestigious like British actors what I don't really mean? know too much just like there's really prestigious British actors that keep kind of being popping up as a being in the show um and it's just obvious that like I think in some ways they're really going back to their roots um you know and maybe we'll find out more about this as we get a little closer to Andor but like shooting at the cardigan sheds you know what i mean like shooting over in england getting a lot of prominent british actors that maybe aren't as widely known around the globe like doing some really old school star warsy stuff at a time period that you can have a lot of fun with that lore you know what i mean like right. there's a lot to explore so i i have i have some high hopes man i'm 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 feeling good and i i think that uh as grumpy as we can both get about star wars sometimes like no i don't think we're ever grumpy i think we're just Fans, oh, I get dude. grumpy, dog. I, phew, dude, I get, no. I get grumpy. I try not to, but I do. Don't I, be like that. We just have opinions, dude. That doesn't make us grumpy or toxic. It just means we have opinions. Yeah, for sure. But I, I think that don't buy uh, into that shit. I no, but I don't consider it a, a bad thing or like, um, like not nah, like I'm. I straight up do get grumpy about Star Wars. And in fact, I'll take it one step further, my friend. I'm irrational when it comes to Star Wars. If I'm being completely honest with you, uh. I'm actually irrational when it comes to Star Wars. Like sometimes I'll say a thing about Star Wars and I'll be like, oh man, like this thing I really like because of this reason. Uh, and then I'll like totally flip. And if they take it a little bit too far, right? Like the fan servicey thing. Like I'll sit here and tell you till the cows come home. I don't care about uh, the, like I remember saying when Luke first popped up in uh, Boba, mm -hmm. I don't care about how good Book of Boba Fett is anymore this is awesome and then the next week i torched the show for not being a good show and i was excited that luke was in it right, right. so i am this is just me an irrational fanboy that loves this stuff way too much spends a lot of time thinking about it talking about it making content about it and i think i'm actually a pretty damn good representation of a lot of what goes on in the star wars fan base so i'm not ashamed by it at all bro i get grumpy like you guys are not pro wrestling fans why is that? I don't know. I mean, I like wrestling. I'm not really a fan, but I like pro wrestling. I've seen some amateur stuff. It's super fun, man. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah. Dude, pro wrestling was huge in the 90s. Huge. Oh, it was yeah, like the golden dude. era. Yeah, yeah, that was the golden era. That was back when Rock was doing it still. Oh, yeah, the Rock was young. Yeah, Rock he was, was getting fun. in fresh, yeah. Yo, I loved his little Hulk videos. Hogan was still in. He'd like throw people around backstage and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that, that kind of stuff was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Josh, hut life or bounty hunter life? Hut life for me, son. It's the hut life for Papa Josh. I just want to lay on my barge, carry me around, feed me. I'm good. I'm good. Maybe when I was a young man, it would be the bounty hunter life for me. Maybe. Not anymore. It's Mandola. I'm a mailman while delivering. I listen to both of your channels. Nothing but admiration for you all. The best Star Wars combo. Hey, thanks, dude. Thanks, man. Appreciate Have that. Have a great um, delivery. Yeah. Yeah. Hope it goes good. Hope the weather ain't too crummy for you. Appreciate you guys. Just one question. Do you think Kenobi will have a flashback of Satine and Mandalore? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. Just to answer that. I, I actually don't. To take it to a serious place, I don't even think Satine will be mentioned in the show. Do you? No, probably not. Yeah, I don't think so. Probably not. Yo, Callisto, thank you, man. Thank you. What's up, guys? I got my arm caught in a machine at work back in November. I was going to tattoo something Star Wars over it. Any ideas? Wrist to elbow. Hmm. You can go with a, a Sith theme. You can go with a light side, dark side theme. You can go with a Empire theme. Dude, you know what would be cool? I, I just came up with this, Brad. And if you actually end up doing this, you have to give me all the credit and tag me on Twitter. Do it like a Darth Vader's like suit but then have part of it exposed and have all the wiring. So like make it look like it's Darth Vader's like arm. Hand. Yeah, but like with like, yeah, like the wiring exposed, maybe some like metal and stuff in there. It's a lot of work. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of work. So yes, you will have to pick up a few extra shifts, but it'll be worth it, bro. Yeah, it'll be cool. Oh, Josh, what? You, man, but your Batman tier list was trash. How are you going to make a tier list and put them all in the same <laughs> tier? Take them no, he's partially right, but they weren't all in the same tier, my man. Uh, but I did have a lot of them in the same tier, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of funny. I did think about that later, actually. You want to read that one? What's up, bros? I just like to hear what one thing you deep down sincerely want to see in Obi Wan show. What do you want to get out of the show? Personally, I want to see him dealing with his pain. Says uh, Obi Wan Denobi. Hmm. I would like to see him dealing with his pain as well as Vader dealing with his pain because he's got mm -hmm. a lot of it. Yeah. And um, yeah, I want to see the evolution of these characters. Yeah, I've said I've said this a lot. I think for me, the most important thing is that it feels really atmospheric and real to the characters so currently there seems like almost a checklist of fun crazy things that are going to happen in the show but the show can't feel like a checklist like i i need it to have this really well-defined like character driven narrative that brings me in and takes me to the suffering that kenobi has so i think that that tone is so important it can branch and grow and get away from that tone but i think if it finds that tone and holds it through most of the show then all of the crazy stuff will work to serve the story and not just be fun trappings and, and fun fan stuff so uh, i think that's probably the thing i'm looking forward to the most my highest anticipation is that it's just an incredible show top to bottom indeed spared no expense Josh, show your T front and behind T via stand. <laughs> like he wants to get you to stand, bro. No, to like see your body. Well, this is a, a ongoing thing. There's these people have been hitting me up because like I wear a bunch of cool nerdy shirts, right? It's a Dragon Ball shirt, by the way. I'm not gonna. Nice. I'm not doing the fashion show. Well, we're, but we're like, gonna get yeah, copyrighted from that shirt. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But like, no, they're always like trying to get me to stand up, show shirt full design. I don't know. It's weird. I'm trying to get. Thanks, anyway. So I'm trying to see more of Josh. I guess. Yeah, they know I'm not wearing any pants. Thanks, Brady. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're not wearing pants? No, nah, well, who does? What if Luke... Okay. What if... I had to read it first. What if <laughs> Luke had kids in between six and seven who escaped, but Luke didn't know they survived, and then they go and slaughter Ray? I don't think that would happen. No, I don't think that would happen, but that would be interesting. Uh, do, what do you think the chances of Luke having uh, a kid are? Blow. 
Yeah, like super low. Would you hate it though? No. Yeah, that's the thing, right? I no, think about that, that sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Well, like even if they go, like let's say they go, what do you think about Ray training Luke's kid or Luke's <laughs> grandkid? Right, but better than Ray on her own, yeah? No. <laughs> no, because no, now you're you're you like just leave leave Luke alone. You killed him. Just yeah. leave him alone. But what if his son, it, it, like she's training no his more. son, and she hands him the lightsaber, it's the little kid's like, like throws it over. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you don't think? I'm just saying. And then, like, and then the next movie, he ca he's a ghost, and then he captures it. He's like, <laughs> my father's lightsaber deserves more respect. Respect. Put some respect and on then, my And then in the movie after that, then he like throws it and steps on it and spits on it. And then the one after, he like cleans it off. And it's like, oh, no. But what if what on the other end of this, there's the promise that you get just Luke's kid, no more Ray. Like, what if we're like the Ray's gonna go? She, she's gonna she's gonna get whacked, but you need to suffer. Or she will be immortal. They will deep fake her for the next thousand years. Yikes. They will be like, you will like Ray. We Yikes. will make you. We will make you understand Ray is Star Wars. And yeah, if you don't, so. you are sexist. You're racist. Your misogynistic piece of poo. Dang, bro. That's a bold strategy. We'll see how that pays off. I uh <laughs> I think but if you like her, then you're none of those things and you're a good true, person. True, 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 true. You're a good person. So I I don't know, man. I, I just think that they could still do some fun, cool Star Wars stuff. They could involve the sequel trilogy characters. Like to me, like I don't hate Ray as much as as you do. I don't hate I don't uh, hate her. Well, I I, 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 I want to like her. I I want to like her. Yeah, you know, I want to have daughters one day, maybe. I want yeah, to but I mean, to a, a, a strong female lead. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Look, I just look for me. It's like this, man. I think that she's just a Star Wars character, definitely not the best one, and I think the scripting was really whack towards her. Do you know what I mean? Like, just the scripting, the writing for that character oh, yeah. was well, that's, was that's, pretty whack. Of course, it's it's not Ray as a character; it's Ray's character writing. Yeah, it's not Daisy Ridley. It's it's what she was told to do. Yeah, but why not? Uh, why not inject some more interesting things? Like, I guess what I'm saying is this: like, you say no, I say they need to do something to try to make whatever they do next uh, fresh. Like, here's here's what I'm saying: I think the idea of them simply doing more sequel trilogy stuff is like mind-numbingly bad. That's a mind-numbingly bad idea. But where I can meet them halfway in the middle is if they want to use those characters and all the stuff Focus they establish Kylo, and all the stuff, if they want to use them, but inject some interesting new ideas, perhaps some ties to other things that we love within Star Wars, that is a better proposition to me personally as a fan. I, I just think if, if you if you focus on if you focus on Kylo, then that'd be cool. Yeah, but I mean, you could do that, but do you really think, like, think about the movies we just saw. Do you really think they would bring Kylo Maybe. in? 789? Yeah. Okay. Like, do you think they would bring Kylo in and not have Ray involved? No, they'd always have Ray involved, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, you're going to have that probably no matter what, is what I'm saying. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't mean I have to like it. No, you don't have to like it. But you're missing but my point. You're dancing me, around my right? point. It's, it's it's for sequel lovers. So that's fine. Yes. But the next series of movies, even though they use this, this is what like I want to just focus on what you just said. It's for sequel lovers. Well, what have we just been talking about? The they can't do that. They have to make it for all the fans, right? So no matter what, if they oh, but, make but, more content Josh. with the sequel characters, it can't just be for sequel fans. That's my point, is that it can't be. Oh. Yeah, but Josh, they don't care. They only care no! about prequel fans. They only care no, about new fans. That's not they true. Don't care. They want the prequel fans, the original trilogy fans, to die just like they no. killed Han Solo's character and killed him and killed Luke. They want us to go away so they can have their own crap and probably not pay George any royalties on any of these. So old who's stuff. they though? When you say they, who's they? Who's Disney. 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 But who at Disney? Who? The suits. Kathy? The ones sitting in the suits. JPEG? I don't know, dude. I don't know who. Just I know the suit. So people. just to be clear, I don't know who you, per se. You think that, that the people it. that spent four billion dollars to acquire IP 
want none of the fans that came with that IP. They only want the subset of fans that have now found Star Wars. You're that's yeah. what you're saying. Yes. Do you understand how illogical that is? It's very logical from the um, facts that we've been presented. Uh, they had George Lucas. No, sequel it's trilogy. not logical. Let, let me explain. They had George Lucas's yeah. sequel trilogy. They threw it in the trash, even though they told him that they were going to go through with it. Yes. Why they did they do that? Let's stop there. Why did they do that? Because they didn't like it. Not ex well, maybe, but that's not why they did it. They did it because they didn't think his movies would make money. They said, George, your stuff's too weird. We want to make movies for the fans. We want to make money. We just spent four billion dollars. So look, I'm just saying that like his stuff's I weird. It, it was it was it was yeah, Luke, it's weird. It was Luke giving rise to a new Jedi Order and then Darth Maul and Darth Talon and a whole and, criminal underworld. How is it was weird? all gonna because it was all gonna take place inside of a microbe. And they were no, 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 no. That, that, yeah. that was, no, that was one theory that he had. He had several different sequel trilogy treatments. The yeah. one that he was creating was the one with Maul and Luke and Talon. That was the final one. Yeah, but here's the thing. Like this is they, this is all documented in the, yeah, in the Star but, Wars archives. Right, but you don't have to you don't have to do documentation, you don't have to cite your sources, you don't have to go to the library. You just have to know that a corporation that spends four billion dollars makes money moves. They make money moves, baby. So when they looked at George's stuff, they didn't move on it because they didn't think it would make money. I'm not saying they were right, but I'm saying their motivation is not that hard to figure out. It wasn't a vendetta against George. It wasn't, oh, we want to do our own version of Star Wars. No, that makes zero sense, dude. They no, wanted to they make any money against George. They just, yeah, they just care about cash. But that's, yeah, the, that's where the problem lies and that they think that they know that these idiot suit businessmen and women think that they know better than the guy who created the freaking story himself i guess I'm and when they that. lie to his face and when they actually say it when bob Iger says that in his book that george wasn't happy about this yeah. that george actually told kathleen what like what the fuck are you doing when they gave mark hamill his star in the hotel across the street this is all written down it's all yeah. there yeah and and people want to sit around and be like no that's what george and it's like no, dude, I know people that know George firsthand. Right. And no, I, I'm with you 100%. Absolutely despised. Yeah, the I'm with you 100%, but I feel like we're diverging from the original thing that we were talking about. The original thing that we were talking about was you saying um, that you felt like they, meaning Disney, don't care about OT or prequel fans and they only want to support these new fans. And I'm just yes, saying that, like, that. But that, but what I'm saying is, there's no evidence of that that doesn't make any sense. There is evidence you, of that. Look what they did with the sequel trilogy, and then look what they're doing with 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 Batu, Galaxy's Edge. Nothing original, in sight except for the Millennium Falcon. They, well, one thing, yeah, non Jedi no, 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 thing. No, no. Throw that in there, right? But so here's the thing, though, is Star that Star Hotel sequel trilogy. Yeah, yeah, but you can say all of those things, but it's not drawing a line to them not caring about prequel fans or OT fans. What I'm saying to you is this. I can totally agree with you that they're mismanaging the brand. They don't understand the brand and they don't understand the fans. But to say that they are specifically making decisions to alienate parts of their own fan base is irrational. It doesn't make any sense. They're doing it despite not wanting to do it, which is actually worse and more hilarious. They don't want to scorn these fans. Now, I, maybe some I, of the people have a vendetta against certain fans that have been vocal about, you know, taking a crap on their stuff. That's fair to say. But to say that Disney, the brand, again, that is legally bound to shareholders to make money. So it's not even a, it, it's like not even a discussion, dude. They, they would literally be sued. Like if you could prove in a court of law that what you are saying is true, you could sue as a shareholder, the executives at Disney, because they're doing something to specifically alienate fans that are a part of a massive brand that they made. So that's like buying this huge thing and saying, but we don't want anybody that enjoyed this thing. Like we're going to buy this pizza, this, this pizza, this, this certain type of pizza. Oh man, people love this pizza. Holy crap. This pizza is so good. We're going to buy this pizza, but we don't want anybody that's ever had this pizza to enjoy it. We only want you to try it because you've heard how good it is, right? That's illegal. Like they can't do that, bro. I think that they're doing exactly that when they're mismanaging something that is so freaking difficult to create as star Wars. I think so when they have a director true. coming in and they have JJ coming in writing seven and then they hand it off like a speed run, like a, like a freaking baton race but even before he can hand it off they give the they throw the, the guy another baton they're like here run 
You had two guys running with a baton in different directions. Yeah. And you got uh, Ryan Johnson creating eight. Yeah. And asking him to change stuff with episode seven, the end of episode seven, this and that. So we got Luke without using the force because mm -hmm. we all know Luke is castrated in episode eight. Doesn't yeah. give about it, gives a shit about anything. And then we got nine where JJ comes in again and completely retcons that movie. Yeah, it's a mess. We but... have a we have Disney, first of all, not knowing what the hell they are doing with Star Wars, one of the yeah. biggest IP in the world. Yeah, I agree with They spent four billion dollars on that they wanna make money on, but hey, yeah. <laughs> we know better than you, George. You you created the whole thing, but we know better than you. We want to make money. And we're mm -hmm. just going to throw it every, everything that you did out the window, and we're going to do our own thing. How did that work out? Yeah, I mean, it's even a, if the it, fans were were super happy, there's still such an inconsistency in the story, and it's just jaded as fuck. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, one goes this way, the other one goes that way, and then then she is a nobody, and then she is a somebody, and then she, she was alluded to be a Kenobi, yes. and yes. then she's now a Palpatine, and it's like. Dude, I'm and with then you. Shin, I'm with you Shin, on Shin, all he dies for a second, then he doesn't die, and then it, it's like oh, they fly now, and it's all the, all these like things that just don't even they're gimmicky. Like, but it's, it's just, in, but it's ineptitude. It's not uh like an actual like this isn't like there's a sleeper agent like Kathy. It's not a she's a secretly a Trekkie or something, right? And she's a sleeper <laughs> agent trying to destroy Star Wars. Like that ain't what's happening. Like I, fact, I genuinely think that they do not want the old trilogy fans or at least i'm made to feel that way okay that's or, fair. They, or the prequel fans yeah so that's totally fair and i think that is actually maybe the best way to say it is that it feels like and as a fan i feel like they don't care about me now that i think is a hundred percent fair and also something that the company needs to like because here's the, here's the way i think maybe we both feel the same way about it we just think about it in different ways because i think that's really where the crux of the problem is is that when you as a fan express the way you feel about it disney has unfortunately in the wake of that their pr strategy has been kind of like screw the old fans that i can get behind because in that well yeah it, what, what did you think i was saying well they're not actually trying to push these fans away it's not that they don't care about these fans it's that the the uh feedback they're getting that feels represented from well, those types of fans they have been a they've done a terrible job of making those people feel heard and also listening do you know what it, i mean it, in, in my opinion i think that you should actually try to not lose those fans instead of just yeah. being mismanaged and oh well if we lose them what oh well you should do your best to hold on to them so yeah. that in the same sense that negligence is the same has the same effect as not giving a shit in my opinion it certainly has the same effect. My point was that it is not a direct line to intent. Their intent Josh, is like, not to destroy that fan base, which is very important like, because it look. gives us hope that they could learn, that they could well, actually now, get yeah, to I mean, where now they Now they're were. going after all these prequel trilogy stuff and releasing these books because they know that, okay, hey, there's a fandom there. Maybe we're going to make some money out of it. Yes. But look, they created Galaxy's Edge, which was just a sequel trilogy inspired land mm -hmm. why yeah. would you do that when you have an ip that has 40 years of history and you create a land that has what two years three years when they created galaxy's edge four years of history yeah like wh what is the reasoning behind that yeah i mean look i think there's a whole bunch of things that you could think about as to why that is the case but i think it plainly just comes I, I would say it's an ego thing right it's like they think that their stuff and maybe there are some people at disney that are like that blind to the actual fan feedback to the declining you know trends well, of star wars to the declining box office what i didn't want to say but i i know several people who have worked at lucasfilm back when george was there and no longer anymore and they don't know a lot of people who are still there a lot of very higher ups that genuinely have said that they do not want anything to do with for the future of star wars with the prequels or the original trilogy fans and they just want to go forwards and they want to just cancel that crap out now i don't know if well if that's lying. i mean look I don't if that's if actually being said or if that's like something that is being expressed by executives out there then that's like a huge problem of course because well, this is I, where I, I get i get my my thoughts from right it's not like i'm just like oh they don't like us it's like well i'm mm -hmm. looking at the, the facts 
but I'm also looking at things that people have told me that I've worked there in the past mm -hmm. that now like know these people and they know the insides of what's going on and the things that they're saying. And it's like, oh, well, that's kind of unfortunate if that's the case, because I wish that, mm -hmm. you know, we could be included. And that's why in a lot of my videos lately, I've just been saying, you know, I, I hope that we can all be included and Star Wars can be more inclusive in the sense of what it's bringing in, you know, episodes one through nine instead of just seven through nine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that there's some evidence to suggest that this is a lesson that they are actually learning and that things like Galaxy's Edge or maybe even, you know, other major monolithic structures within Lucasfilm, they're big ships, man. They're hard to turn around. You know what I mean? Like they're you can't just like turn on a dime and make Galaxy's Edge into prequel land. Now, is that something that they well, should no, think but... about and they should try to do? I think so. But um, yeah, it's just not something that's going to turn on a dime. And if you look at some of the things that they're doing within the video games and merchandising, I think there's a lot of evidence to suggest they are becoming aware of that. Like they are listening. I mean, for God's sakes, we're talking about Kenobi. It is like a prequel show, bro. Absolutely. Like, you know I mean? That's why I'm so, so excited for it because it's, yeah. it's going to the heart of Star Wars and you know what it really is about the main characters and not so much about all of this new stuff that they're just creating out of thin air. Yeah, but like it's just like doesn't it feel a little counterintuitive to say that like Disney doesn't want those fans when we're talking about the biggest show they'll probably ever make, a show that's been in development for like well over six years that's all about prequel stuff? Like, do you know what I mean? Like it's well, it's actually like a wedging, a, a bridging between the two, but it's like, dude, like I hear you, and there's all sorts of problems with the brand, but I just think that sometimes like we get um uh, very like battle drawn or whatever like we we want to view these things through the lens of like well it must be an attack it must be an agenda it must be this that and second and the third like bro no it's not like it's the occam's razor solution is just ineptitude which by the way there's a long history of corporations in hollywood getting brands wrong misunderstanding them screwing up i mean again look at what's happening with amazon right now like shit happens bro it just unfortunately happened to a brand that you and i absolutely love so I don't I think know, man. You're giving them a little bit too much credit. They're I mean, Disney. Maybe I hope. They, I mean, they yeah. are the most powerful company in the world, essentially, when it comes to media. Yeah. They they can make something really right, like what they did with Marvel, or they can destroy it. Yes, they know but, what they're doing. Yeah, but like again, like think about what you're saying. Like you're saying that you think Disney knows what they're doing. And that they're destroying Star Wars. That's a counterintuitive statement. Like, there's no way. I, I didn't it's, say is, that. That is the train that you are on, my friend. No, and it's it not. doesn't make what any sense. What I was sense. saying was that I don't think that they have any appreciation for the prequel trilogy fans or the original trilogy fans. And I think that they want to get rid of them. And I think mm. they want to create their own new brand of Star Wars, which is this sequel trilogy stuff, like what they've done with Galaxy's Edge and the Star Cruiser Hotel and all this. They're pumping all this money into their uh, resorts. Yeah. And their rides, and it's all sequel trilogy stuff. Man, what if I want to go to Hoth? Like, what if I want to go to Mustafar? Yeah. No. What if dude, I want like, to go to Naboo? Like, bro, I, I, can't. I totally get you. And I'm I understand what you're Batu. saying. And look, in some ways, like, they are kind of doing that, right? Like, in the High Republic is its own thing. Even though it's not sequel stuff, it is a Disney creation, right? So it's a Disney creation. It's like their own brand, it's their own thing. Um, I totally get that, but I just I just disagree. That there is an agenda or that there is this this thing they're trying to do to like wane out these fans or get rid of these fans like that is so crazy to me like i just can't i can't wrap my head around it and, and if and if i am giving disney too much credit by saying that um you know all of these professionals and a lot of people that have worked at lucasfilm for years and years and years that they don't want to make content that makes as many star wars fans as possible pumped then like shit i'll be that guy like i'll give them too much credit because i just can't believe i, I don't i that we live in a world josh oh man when 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 the uh andy gutierrez uh lady is having that the picture of luke with the x through it and then and mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. uh, but andy's luke fanboy, one... she's drinking luke fanboy yeah. tears. but they're publicizing that putting on the star wars show why would you want to why would you know that's such a sensitive topic of killing? Did they Luke? put it on the show, or was it on her personal stuff? I'm, I'm, her personal uh, stuff. I think it was. She was drinking from it from the show. No, no, I don't think so, bro. I think it was. Well, on then, her. where's that cup from? 
Look, I mean, look, I'm not going to defend that move. I think it's a boneheaded Luke move. Luke fanboy tears. I mean, like, yeah, like yeah. How, how are all these things okay? But then if, like, Mark Hamill mentions something about when the trailer drops, they're like, take that tweet down right away. And that, it's ridiculous. Look, again, but see, that's the so thing. You can like, prod and poke at fans who, who have made yeah. this, this franchise a $4 billion franchise mm -hmm. as much as you want for yeah. a topic that you know is sensitive when you damn well ruined the arc of such a legendary character yeah so look i've been saying for years bro the pr is their biggest problem the pr is the biggest problem and i know everybody loved uh the lady whatever her name was the pr lady everybody loves this pr lady she's great whatever she sucked dude she sucked she was terrible at her job she's an old boomer that didn't understand why is gutierrez like you just said that is the that is it quintessential on the nose reduced down to the finest point possible that's the whole thing how is people like that able to say outlandish shit like that? How was Ryan able to say outlandish shit? How was JJ able to go on uh, night television, late night TV, and say that fans that didn't like Ray were sexist? How is that possible? And yet, you're right. He says one thing about a trailer and they come after him. They're watching everything. They had sensibilities and filters that were not up to date with the modern way of doing conducting business on the internet. Again, though, I still don't think that's necessarily agenda-based. It's just ineptitude. But it's it that ineptitude. That has put us into the position that we're in. I, I think mean, it is, man. I mean, look, we they, might just they, have they, to agree to disagree on this. I, I just, I don't. But know. there's nothing to really disagree on. I mean, you even said it yourself. Is that they're they're they pick and choose mm -hmm. when they want to put give a slap on the wrist to somebody. Yeah. Right. And mm -hmm. when all the times have called for them to really give someone a slap on the wrist for either making fun of fans, prodding at fans, just being an asshole, being unprofessional. They've never done that. They have allowed it to happen. They've let the posts be there and they've just been okay with it. But when it comes to them, like, oh, you, you can't leak a trailer, a possible hint to a trailer that may come out. Mm -hmm. uh, that's got to go. Yeah. Uh, They're making the wrong call. Okay. Yeah. No, I look, I'm when it, with when you. it comes to creating uh, Star Wars that includes all of fans, one through nine, they create stuff that only incorporates seven to nine as disjointed as it was, and they keep trying to shove it up our ass that this is going to be the Star Wars. This is going to be the new thing. This is what you're going to have to like, rinse and repeat. And I'm not down for that, dude. I'm not yeah. down for it. And and I will not... call it out. Yeah. I, you know, I don't owe anything to Disney. And when I was a kid, you know, I was a huge Disney fan. I, I remember I was a Matt. I went to uh, Disneyland when I was nine years old. That was the first and only vacation I had with my parents. Um, because they were split up and they took me there because my grandma died. So they took me together and it was a magical place. It was a beautiful vacation for me. And I love Disney. I love Disney shows. And as I grew up, I started to realize that, you know, those corporations are really not as magical as they seem. Mm -hmm. That now that you're dealing, now that you've taken my most sacred franchise in the world, you're kind of destroying it just for your own greed, for your own... Um, ill intent and your lack of understanding of what this story is all about that it, and you've turned it into a, a money game yeah and it's so much more than that if you can really capitalize on the heart of star wars you can make more money than you'll ever dream of but if you don't and you mismanage it and you make fun of fans and so on and so forth then you're really going to be shooting yourself in the foot You'll make money regardless, but you're not making as much and you will have a tarnished fandom in the in the process. Yeah, I, I look, I think that you and I agree on like 90 percent of this. It's just that like when you take that extra 10 percent and imply like a motive, intent and uh, a disregard for fans, I just can't go there. Like, I just disagree. I, I think, think they that have a disregard for fans for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I just I, I think that maybe some individuals do, but. I maybe this is the best way to say it. Even if executives feel that way, they didn't become executives by following their feelings about all of these things. It's dollars and cents, baby. Like you got to make money moves. So they don't have How's the luxury. working out for them. Well, I mean, arguably, Star Wars, even though I think in a very precarious brand situation, did make five billion dollars on its uh, last couple of movies, right? So, like, they, they would have made that regardless. Yeah, but. Did you just ask me how you, it's you, doing? You, I mean, that's how it's have, doing, you know? That's how it's doing from the work that George put into it. 
Yeah, but that's still how it's doing. So, like, they didn't, like, totally bomb the the trilogy as far as from a financial perspective, you know, from a story perspective, for sure. But you can't sit here and say that uh, they didn't make $5 billion. So they made $5 billion. You know what I mean? They made $5 billion from an IP that was established for 40 years that sold for $4 billion. And because people want to see the final three films of a story that was already concluded. And they're gonna I, see it. You, bro, you can, you're not you can, gonna get you an can, argument from me on roll, that. But... You can roll the film, and it'll be someone peeling an egg, and they still would have gotten those tickets, rather than whether the person <laughs> liked mean, the I movie or not. I don't it's know like... about that. I feel like maybe you and I are gonna uh, depart on the fringe as we get a little closer to the fringe. We'll just depart. But uh, yeah, no, man. I look. I just think that at the end of the day, my take on Star Wars as a brand is that it is in a precarious situation. I think that there's a lot that has gone wrong under this sort of first watch of Disney. My faith in why I think that uh, just beyond uh, Kenobi and stuff, like I have a lot of faith in generally speaking, the future of Star Wars content is that that disagreement we have about intent becomes really important because I think that someone like Kathy, I think someone, you know, like JPEG, I think all of these folks actually want to turn it around. They're not so egotistical or so locked up into their own way of thinking that they're not they're going to completely ignore the room. You might lack hope because you think they're actually intending that. I don't. I think they're going to, Josh, if they can, turn this thing around. Intent here doesn't make a difference if there is intent or there is an intent. The fact that they don't make it plainly clear that they're really trying to bring in all the fans to me is the same as them intending not to bring in the fans and just focusing on the sequel trilogy, which they've created. That's how I see things. Right. And maybe I can meet you there because I think that frankly, that is fair. Are they if paying we... you, bro? What, like what the, what's going on today? What do you mean? I, first of all, like, um, I, I'm just going to say it. I'm pretty unreasonable most of the time, but I'm the one with the reasonable takes. You're making me look logical by this, by the craziness of, of your statements. Um, but you know what? Maybe I'm wrong because a lot of people think they're going to wreck on the sequel trilogy. So maybe people are just as apt to well, believe that's never that happen. they want to destroy Star Wars. Do you know what I well, mean? Well, I'm taking this so serious and so personally because to me it's such a personal thing. I mean, it, like, you know, when you it. when you spend your entire life um, fantasizing about these characters and living in this world of Star Wars, it's not something you take lightly. And then now, of course, that this is my actual life. This is like beyond beyond just fantasy this is like my yeah. career it is so much more important to me too in the sense that this is everything i have yeah you know and it's I, like and yeah. i i don't want it to to be tarnished it's like i could go man i could play it i could go along and i could i could be a shill i could get yeah. i could have played it very well i could have been at freaking star cruiser right now you know? yeah with gaia chilling yeah man you no know? but i i singing I don't want to do that. I want to be real and I want to say, look, I think some of this stuff is bullshit. I think it could be handled better by a lot of the higher ups. And I think they really need to let the um, the guys writing the stories really just uh, need to be screened a little bit better. You know, like John Favreau mm -hmm. and, and Dave mm -hmm. Filoni. Those are the guys I think that take Star Wars to the next level. But I think when it comes to, you know, the previous, let's just hand Ryan the keys. I mean, for God's sakes, he went in there wanting to write a non Skywalker related movie trilogy for star wars and they were like well, why don't you just write episode eight yeah i mean look i mean we talked about this at great length i agree that those are boneheaded decisions i think that maybe like i'm not uh communicating it the right way but like again i think that you and i agree about a lot of how it happened how it landed with fans and what it looks like i think the biggest disagreement that we have is that what i think the intention of the people that are running star wars is to turn it around and win people like you back you might not believe that well i'm back and you kenobi yeah but who, I mean, who made kenobi, kenobi mando but who made kenobi like you, you know what i Isn't mean like it? yeah so what? that's my point is like they're yeah, making now this... what do you mean they had seven years that's yeah, but that's what I mean. It's like it's shit it's, that they put out and tried to shove up our buttholes and say that this is how it's gonna. I mean, they destroyed Han Solo's goddamn arc, bro. I know we've talked about this, sequel and they turned a him lot. into some like, deadbeat I, piece of shit father. I know who I abandoned know. his kid and turned his neglected his child and turned him into yeah. like some sadistic, psychotic, moody Anakin times 10. 
Yeah, but you'll, look, you'll find no argument with me in how it worked out and, and what happened. It was bad. But what I'm saying to you is the reason I have hope in the future is because, in my opinion, the intention was not to do that. They just misunderstood the assignment. They didn't understand the assignment. Oh, you, don't and hopefully, you don't misunderstand. You don't buy. You don't spend $4 billion and then misunderstand. Bob, I, uh, bro, Bob I agree with you. Even, Look, you sound it, like a dad. Everything you was sound like a dad. Everything like was methodical. Like Star Wars on your on your lap, and you're like, "Listen up, kid. You don't spend four everything billion dollars and misunderstand it." Was you think, methodical. You think they don't understand that? Josh, Bob Iger wrote in his goddamn book that he methodically planned. He closed freaking Disneyland, brought George over for lunch, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. was like, "So, George, yeah. who's gonna take over Lucasfilm when you go? You're getting up there." He yeah. said this. Oh, yeah. What? He got him. He got He's him, bro. Goddamn Palpatine. He played man. him. He played him. He's yeah. Freaking Palpatine dropping but, those but ideas see, in like, his head. Right. But here's the thing to me, I respect that. I respect that. I respect the shark, man. I respect Ooh. the shark. Absolutely, I wow. do. Iger's thinking about his own legacy. Iger's thinking about that IP. Iger's thinking about the future of yeah, Disney. He wants As... that other gem on his freaking gauntlet, is what he wants. Well, but by the, the way, if gem. you're if you're invested in Disney, don't you want the guy doing that Damn, don't bro. you want wow. your man hey i'm just calling it like it is you don't invest in disney and say you know what he probably shouldn't get star wars give it to sony or some other shit no man you get that you yeah, get that get gem star wars and you and then... turn that five billion dollars around let's go yeah but but the issue is that he promised george that we're going to use your treatments and this is why george lucas was pissed and why he went on that harry rosen or whatever that dude's name is and called them what he did. Harry Rosen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever his name. Uh, is. Yeah, yeah. No, I look. I agree with you, and I think at the end of the day, because like, first of all, it's technically not clear that he like promised that they would use his stuff. But he, but from what oh, I who read, are you in it, working for right. But now? but who are you working for? But I mean, look, the shield checks on the way, baby. But uh, in all seriousness, I think um, it is absolutely fair to say Damn. that Bob um, did probably imply to George that they were going to use those. I, I do think that that's a part of the formula. There's a missing piece there. And I do think he probably implied that. Um, but again, man, I mean, look, George, George signed, you know what I mean? He signed, he sat down, he signed In and, good he, faith. and he said, he said, Hey, big daddy, big daddy, Iger, take my toys, give me the check. And uh, you make some theme parks and, and, and make daddy a couple extra bucks. And that's what happened. And he ate his lunch. Yeah, that's why he didn't go to any of the premieres, and that's why he said all that shit to uh I know Bob Ross, whatever his name is. <laughs> he did, he did. He said it to Bob Ross. Look, no, I look, I'm with you, man. I just think that the intent is an important part of this. Like, did Iger understand Star Wars? No, but that's not Iger's job, no, bro. Nobody really Iger's... does, except for George. That's why you gotta use his goddamn treatments. I know, and but then, George and then, and then hired now his Kathy son, Dave Filoni, take... is working on it, which makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, but George made Kathy the president. Yeah, and then he wasn't very happy with what she did in the end. It's but whose written. fault is that, dude? You think that that's not on George just because he hires her, but she doesn't do the if thing I he wants trust her to do? You, if I trust you to do something, and I, I hire you to take over after I'm out, mm -hmm. and you completely go against what I asked you to do, yeah, I'm going to be pissed with you. I that's think your you fault. Every... No, 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 no. First of all, no. You have every right to be pissed, but that's not her fault. That's your fault. That's, you promoted that's, her. Dude, Josh, that's like saying that's the, the Jedi, first rule of leadership. It's that's like your saying, fault. Was it the Jedi? Was it the Jedi Temple's fault that Anakin betrayed them? Was it the Jedi Temple's fault that Anakin betrayed them? The Jedi yeah. Council, was it their fault that Anakin betrayed them? No. Same thing. They trusted him. Yes, they did, but they didn't. Oh, hire there, him. there you go. What? They didn't sign a contract. They did. He's working as a Jedi. Jedi no. get paid. Do they? Yeah. Hmm. I actually never knew that. Yeah, what do they paid. buy with their payment anyway? I don't know. Shill they don't checks. have any positions. They, shill checks. they don't have any possessions. How can they? What do they do with the money? <laughs> I don't know. Someone's got to pay for those robes. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Um, so basically, to take it full circle, we both are super excited for future sequel trilogy content. We're very, <laughs> very. <laughs> We're very yeah, excited that wow. that Kathy is wow. is is uh, on the I way. I say to something, save you you dig your little finger into it, and then <laughs> I are like, oh yeah, let's go to Kenobi. 
yeah no, 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 okay. no look i look i appreciate the discourse and i think that it's it's a fun conversation to have but i think that like really and truly like we we do sort of just part on the way we think about all of this you know what i mean like uh, frankly man like i think it's kind of convenient to um attribute like this narrative to it right it, 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 it's more what interesting narrative? The narrative okay. that the, like the narrative that they actively want to disengage these fans to, to make these fans go away and that they want to make them their own version of Star Wars. Like yeah. that's a more that's a more convenient narrative. You know what I mean? So I understand getting behind it. But just because it's more convenient uh, and it's like sexier to think about, that doesn't mean it's based in reality, dude. Like I'm just telling you, like that's to me, it is beyond absurd to think that they Josh, don't if you're wearing money. Iron Man costumes all day yes i'm gonna believe you're an iron man fan and when i say you're an iron man fan you're gonna say no i'm a batman fan how the hell am i supposed to know that if all you're pushing out is iron man okay i mean yeah that's a i guess that's a fair point point. and again i can say that the results are very similar to that but the difference is the intent you think how do you the know intent, the intent? You, you, you we don't know their intent. The phone? Neither of us know their intent. Let's just be. Let's but just if be you're safe. only wearing Iron Man, your intent obviously isn't to be Batman. <clears throat> what I'm That's saying what I'm trying to say is this: it's otherwise it's one day not... you'd be Batman, one day you'd be Iron Man. But you're Iron Man every day. It ain't that deep, man. How am I supposed they to? They want to make money from the thing. And then they... if you're if you're if you're making cartoons where you're Iron Man killing Batman, what am I supposed to think here? Yeah, and I mean, you got you would... people who are dressed as Iron Man talking on your talk show saying Batman fanboy tears and drinking from it. Yeah, or croaking fun at people who like Batman. Right. But so what here's... am I supposed to think? Uh, look, but here's the thing. And like, I don't know, maybe we'll have this conversation like a dozen different ways tonight. I'm down to have it. But let me say it again. That is totally my problem with Disney. The fact that they allowed the narrative that you believe to persist without actually coming out and clarifying. And that is why we are in the spot that we are in as a fan base. Oh. I don't agree that it is their intent <laughs> to do it, but I can agree that they have created the narrative to the point to which, yeah, like you and I can argue about it like seven different times in the same uh, podcast. Look, I get it, bro. Like, I understand what you're saying. All I'm saying is oh. I have hope that it'll get better because there's just no way that their intent is to continue to push away uh, fans. Like, that's just crazy, bro. Like, there's no way. People want to pull. People want to pull? Oh, yeah, I wonder how this poll will go. Let's see how the I don't know. Will go. I think you're going to win. I think I'm a bit extremist. I think I'm a bit uh, of a OG, a little bit too much of an OG fan. Uh, I, I Or maybe, uh, maybe I just... Not a Disney show. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You get them checks, dog. They're really good. Um, yeah, no, I look, I think that at the end of the day, like you and I agree about like 90% of this, the intent thing is, um, you know, I, I, I can even understand why you feel it, but it's just illogical. Like it doesn't, um, that would be so wild to me. Like if somebody out there has proof that, um, I don't think we'll ever get proof. Well, you know, but let's I let think me say it's just it. proofs like, in the pudding, but if somebody out there has proof that there is an actual like if there's an actual tangible plan to disregard certain types of star wars fans and to just focus on other ones like dude let me know i will blow that shit up like we will we will make that the biggest talked about craziest thing ever and to be honest with you like there would probably be lawsuits like that is probably uh legally actionable uh if you're a shareholder so i don't know man i just i, I i'll believe it when i see it are we doing a poll? Poll it up. Go to poll town. Okay, but no matter what the poll is, and I think you're going to win, we're still bros. Oh, yeah. Look, we're still bros, of course. I think it's going to be 78 Josh, uh, 28 me, uh, uh, 22 me. Okay. <laughs> Pulls up. Oh, uh, shit. Let's see. Who took the W? <laughs> Theory or Josh? There's some funny uh, you know, there's some funny memes people are memeing about this conversation. Oh, uh, you're winning. Oh, that's good. Dude, yeah. people are people are finding some pretty funny memes over that combo we just had though. Good. 
Like there's one where there's one where you're like, look at me, the suits, bro. Like it's, it's pretty funny. Uh, no, I, I yeah. love seeing those randomly pop up on my uh, my home feed where people are just yeah. like, hey, I'm winning now. Mm. Hey, boom shakalaka. I can't even see it. I don't think it's just gonna. Yeah. Pop up. No, it's in the comments. No, I can't see it unless I go open up the stream and I just have the stream labs open right now. Oh, I'm gonna go vote. Turn it around. You can't vote. You you cheater. I'm voting now. <laughs> okay, if you're voting, I'm going to go on my other account. I'm going to vote too. Not allowed, bro. Oh, no, wait, but that would sign me out. No. <laughs> See, I'm going to be I'm gonna be more legit. I'm not going to. Wait, no, I can do it on my phone. On. <laughs> Fine, I'm going to do that too. No problem. <laughs> Get those all the counts going, boys. Get those all the counts <laughs> going. Hey, guys, you support the shell or you support your boy? I've always yeah. been here. For oh, you. dude, it's close. Look at that. That's fun. That's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. pretty close. That means uh, we got a good divisive fan base here. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. I, I think that, honestly, like a lot of people probably just, they really like our banter. Do you know what I mean? So, well, like, I regardless. Think that's what makes our show fun. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good, definitely a good rant, though, for us both. Because I well, see yeah. your point. I see, look, I do see your I point. I see your point, too, but I just, you know what? It's been years of me uh, trying to understand the shit that they've done with the sequel trilogy and you can go back to you know hundreds and hundreds of videos where i'm like guys i'm telling you ryan johnson knows what he's doing luke's not dead he's just you know gone into uh oh, yeah. the, the next world and he's just we're gonna see that side it's gonna be amazing in in the force ghost realm and then he'll come back and i was just trying to fix it's like trying to like understand the story of like there's no way it could be like this yeah and i've done it for so many years where i'm like no way Disney would ever do something. Now I'm like full on like, no, these guys are assholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I look, I remember because and I the watched shit, a lot of the your... shit, even the shit that like they've done with me with EA and stuff that I've, yeah. I haven't publicly talked about. But it's just this, all this little stuff. I'm just like, you guys are you guys are really all about the money. eh? Oh, no, they're definitely all about the money. But like, I just think that they're they're just making like a lot of mistakes. Like at the end of the day, here's the thing. Like all studios have issues even marvel right like marvel has issues bro and like people bring up stuff like you know we talk about it we meme about it on my channel the boner the ralph boner literally one of the most egregious things i've ever felt as a fan i know some people are about to be like oh no here he goes again but it's true like i was like legitimately upset by that right and that's something that my favorite studio my favorite brand like did the reason that doesn't become the total and complete narrative is because they do an incredible job of not only making all these fans feel welcome but having good communication with the fans like they come out and from the top to the bottom they're talking about the fans talking about the comics talking about you know why this shit matters so it like right. it's a totally different vibe but the difference between that and star wars is literally just a few more mistakes that are focused on a lack of clarity and communication <laughs> from kathy which is super important and bad pr strategy that's all that it is, in my opinion. Do you know what I mean? Which gives me hope, though. And again, like I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but it gives me hope because it means that they could figure it out. And if they could actually align their true intentions with actionable things that would get more fans on board, then we're we're going to be fine. Um, by the way, totally random. Check this uh, keychain out. I got Revan and Bashula. It's pretty uh, nice. It's pretty hype, huh? Yeah, I got a random Funko box. Thing. Disney send you that? Yeah, you know it, baby. <laughs> they were like, "Yo, yo, 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 push the, uh, push the yeah. agenda, push the agenda." Yo, we want you to go in on on, on your boy today. <laughs> What's it gonna take for you to go in on your boy? Dig up some shit. Yo, we could make a we could make a legit like movie, like a MTV type movie about that kind of stuff. That would actually be kind oh, of funny. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be down for it. Yeah. All right, should we read some super chats now? Yeah, we could <laughs> soup it up. Uh, first super chat, big fan of the show. This past summer has been catching up on all Star Wars theory content. This is it. Theory vs. Josh, Q Battle of the Heroes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Both of these are true incompetence and wanting to move on from the baggage of the old fan base. Yeah, I and so like I can get down with what Steve's saying there because I think there's that's there's, what I'm saying. There's some truth in yes, and there's some truth in that, but it's not the same thing as saying they don't care about those fans. It's saying like that some fans that have vocalized 
in probably their opinion the wrong way in my opinion like you just got to take that shit on the chin like disney like you don't get to say like oh you didn't say that nice enough bitch please you're the adult in the room you paid four billion dollars you're the owner of the ip you got to take that shit on the chin so like we can agree with that but to say that them being bitter or a few people being bitter about that is the totality of disney's intent is just not the same thing right so that's all i'm saying I could have been a lawyer, maybe. Yeah, for Disney. Yeah, give me a call. Give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Josh's plan so we can get close to Kevin Feige. Yeah. Oh, dude, dude, that'd be sick. I don't know if he likes me, though. I just did another leak video today. Bro, none of them like us. Didn't you see that one Lucasfilm guy said? Uh, well, there was a tweet a while ago. Uh, name something super irrelevant. <laughs> and he said influencers, YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, like, oh, well, yeah. I Let's mean, see how that works for him. Oh, whatever. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Yes. Including me. Yes. You are. You are entitled. But uh, also, I'm like a little bit scorned now, too. Like, I'm a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Jaded. Look, I, I said this earlier, but like, I've come to realize I'm pretty irrational about Star Wars. Like, literally, tomorrow, I might boot up my stream and literally say, Theory was right. They hate us. And here's all the proof. And I might feel that way. I'm literally that irrational about Star Wars. But today, right now, that's, this is, this is how I feel. That's weird. <laughs> I'm telling you, look, man. Let me be me. Maybe you should write the, the next sequel trilogy. If that's yeah. <laughs> one, one day, you're one <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, the next yeah. day, you're another way. Yeah, I could be JJ and Ryan in one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Thank I'm trying you, to get you. to uh, where I was. No, Brad, what'd you think of that tattoo idea, man? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it was a cool idea. I think it'd be fun. Okay, where, where were we? <clears throat> I think a Jedi said the best car. Spartan like shield would be dope. Sure. Why not? <laughs> uh, what do you think of New Jedi that will be in Andor? Crazy power level reported has to be with it being offspring of Anakin and his son's apprentice, right? I heard nothing about that. I don't know about that. Jedi and Andor? Wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it takes place in the time of the Empire. I uh, want both your opinions on this because it's been on my mind for some time now, but how would you like a kind of L.A. Noir type show or game based on Coruscant with brand new characters involving the Coruscant Guard and or police? Hmm... Yeah, you know what? Just because it's Coruscant. Bro, how did I miss this? What? I don't even know if I should say it, but I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. What is it? That report is real, but the report, the actual exclusive from the Illuminati, who's really good, is that it's not just any Jedi. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's what I was literally just going to say that. <laughs> yeah, but like, that's wild. I had not seen this report. I'm I'm getting out. Of, I'm out of touch. I'm losing it. I'm losing the, the skill. I used to have a finger on the pulse. I used to know what the kids were, well, were into. I'm very happy that they're going back to the time of the Empire and they're bringing in the prequel trilogy characters and the original trilogy characters and going back to some of the characters that we're familiar with. Yo, wow. We're going to have to talk about this, you and I. And because doesn't this push what we're worried about in Kenobi? Doesn't this push that? Push what? Those canon concerns. Uh, I mean, unless he's just... Of him leaving? Yeah. And doing... I mean, I'm already over it. I've already accepted that he leaves. Right. Which goes against the Kenobi book. But that's legend, so it doesn't even matter. Hmm. I guess. Well, this is pretty wild. Uh, so chat, turn away if you don't want any spoilers, but apparently the um, you guys gone? The Jedi in Andor is going to be Obi-Wan. Yeah, it says here he's going to have a recurring role 
in Andor. <clears throat> that means more than one episode. And also, if it's a multi-season show, there's no reason to think he wouldn't be in all be seasons. Amazing, dude, because then that takes place after Kenobi. Yeah, but that's like that's a lot of Kenobi, bro. And that's like way more than I thought. Like we literally thought that dude. We went from thinking the dude was literally in the desert for 19 years to like, oh, he left one time to he's gonna star he's, he's in another everywhere. show. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Like that's it's wild, but bro, they don't care about Star Wars fans. I'm telling you right now, they've got a gosh darn agenda. They're trying to push us on. No, now they're trying to make some money. <laughs> and they're going to be then watch just watch how much money they're going to make because finally after seven years no ten years of having the Star Wars IP they're now going to be going to where I feel like they should really you know imagine if they did all these shows um, back then imagine they created Disney Plus back then and then they did all this and then they created the sequel trilogy you know the sequel trilogy hadn't been created yet. I think the sequels would have been a lot better received if that was the case. Yeah, I agree. Apparently, there's this report. Like, what is happening right now? What is even life right now? Oh, dude, the future of Star Wars is very, very bright. Yeah, very, very bright. But the past needs to let it die. That is pretty interesting stuff, nonetheless. But yes, yes, back to the soupies. What if they show a flashback of Anakin going a little hard and crossing the line during a battle in the Clone Wars? I would love that. Love that. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Badass. Yep. They renamed a mountain in Scotland named Kenobi in honor of Ewan McGregor. He is the high ground. That's oh, bro. We should do a video sometime where we literally cl climbed to the top of uh, Mount Kenobi and we screamed that we have the high ground. Come on, man. I'd scream Kenobi. Kenobi! Kenobi. Evening, Should gentlemen. Celebration. Good news, dude. What if we did a uh, a podcast from the top of Mount Kenobi? I'd love it. Just a little video. Somebody in chat, help us figure that. And out. then you'd push me off and be like, <laughs> "Disney, yeah, it's done." <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, and I'm at the bottom. Amazing. I'm like, I hate you. <laughs> right, right, exactly, dude. Oh my god, they've planned this so long. I come back as Vader. Yeah, that's great. Uh, query. I have a query. When is Gideon coming back? I sent him the link, so yeah, we'll see. It's on him. I don't know if you know, but Blue Six Success are still up. Mine gets here on the 10th. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave him up now at this point, and I'm not gonna advertise him. So the only ones who know are people in the streams, but um, yeah, um, yeah, they will officially be full, fully available. Um, once that trailer drops, noise. I haven't even gotten mine yet. That's why I'm not wearing it. Yo, Theory hit 315 at 176 on bench. Keep up the cool. Oh, damn, that's crazy. Love that you crazy. and your cunt. That's awesome, dude. Great job, Trevor. 325 next. <laughs> Love from Sweden. No, actually, now try to go back and do 300 for like, mm, I don't know, five to eight if you can. Maybe five. Love from Sweden. What's your favorite Star Wars score? Probably uh, the one. Go ahead. I'm just gonna say it, just partially to trigger you, but also because I love it. Ray's theme. Ray's theme is an incredible piece of music, dude. It's all surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Yeah. No surprise there. Yeah. Did you always force me into this situation? I don't even like these movies. I give and you, you a, always force me to read a question me. of a broad spectrum of any score in Star Wars, and the man says, You know, guys, <laughs> Ray, Ray's themes, my that's fair. favorite. That's fair. I think you just dropped another percent. <laughs> Yo, that's fair. I know, right? They're changing their votes. They're like, ah. I don't think the system works. Definitely don't. Definitely don't yeah. work. Uh, mine would have to be, I, I forgot what it's called, but um, that's the one where Luke is fighting Vader at the very end. In uh, Return of the Jedi, it's very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing stuff. It's like a chorus kind of thing. <clears throat> you know, also uh, <laughs> <laughs> Boba Fett. That's probably my least favorite. Did they like? <sighs> Never mind. Let's just keep going. <laughs> what? I just feel like did they take that show seriously? Like it doesn't kind of feel like a lot of it's a joke. You're saying something against Disney now. Be careful. You're right. <laughs> 
Sorry. Is it Josh Josh any like laser pointers <laughs> on his face? <laughs> You'll never meet Feige. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Hey, no, what was I saying? Of course. Ray. Yeah. Uh does Obi-Wan and Owen have bad blood between them? Will we see a fallout, perhaps close call with Luke in danger? Owen bans Obi-Wan for life. <laughs> Yo, you're canceled for life, Obi-Wan. No, oh, though they will have beef, I think. 100%. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. For sure. And Obi Wan's just very like kind to him and very gentle and uh, doesn't kick his ass like he should have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Every time Kenobi goes to sleep or reaches out in the Force, we just see a Vader mowing down Jedi. Ooh, that'd be dope, dude. He's haunted with these ideas, visions, and things within the Force. That'd be really cool. Be sweet. And then there's just a close up of Anakin burning and being like, I hate you. Do you know what would be awesome is if like he has one of those dreams, he wakes up and he's like crying and then like. You hear Qui-Gon be like, but did you see the form he used? He is the one. <laughs> hey, Qui-Gon! <laughs> yeah. It's all your fault! Quiet! Yeah, it turns into Johnny Lawrence. Yeah, it would be amazing. Oh, shit. Uh, God damn it. Oh. <clears throat> What's up? Um, trying to invite in another buddy to the stream. but And he's a sequel trilogy fan? Yeah, big time. Big time. What's is it, George? Is George gonna get in here and be like, now listen up? That'd be kind of cute. <clears throat> Did you see they finally started doing some celebration stuff? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, they have yeah. a uh, 20, 20 year uh, anniversary for Attack of the Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. But you know, they hate the prequel fans, so. Except for when they got to make money from it. That's what I was saying. <laughs> you were saying a lot more than that. <laughs> I know. Are you two still not going to celebration? I still got my tickets, man. They haven't even come in yet. <laughs> um, but no, it's it's dude. I'm waiting for the world to freaking go back to normal, and then I can make episode two. Yeah, I can go to celebration. You know, it's it's. Yeah, for me, it has in, more in to Canada, do with like, man. It's the not kid so like the rest and of just. Them. Yeah, for me, it's a little bit more like with the kid and, uh, you know, I'm moving and stuff. So I just have a lot going on and I'd love to go out to celebration. I've thought about me flying out for like one day or something. But oh, man, uh, you got to focus on your wife. And she's pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I can make the content from home. Like we've talked about this before, but like I can yeah. do content easier from home, spend way less time and then be well, back with the family. I wish I could go out there. I wish I could see all you guys. I mean, it would be, be the fun of it. And, um, you know, Josh and I were even talking about having a uh, like a panel there. Yeah. But. We maybe next year, you know what I mean? Like, honestly, like it's still just a flux time period. I think that next year there'll be a lot more stuff going on. Yeah, much love from, from the Pacific Northwest. Quick question What was Dooku's end game? Do you think he saw himself being an important role in Palp's plan after Order 66? Yeah, so Dooku wanted to create an actual Sith army, and he thought that you know he was going to be around and all this and that, and he did not know that he was blindsided, he's going to be blindsided so easily. Yeah. That's kind of that's kind of interesting. I, I guess yeah. He he just thought he would be uh, running the army, or he he definitely thought he'd have a place in in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's why he was so shocked when Anakin was going to kill. Yep. Hoping we get Yoda and Kenobi. Actually, like how he looked in the Last Jedi. Long term, would love a young Yoda series. Not sure what the enemies were like then. I didn't like how he looked in the Last Jedi. Uh, even though that was an actual imprint of the, or that was an actual puppet they used or something for Empire yeah. Strikes Back, the it still didn't look thing. like the one from Empire Strikes Back because they did some different things with that. They took like a mold of that mold or something, from what I heard, and it, and that's why the original looked different. Mm. But I've always liked that Yoda. They, I mean, it doesn't. Uh, some of this, like what's ESB? going on there, Episode doesn't. Five? Oh no, I love that Yoda. Oh, I love. Oh, you always like the Last Jedi Yoda? Yeah, like I never really had a problem with Last Jedi Yoda. Uh, I think there's a lot of weird stuff going on in those scenes, but he's not my issue with it. It's Luke in those scenes that's my issue. So well, he wasn't uh, too much. He wasn't bitch enough for you. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted him to just be just the whole way, dude. If even more go go for castrated. Him. He should have instead of. Instead of throwing the saber off the cliff, he should have thrown himself off the cliff because he's a worthless, old, yeah. frumpy piece of junk. Toxic. So. 
Yeah, yeah. Toxic male. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just throwing himself off. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Like he throws that and then he knows that. <laughs> he's like, frame. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You really want the Jedi to end? That's how it ends. Uh, yeah, that's how it ends, right? Yeah. So yeah. We, we got my boy that just joined in. Yo, Balin, what's up, man? What's Yo, up, baby? Man? How you doing? Go hey, on, hey check it out. Check it out. Oh, I love it. Ooh, very I cool. I love it. Very cool. I love it, dude. Now, hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. Oh Ooh, shit, dude! Yeah, Where'd you get that? Really nice. I don't know. I hired I hired a decorator and she just got it for me. That's sick, dude. Go stand next to it. That's actually big. No, Yo, look at that it's... Spider Man. Is that a real Spider Man? Oh, you got to see hell? a Spider Man. Shit, stuff, I'm I'm good. Shut up, man. You got to see a Spider Man stuff. Fuck, I can't. It's hard. How do I flip the camera on this? Uh, tap the screen and then there should be let that switch option. I think. I can't figure it out. I've never been on this thing. Whatever. Well, that's that looks cool either way. Yeah, show me your Spider-Man stuff. We got we got a lot, right? We got we got Venom right here. Nice. Hold up. Can you see Ooh, that? that? We got nice Iron Man plus. right there. Yeah, dude. Wow. Then we got we got Spidey right over there. Yeah, dude. He looks like he partied a little too hard. He's just chilling. Yeah, he does. <laughs> we got we got the um hold on when you walk back and forth. That's cool, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, wow. right. I really I really went all out. And then we have my yeah. favorite poster of all time. I think it's the greatest poster in movie yeah. history. I it's love it too. Damn good, dude. I feel like every Star Wars fan agrees. Yeah, I got to say I got the display of that one up in my uh, one of my rooms. It's like a little one. No, nah, it's, it's amazing. It's a classic. <laughs> so, dude, what do you think about Kenobi? What do you want to see, bro? Where the fuck's the trailer at? That's my question. Wednesday, maybe man. Wednesday, maybe maybe. Oh, maybe, really? Maybe. maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you That's know? Saying. Well, it's just uh, it's just rumors out there in the ether. Okay. But they have a investor day on Wednesday too, so it makes sense for them to do that to make the investors happy. Yeah, I thought Yo. it was gonna come Super Bowl night. I was all hyped Super Dude, Bowl. Get night. this, mm -hmm. get this. So apparently Kenobi's mm -hmm. gonna be an Andor too. Hold on, what'd you say? Kenobi apparently is gonna be an Andor too. Oh the Andor shit! Is... Yeah, yeah, yep. a lot of you and supposedly. Damn. So, 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 you think, um, you think my man Hayden is gonna be in? They he is starring, right? Like he's gonna be in a lot of. Dude, hundred percent. Yeah, there's flashbacks and shit and everything. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Yeah, he's gonna be killing it. It's gonna be. Okay. I'm trying to see. This is what I'm trying to see. I really want to see because so many people are alive. Maul's alive. Um, Yoda's alive. Um, in the Andor time period. No, in, in when Kenobi yeah. takes place. Maul yeah. is Maul's alive, alive right? He? Maul's alive, bro. He's alive yeah. for another seven years. Holy crap! Yeah. At least, yeah, yeah. You so right, could right. you think they're gonna fuck around and put him in it? Hundred percent. Oh, I, dude, why crazy. would they not? Why would they? Bro, not? I haven't heard anything about Maul, but a lot of people anticipate him still, and I think it would be freaking awesome. Oh, that'd be amazing! But... You think you think Palp is going to be in it? I think, I think we'll see a hologram of him. Yeah, yeah, I think Pal I think Palpy. I I think more Palpy than Maul yeah. for whatever reason. Like I just think, well, the uh, thing with Maul is that the, the, the Solo Two that they were going to make was going to be all about Maul and Kira, but I think oh, now really? that that's not happening, they're just going to like diverge that into the shows. Inquisitors. Mm. Inquisitors. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I know the Inquisitors will definitely be in there and stuff, yeah. but like, they yeah. didn't like Maul and like Maul was kind of doing his own thing at this point, though. He was like building up. Uh, I don't even know the exact time. We don't know. We don't know where he has where he's at right now. Because so because after, after Clone Wars, it's he ten, it's out. ten years. It's ten years after uh, Revenge of the Sith, right? Yeah, but right. He, remember in the Clone Wars, he like completely pieced out on that ship from Ahsoka. Well, right? yeah, but this is after. Uh, we don't know where he's at. Yeah, so this is after the Emperor shuts him and his brother down. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I this is after that. Luke. But it's before he comes back uh in Rebels and yes. is established yeah. as a so yeah, like I don't know. There's all kinds of cool stuff they could do. Um and bro, they did so much shit to his character the last uh episodes of Clone Wars. Like fucking they made him so dude, bad. they made him so badass. Yeah, they I, did. I was thinking, what if he like went back and he was the one who captured Grogu to the temple? Imagine him, he goes to the temple. And he's like, Damn, you think it's all gonna be tied together? Like, you think they're gonna tie the Mandalorian and shit? I would love that, dude. I don't see why not. Up your yeah, game, probably. yeah, for sure. I mean, well, especially that Din was there during the Clone Wars. Oh, yo! So, why don't you explain to Balin the leak that we just read for the opening scene for Kenobi? If unless you don't want to know, no, nah, no, nah, hit me with it. You got it, okay? Okay. Yeah. okay. Hit so the opening scene is going to be two Padawans in the Jedi Temple during Order 66, and their Jedi Masters are going to sacrifice themselves so that those Padawans can escape. So the rumor is that it'll be like a just opening up 
on some crazy Jedi's being killed in uh, Order sixty six in the temple scenes. And then my my theory is that one of those Jedi that gets away is the one that's rumored to go off and find Kenobi. His name is Nar Nari or Nari or something. Okay, okay. Damn, yeah. so they're gonna dive right in. Yeah, they're dude. going they're going hard. Like yeah. So so I watched your video. I watched your video. You think it's gonna be like dark as hell, like depressing as hell, like. I mean, not the. I don't. I don't think it's gonna be like depressing, but I think. Yeah, no, but be, like, I, like I kind of. I hope, think the characters are gonna be depressed for sure. I yeah, really I think hope he's that suffer. they dive in. I really hope that they dive in and show like, because it was so fresh. I mean, ten years, but still, like I hope Anakin's reminiscing on Padme and thinking about like, damn, I, I did so. I fuck up? You know what I mean? And show well, he's how been painful thinking about the, the whole time. That's the yeah. issue. I think yeah. so, bro. And I think we, dude. I wouldn't be surprised if we even go in there and there he's like trying to find out a way to bring her back. From the dead oh yeah true. like low-key like he's kind of just got that on his plate and then he gets pulled into some other business i think that would be cool for sure well yeah the, the so i don't know if you know this but uh the the, the rumor is that leia needs obi-wan's help and so obi-wan has to go off world and save her from the inquisitors and that's how vader finds kenobi yeah okay mm-hmm. wait Leia's does he yeah, know yeah. does he know that anakin's darth vader not well, no, we don't know that yet. Yeah, we don't know he, if he knows yet. He might not know, but, but he'll like, be able to sense that shit. Right? Yeah, yeah, he'll be able to know no. like, immediately. I, in the, I think in the book, he, in the book, he didn't know yet. Oh, dude, that'd be so. Dude, in the, if he had no clue. In the book, he didn't know until he went into a bar and they saw some of the imperial guys. Some guys were talking about Vader. Yeah, that's a con- that's that's legends now though, right? It's legends now. Yeah, so they'll probably make it so that he'll just recognize, he'll feel, he'll well, like. We got to we got to understand really. how, like, how the hell does he know? Because he, he's gonna he literally it. thought that he left Anakin for dead. That's true. Like this motherfucker thinks he's dead. He's like, he definitely does. But I wonder if there's something to do maybe with the dreams that he's having. Like maybe he's having some dreams or some feelings, and he feels that maybe Anakin's still out there, and he has like his suspicions about it. He doesn't know for sure, and then when he like encounters vader he's like because like i've been told like he will know immediately that it's yeah vader. But the thing with that is that then you got to think okay well why didn't the emperor feel leia because then why, why didn't Return vader feel leia why well, didn't the end feel, but, but, feel but only but only through luke yeah he read his but, thoughts yeah but like that's just that's kind of constantly been a thing with star wars like it kind of doesn't make sense that vader didn't know about luke or leia at all until yeah. it's like right in front of him so i don't know what that is exactly um yeah i don't know i feel like he's got a sense of bro that's his brother but since he like killed him it's like dude it's so far away man but since he thought he killed him it's like what no way but that's the thing is if kenobi senses vader then vader is going to sense kenobi yeah damn and they're gonna fight twice that's crazy oh twice. shit twice yeah yeah apparently. yeah, yeah, yeah. Supposedly. yeah two two epic fights apparently wait so are they doing it like mando is it gonna be an episode every week yeah yeah Mm -hmm. only six though Mm -hmm. only six episodes how long they're long as hell though right supposedly they're an hour hopefully yeah hopefully this is so hype this literally has potential to be the fucking greatest show dude it's gonna be insane i think it's gonna be like i'm so happy they're finally showing love to the prequels exactly exactly so do you think they're gonna film it more prequel style or more original style uh, I think I feel, like Mando, style, I feel like Mando is pretty much filmed pretty original. It you know? is, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, feel yeah. Like this is, I feel like this is gonna be prequely for sure. I think it, yeah, I think it'll be a kind of like a blend. Like maybe some of the scenic stuff will feel OT, but then as soon as those blades get out, it'll probably pretty quickly become prequel. Because oh, hold up, he, Gideon replied. Oh, yeah. oh we he's, gotta get him in here. He said he can't come today. He's uh, <laughs> damn. That would have been so fun. He's doing something. Yeah, yeah. Next week. Bro, he, he's, one he's one of us. He's one of us. I didn't know, but when I hung out with him, he's like talking about Star Wars and shit. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> we had him on you last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, was it last week? Was it oh, last week? Or two, week, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. It might be two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he yeah, he's the link, so there was like thousands of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah he he seems like a fun dude. He's got he's got wild energy. That's for sure. <clears throat> he does. You can't tell he if, when he's trolling and when he's not. Bro, sometimes about. when I'm literally com- just having a conversation with a man, I'm like, bro, am I getting troll right now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's yeah. literally that. He's he's so into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got, like, that kind of gesture, kind of, like, constantly, like, just playing with the whole thing. I, I it's like constant, playing. constant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I was laughing for, like, a week after that, just going over the stuff in my mind, like, the shit he was saying. Yeah, oh, he, did he, he say he some fuck shit? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. We asked him like what. Uh, I think one of the funniest things was we asked him like Kashyyyk. what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We were like, "What is the Wookie home world?" <laughs> He's like Harry. Yeah, Harry vagina basically. Is what <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like going in on another star wars youtuber and i'm like no man he's a nice guy he's like no man he's a he's a whore he's a fuck he's a bitch like, i don't even like, remember that part yeah, Yo, that, that dude hit me up with the the arm injury though and it, <laughs> he said it's he said it's actually like perfect for that tattoo idea oh there so, you go yeah nice. yeah so he might actually do it that's kind of wild Brad, you got to give us uh updates yeah yeah That'd Good be sick. what are you doing today bro what are you eating who me? Yeah. What did we do today? Oh, I took a blender in a library and was blending up shit. But we got caught. The fucking librarian recognized me somehow. She was like eighty. I don't know how she knew. Yeah, but she good. was like, "You guys are doing some YouTube shit, blah blah." blah so, you know, is, is that like your content or whatever? I'm I'm not super familiar. She like lifts her shirt underneath. It says "Frick Vape" on it. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's I, I kind of just mess around. I'll do vlogs too. Like, I'll, I guess it's like pranks and vlogs. It's it's like it's like what Jadon does. Nice, very cool, very cool. I love it. I love it. So, are I you are you a uh, are you a big prequel guy? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love the prequels, man. Prequels I, uh... over originals. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say prequels over original. He did goddamn uh, debate, and he's like, it's all about sequels, and he's like, Disney is the best company in the world. (laughs) Yeah, sequels are amazing. So what's so? You know what's really scary is that I think you actually believe that's what we just talked about, and that is absolutely not what we talked about, and it is absolutely not what my stance is. But yeah, to answer your question, I like uh, I like the prequels. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I always respect that. I'm trying to convert him. He he's he said the originals over Pringles. Well, oh, I mean, nice. I can I can he's understand. That. I mean, those are uh, those are some <laughs> damn curious. fine movies. What yeah. would you rate? You go what you go prequels, original sequels. Uh, absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. But see, I don't even. I would put every single prequel above every original. Ooh, really? Really? Yeah. Because it's. Mm-hmm. I guess it's just. The emotion. I'm not. I don't get. And the six. Okay. 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 The six. The six does get me emotionally, but that's only because of Vader. See, I just. I don't know. I don't know. Like literally, bro. When I watch the Phantom Menace, I tear up every five seconds because it's like the whole time I was just like, this little kid really turns into the fucking world's biggest villain ever. Yeah. So it just Mm -hmm. hits me. It really grabs me. It really grabs me. And then the love story in the second, and then you know, obviously the third is number one. Bro, I really liked the second when I was younger. I actually really dug it. Ugh. It's really fucking good, and bro, so much shit happens. Like Jango Fed, Jango Fed. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot in there. I, so I, much. I don't like it. I think it's it's probably pretty low on my list overall. Oh, really? But uh, yeah, but I get why people like it. I mean, I'm always shocked at like how good some of the Dooku Kenobi stuff is on Genos. Yes. Like it's actually really cool. Um, but yeah, a lot of the Naboo stuff, like I, I just I don't know. Bro. See, I, I love, that's like my favorite shit ever. That's uh, literally it, man. Bro, Dooku's yeah. underrated. Like motherfuckers, Dooku is 100%. a badass. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dooku's good. Dooku. You don't really understand good. how much of a badass he is. You know what blew my mind in that second one was how he literally just tells Kenobi, he's like, "Yo, there's a there's a dark lord that's in control of the Senate." Like, upset it, bro. Yeah, he's he did. Upset. He did. I wonder how much that's echoing Kenobi's head uh, in the rest of that movie and into the third. You know what I mean? Because he's like got to be thinking about that. Because don't they even say like in a third? Yeah, but they say something like Windu says something like he's the Sith Lord. So they knew that there was a Sith Lord, you know, real quick, real quick. Do you think my man Mace Windu is alive? Mm. No, I've heard shit. I've heard shit. What shit have you heard, bruh? They're saying, okay, listen, they're saying this. Oh, uh, I well, I don't know who they are, but I just remember seeing it. It was this librarian before she <laughs> kicked you out. Yo, get the no, hell out of here. Hear me out. Yeah, 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 and yeah, also, yo, do you Matt Mace Windows alive? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hear me out right quick. All right. All right. If Sidious survived the fucking fall, which is bullshit, if Maul survived the fall, why couldn't Mace Window when he got thrown out just landed on a ship and he's still alive? Yeah. I know. It's a good point. Yeah. It was such bullshit that Palp was alive. You know what was bullshit to me movie. was was yeah, when yeah. he got his hand <laughs> chopped off and he was just staring at his like stumpy hand and screaming. It's like mm-hmm. when you Dooku just gets both to the hand. other hand or something. Yeah, yeah. Dooku got both of his hands cut off and he's just like looking at it. Shit, you're right. I never even thought about that. Yeah. 
That yeah, he kind of got, he kind of like, he, I don't know, man. he just really was like butthurt about losing my that right hand. You mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think he could be alive. I'd, I'd love to see them bring Mace back in. He could be. No. Yo, this is the problem I have with it, though. It's like, then what was he doing during the original trilogy? He'd be the first guy to want to come back. He'd well, be... they could fucking, they could kill him off in, the, they could kill him off in this series. True. True. Or he went out and did some stuff with Ahsoka because she's oh, yeah. technically, you know. Oh fuck! I forgot she's alive. Yeah, maybe he's yeah. hanging out with her. I don't know. Damn, there's so many people that could be in it. Yo, and I also saw Vader's gonna be the most evilest we've ever seen, right? He's gonna be very angry. I yeah. think he's gonna be pretty pissed. Yeah, that's yeah. so hype that we get like that we're gonna get like because that little scene in Rogue One was crazy. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, but yeah. that was yeah. like Vader a new. That's like ten years after what we're about to say. It was like twenty years after Revenge of the Sith. So now I think he's going to be more angry because he's still so conflicted. Yes, yeah. as being yeah. Anakin. Plus, so I do you think, think he's going to he be might full on evil, or do you think sometimes he's going to be like, "Damn, did I fuck no, up"? No, I think he's sometimes going to be like, "Damn, I fucked up." <laughs> yes, but I think that when confronted with Kenobi, he'll go crazy. Like, I don't think he's going to like. If anything, I think Obi Wan would maybe try to reach out to Anakin. But I think that as soon as he sees them, the the anger and the pain of Anakin is going to take over and he's going to go crazy. Uh, maybe if he's just chilling like on, in the castle or whatever, he might be a little softer and like thinking of Padme and all that. But like when it's business time and he sees Kenobi, like I think he's going to go crazy. Yeah. That was very Dude, true. Imagine this. The last time Anakin saw Obi-Wan was looking up at him while he was burning to death. Mm -hmm. And then he, was, he saw his wife. He and he basically connects the fact that Kenobi is the reason his wife is dead. Yeah. And that everything mm -hmm. has happened to him. Shit. He's going to hate him, dude. He's going to be really Damn. Mad. He's going to be pissed. Damn. And it's going to be dope. This is the next time that he's going to see They have him. so much potential. Yeah. This show has so much potential. Yes. What are you going to do if they mess it up? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I, I would... I, I, I genuinely don't think they can. I feel like... I don't think they can either. I, I don't think they can, but hey, I also thought the fucking Dude, Rise of Skywalker we gonna, was gonna be right, yeah. the right. greatest movie ever. Bro, right. we're gonna go back. I tell you what, if they do fuck it up, we're gonna take the clip of you two just saying, "I don't think they can fuck <laughs> it up," and we're gonna play that shit <laughs> afterwards and just be like, "What?" <laughs> it's impossible, man. It's fail proof. I mean, like, what are you gonna do? You got so much lore behind these characters. Yeah. Hopefully, they would understand that and be like, "Yeah, there's nothing we can really do that messes up." Yeah, I mean, no, it I seems really like they, they it seems like they're taking care. You know, it seems like they know what they've got. And I think that they if they don't understand that this is a big deal, then, yeah, they deserve uh, they deserve to hold an L. So I think they'll be fine. Yeah, I think they'll be. Okay. I think they'll kill it. I really think they'll kill it. Damn. So what what percentage are you are you are you thinking this trailer is going to come out Wednesday? I'm like 80 percent on it coming out Wednesday. Okay, really, damn. Yeah, yeah. And if it doesn't come out Wednesday, I actually think it'll come out Thursday. Yeah, because it's getting so close. It's like, bro, they got to drop it. Yeah, and I've heard they've had it. Like, they had it last year. Like, And, yeah, people thought maybe Super Bowl. People thought um, there was a Disney Investor Day thing late last year that they thought maybe it would hit. Uh, Disney Plus Day. So there's been a lot of, like, chances for them to do it. So Yeah. <laughs> I say get who, it going. Who said it's coming out on Wednesday? A couple of different people. He there's, senses uh, it in the force. He just senses yes, it. Yeah. It was Qui Gon. He told me. Uh, there's <laughs> oh no! Is he gonna be show. fucking talking to my man? I hundred percent think so. Yeah, I think so. Damn. I think Definitely. he's going to. Like, how yeah. could he not? Yeah. You know, that's very true. Especially yeah. with you know Yoda telling him that I've learned how to commune with your master. Mm hmm. Hundred percent. Mm -hmm. No, he's uh he's gonna be in there. He'll be yeah, heard probably. at least. He'll be heard. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Balin, how's the Tesla? I love it, dude. I love it. Oh, what Tesla did you get? I got the um, what's it called? Model three. I think it's the Model Three. Know. It's, it's, model, okay, it's right. Model Three. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I didn't want to do anything too the fancy, but one. I just, I just, um, it's so much fun. It's like a toy, bro. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you so like. I was fucking... gonna get. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was gonna get like one of the more sporty ones, like the the Model S or like the Plaid or whatever. Mm -hmm. But now, like I, I've got a kid on the way, so I'll probably have to get like the Model Y and get like the bigger like family. Yeah, the big old one. Yeah, but it's yeah. still it'll still go. You know what I mean? Like, it'll still boogie. It'll Bro, still be a fun toy. They go so fast. So it's the fastest quickly. thing on the road. It's the fastest it's thing on the road. Crazy. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. I really yeah. need to chill out though. I've gotten since I've gotten I've gotten pulled over four times. Really? What? Yeah. 
And every time, because I'm so young, they walk up and they don't believe it's my car. And then, then they go back. They take my ID. They go back to their car. And then they they are really they're dicks to me at first because they think it's like I stole it or it's like my dad's. Yeah, I don't yeah. know some fuck shit. And then they come back and they're like, "Oh, you're free to go." And they always let me off. It's so weird. What? It's yeah, so that's what happens when you're young. Hmm. I guess so. I guess it's just because I look young. They're like, what? Hmm. But yeah, I gotta chill out. I need it. Yo, I've been doing the self drive thing though, and that really um that yeah, freaks that me works. out. No, it really works. That's wild. Well, yeah, no, I saw in your video you were pranking that <laughs> the old dude, and you were oh, like yeah, doing yeah. it on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, bro, because we were in like that. That town is so country, and he's like, "What the hell? How's this car driving itself?" <laughs> That's pretty wild. Dude. <laughs> he was just trolling him. He's like, "I don't know, man. Why don't you go inside, talk to security?" <laughs> yeah, <but it's- laughs> he comes back, it's gone. Drive by him. Oh, dude, it's funny as hell. <laughs> so, like, it'll come to you in the parking lot and shit, right? Yeah, you can yeah, literally yeah. like summon it, and you can control it from the phone too. That's wild, dude. It's like I'm still on. figuring shit out on it. Like it's crazy all the stuff it has. Speaking of summoning, have you uh have you been playing Elden Ring? Do you play video games? I play um two video games, three oh. video games. Battlefront 2, Sea of Thieves, rarely, sea and Thieves, Black Ops 2. Okay, cool. Oh wow, okay. I think yeah, you'd yeah. I think you'd fuck with Elden Ring. Really? Yeah, yeah I think so. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty uh that? it's a pretty big game right now. Everybody's... Yeah, it's pretty dope. I'm gonna check it out, dude. I'm an old head when it comes to video games. Like I'm on, I'm on Black Ops Two still, bro. Yeah, but Black Ops Two is actually yeah, but that's one of like those a, old games that has right. like a base like that. Like there's a lot of people that still fuck with uh, Battlefront Two or Black Ops Two like that. So yeah, it it's makes especially the zombies, dude. Bops yeah. Two. I remember those days. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That was your age when that came out, bro. Really? Yeah. Those were the days. I think it's the best Call of Duty ever. Wait, Bops Two? No, I remember those Bops Three. It's a good one. I just remember always coming home and be like, "Yo, call the boys on Xbox Live," and it was just uh, playing zombies. It was good. It's such an era, bro. It's such an era. Yeah, more of a Halo guy myself. I I played uh, Modern Warfare (laughs) Two. I like that one, but other than that, I was. Yo, I like Halo. I like Halo. Was the first game I ever really got into. Halo Reach. Yeah, Halo Reach is a good one. That's a good one. Infection. Oh, I would run up some infection. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Plus, that story is actually pretty good in Reach. Yeah. It's pretty wild. Is the new Halo? Have you guys played the new Halo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I love it? it. Yeah, I love it. But they need some more content. It's uh, it's 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 like a live service game, and they had they didn't even have a new event, so it feels like a little like they just need to get better at actually having like kind of fun stuff to do on it. But it's it's cool. I like it. Yeah, I haven't I'd, I haven't played it yet. I'd recommend God of War four. I think anyone would love that game. I need to go check all these out. You gotta send me send me a list of the best games. I literally just hooked up the Xbox Two to my condo, so I need to, I yeah. need to get back on it. Get yeah, Elden Ring's kind of like God blowing up right now. I'm telling you, it's uh, it's pretty fun. But if, Dude, if you're playing any of the yeah. Souls games, you know, like mm. Dark Souls Three or any of those kind of things, mm. so they're actually like known for being rage inducingly hard. So like the kind of games that uh oh you're gonna be chucking your controller at the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so that's like it's weird actually because. It's their brand. Like they're literally like people play them because they're so hard and you rage out. So like literally watching last night. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. It really, uh, really broke my controller last Oh, night. I've been close a couple of times, bro. Like yeah, it's just yeah. like oof. And, and like it's merciless, bro. Like any little enemy can kill you. So like it like two like, like one three, shot. Yeah, well, like three little rando dudes will pull up on you and you'll be like, ah, oh, it's no big deal or whatever. But if you don't like actually get out of the way of all of them, they yeah. will coordinate the way they hit you and you'll just be literally killed. Like they'll just and then you're dead. And I'd, I'd yeah. be raging. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. The rage it, compilations it, are the best. Best oh, wire won't go back in there now. It's like stuck outside on the edge. And Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Oh, I know. Yeah, I, I was like streaming for four hours and it just. Yeah. Is that from a throw, or is that just you like gripping no, it just... up? <laughs> Dude, that's from you pulling those stupid clamp things that you were doing that one week. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, right. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 pretty much. Oh well, whatever. Yo, Balin, what you got rest going on for the rest of the day? Shit, staying up till Lord knows what editing. How about you guys? How long? How long do you Working stream for? That vid. Um, I don't know. Sometimes we go for like four hours, five hours. Yeah, four oh, or five's been hell. pretty standard. Yeah, yeah that's fun as hell. 
Yo, yeah. uh, I don't know if I cut out when I said it, but did you guys see Batman? Yeah, I didn't. Oh, really? Didn't yet. Yeah, he yeah. didn't see it yet. But yeah, I, uh, I liked I, it. I, uh, I didn't love it. I think a lot of people like online like love it and think it's like the best Batman. I'm not there with it, but I did think it was cool. You think uh, Dark Knight is better? Oh, 100%. I think Batman Begins is better, dude. I think all Really? The, oh, yeah, 100%. I, I see, think, I'm not going to lie. This falls right behind Dark Knight for me. A lot of people are saying that. Like, oh. it's not, you know, I've heard a lot of people say that. And I get it. Like, I think it's a good movie. Um, for me, it's like I need Bruce to know a little bit more, like, what he's actually trying to do. Like, it feels like this Bruce is still trying to figure this whole thing out. Uh, that's fine. But to me, like, that's not Batman. Like, Batman, Batman figured it out. And then Isn't he that came the point? Out and was like i'm batman and then he just did batman shit so i don't know anytime i see like a writer or a director want to make batman into like a relatable human being that is learning how to be batman i'm like nah fam like that ain't it like that's not him but isn't that the point of this one because he's younger yeah for sure but like bruce even young bruce like when he makes the decision to be batman like he's got it sorted out i'm not saying he's perfect at being batman mm -hmm. but he at least knows what he's doing i can't explain it without spoiling like a part of the film but like yeah, essentially, see, I'm, trying not, I'm trying not to say anything <laughs> essentially like you just got to watch it because it's pretty clear that like he's he doesn't have it all figured out yet and and he's gonna get there which is fine like it's cool but it just doesn't resonate with me the same way <laughs> I literally saw it back. We saw it twice, back to back. Actually. What? Yeah, wow. Twice. Back to back. No, no, no. Like night. Was it? No, two night nights in a row. Uh, yeah, night after night. I think. Yeah, I think so. Wow. Yeah, people really like. It. I mean, it's doing really well. So I might go see it tomorrow. We'll yeah, see. you got to. You got to. Yeah, I might go tomorrow. You, to. you should. Damn, there's so many. What about? What about? Uh, see, I don't want to. I don't want to drift away too much from Star Wars. But real quick, how 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 do we feel, Spider Man? Oh, my oh, God. I loved it. Incredible. Okay. I feel like everyone fucking loved it. Yeah, you well, they brought in literally three different generations, bro. Yeah, that yeah. is crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's pretty crazy. wild. If only, uh, if only Rise of Skywalker could have taken Looking notes, that. yeah, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rise nice. of Skywalker. I'm just happy that they're, they're showing us some love finally, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, this will begin to make things right. Yeah, this so Kenobi we'll show. Oh, old heads. No, I, 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 I fully believe Kenobi is going to be fucking 10 out of 10. I think they're going to do it right. I think they're going to kill it. And fucking, what's his face? John Williams did the theme song and everything. So. I know, I know right? right? That's pretty wild. I'm they ready. They come back. Yeah. yeah I'm so ready. They probably, be, uh... they probably <laughs> literally hit him up and they were like, they, they probably literally hit John Williams up and they're like, bro, you can't make Rise of Skywalker your last John. Like, you just yeah. can't. And he was like, you're right. And so <laughs> then he like just did Kenobi, you know what I mean? That's yeah, they, super they, they heard the theme for the Boba Fett, and they're like, Boba Fett. <laughs> like, Boba yeah, Fett I mean, music was badass. We can't it have was, this anymore. It was, it was high, great bro. until the know. end. Until the end, where it was like, Boba Fett. Boba Fett. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, I have a confession. I didn't watch it. Besides, um, besides the Cad Bane episodes. Oh, what go, the hell? Well. Honestly, yeah, I dude, do it that. didn't catch yeah. my the the beginning episodes didn't catch my attention. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, I can, I get that. I think they were a little slower. I think you really liked them, they were, yeah. yeah, but they were definitely slower. The first two, I really liked, yeah. Uh, but then after that, it just kind of trailed off, and then it picked up again. But then it was all like Mando and Luke. Yeah, the yeah. best episodes are the Mando episodes. Like that. Yeah, that's so, what everyone was saying. Those episodes are fire. I fucking love Cad Bane though. Cad you Bane's think he's cool, dead? Man. See, that's the thing. We didn't even watch that part, right? We only watched the um. <laughs> Yeah, you no. Know, watch his intro part. His intro. No, I only, I only watched the one with um. I gotta go watch that. I literally, yeah, I gotta go watch that. The ending. Imagine I didn't know, and then you Did just spoil it. Yeah. Nah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. He's, he's. I heard. Yeah, he got I whacked, dog. I don't think he's dead. I think he's still alive. Bro, I think yeah, he's gonna be in Kenobi. See, I'm not gonna lie. Clone Wars, like fucking actual the cartoon, um, with Cabe and everyone. I think that is some of the best Star Wars of all time. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, man. Like I'm obsessed with that shit, bro. Yo, what do you think if he shows up in Kenobi? I'd lose my shit. Yeah, that would. Be I wild. hope he does. They have so much potential to take to put in so many people, and just like, Dude, I don't know. I just hope they do it for the fans. I hope because I feel like I feel like the the sequels were just to please everyone. I hope they go. I hope they do this for the Star Wars fans. The hardcore fans is that what you're saying? Like, they mm. should, yeah, that's what I've been trying to tell this man for like Shut two the hours. Fuck up! I've been trying to tell him that. You know what I mean? In your face! Ah! Damn it! Ah! 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 You guys yes! about that earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, yeah, we were yeah. arguing about it, and he's just like, he's yeah, like, no, yeah. man, it's just, no, they're not trying to like appease 
they're not trying to get away. What the hell are you saying? I was saying that even though they ended up doing a lot of stuff that pushed fans away, it was not their intent to push fans away. Like, so theory believes that there's some kind of agenda that they're literally trying to like make the prequel fans go away, make the OT fans go away and only have sequel fans. And I was just like, bro, there's no way. Like, I just can't, I can't I believe that that's I said, actually, I don't think now we're going to do another two hours. On this. I said, I don't think they care much about. Prequel and bro, I don't until know. Until now. Because... I mean, they've had the IP for 10 years. Right. But we're talking about Kenobi. Like that's, you know yeah, what I mean? Like they're doing are. a prequel. Now we are. Are. Yeah. They, okay. Yeah. Now they are. Now they are. Yeah. So you just got a nice summary of a, like an hour long argument that we, we I'm going to have to go back so, and watch it. Like I'm going to have to watch it. Yeah, yeah we, got, we were just like, <laughs> So uncivilized. All right, well, I'm going to go. Shit, what happened? <laughs> Played what? a clip. Did it not show up on your end? Oh, fuck. I just, I, I clicked out of it. Play it again. What do you mean? I, I clicked like cancel or some shit. Huh? You can do that? Thing? You can't do uh, that. I, Obi-Wan popped up for a second and then I took him off my screen. What? Yeah. How did you do that? Oh, yeah, that was Matrix. me. You got some Wait, put him, back, put him back up. Oh, yeah, so on StreamYards, you can, like, you can put in whatever you want, like, uh... Liar! Did you have the option again? I just saw tap for sound. What? what? Yeah. Are you... Oh, maybe it's because he's on mobile. Yeah, next time... Hey, next time oh. I get on it, I'll go... Like, yeah, I know. Yo, I you're getting, like, some that. options I've never even heard of. Yeah, I didn't know that. All right, I'm going to go edit. All right, All right man. Have fun. Be well, Thanks man. Have in. fun with your vid. May the force be with you. May the force Indeed, be with to you, you as well. To you as well, man. All right. Nice, dude. Oh, he's a great guy. Um, where the hell was I with these super chats? Uh, if anyone doesn't know who that is, which I'd be surprised, is uh, that's Balin Levine, so you can go check out his YouTube channel. Um Anyways. Seems nice. I I had a good introduction to him as a nice young man. Now I'm gonna go watch his YouTube channel and be like, he's a degenerate. <laughs> I'm gonna find that librarian. Aren't we all? Hit her up and be like, yo, I'm sorry about my mm -hmm. man's. <laughs> Bro, I don't know where the hell we were last. I wish I could remember the last. Chat, thing do you guys remember the last? Um... Uh oh. Ooh, they disappeared. Ooh, I'm going to miss some people's super chats. That's not good. That's not good. Hey, guys. You guys are so inspirational and have been my guides to the galaxy. Do you think in Kenobi show, Kenobi will go through similar training with five temptations like Yoda and Clone Wars? Will we see them? Oh. Hmm. I don't, I don't know about it. I mean, that's kind of a cool idea. Like, I appreciate the idea. It's a cool thought. But I don't really think so. Um, yeah, what do you think? I don't think so. I think it's going to focus just on him moving forwards, and I was just going to be dealing with everything that's happened at this point, and yeah. I was blaming himself. You know, the other thing that I will think of with that is that, you know, sometimes they use those elements like the Mortis stuff to make a important point in sort of a condensed time period. Like, Dave does the Mortis stuff to kind of, like, give us a way to see Anakin rejecting his destiny early on you know and so some of that stuff even with yoda like having the conflict with bane it's really just a condensed way to like take the yoda character through some tribulation that comes with the understanding of palpatine's plan and with right. a show like kenobi like you don't need to condense anything you've got six hours like take your time and draw it out so uh i, I don't yeah. know i just thought that maybe that's uh maybe it's not needed as much but it's a cool idea Ooh, i locked the idea when we get this one yeah they keep disappearing on me what the freak is going i keep missing people's super chats because it keeps like it it won't go any higher now and it's like blocking me off because there's so many messages i have that yeah i, I mean i have you guys that spamming the, poll i have <laughs> i have that sometimes on the back end even on my just going through youtube so like ugh, it can be tough but uh astro pendle says crazy that star wars fans bullied hayden christian so bad he quit acting and now he's back and everyone's gonna act like that didn't happen uh, what do you think? What do you think about that? By the way, I've seen like 30 tweets or maybe more uh, that are encapsulating this idea in a in a way. So uh, you're not alone. There's a lot of people that are trying to make that point. What do you think about that? Yeah, look, I was a kid when um, 
the prequels came out and i was one of the ones that was always defending him when you know other kids my age or people older were like oh that guy ruined it oh so but there's so many reasons why he was acting the way he was in that monotone way and i fully understand it and i've made a video if you want i feel like that should be shared around uh, it's called why hayden christensen played anakin perfectly or something like that and I will prove it to you. And that's um, not going to get shit around. Instead, they're going to say you're gatekeeping. That'll get shared around. But keep yeah, going. whatever. Yeah, gatekeeping. Yeah, whatever. Whatever you want to think. Um, but that video is very helpful. I think it addresses a lot of the points from uh, the making of books on Hayden's acting and the bonus DVDs. And I think it gives people a much more well-rounded understanding of why he acted the way he did. You know what just popped into my head as I was thinking about this this comment is. Wouldn't it be cool if Hayden didn't just avoid that, but actually spoke on it? And what if he said like some really cool stuff about it? Like, yeah, like it was tough. And yeah, Star Wars fans are super passionate. And sometimes they're going to let you know if they don't like it. But I'm happy to be back. And uh seems like things are a little different now. And maybe we just all got to learn together or something. Like he could actually be a useful element to getting maybe some of the toxicity to be uh lessened in the fandom you know what i mean like he could actually maybe help okay. yeah maybe it's possible um yeah see what happens yeah we'll, we'll see i'm so sorry if i've missed a bunch of people i know i've missed a bunch of people but it literally like disappeared so i'd have to go in here and try to find it but it keeps as you guys keep typing it keeps like moving up and up and then disappearing forever it's like a serious back in the uh the veil I have been alienated from Star Wars since The Phantom Menace. Disney is just copying what Lucas did when he just made the prequel content with Clone Wars and no OT content. Well, I mm -hmm. hope you're coming back, man. Yeah. I think Star Wars is on the up. Gatekeeping has always been a thing in Star Wars. Ask any woman who has ever been forced to validate their fandom. This isn't new. We had to fight to be here. Says Miss Becky. I mean, well, I can only speak that's... to like my personal experience and like I don't have a lot of experiences like that. I mean, I'm sure that those experiences happen. Like I'm not so daft as to think that that's not a thing. Uh, but just from like the experiences of the kind of places that I've been with fandom, it's always been super accepting. Um, so, yeah, I don't it's know. It's been so... opposite for me. It's mm. for me. It's been if you like Star Wars, you're like a nerd and you're a geek. It's it's the typical like you know, 90s and 2000s way, whereas everything now in nerd culture is like cool and hip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And like you can make memes out of it. And it's like... Have you ever experienced way. like the ladies though being uh, particularly hated on just because they're ladies? Like with that whole like no girls allowed, like you don't know what you're talking about kind of stuff? Um, Not with my personal experiences. Like I remember I'd be on religiously. I was on Star Wars forums and anytime a girl was on there, like everyone thought it was the coolest freaking thing ever. Because it's like, wow, we, there's a girl here. Like, the hell? Uh, and she likes Star Wars. That's awesome. So I haven't mm -hmm. seen any of that. I, I, I don't I deny that it probably happens, you know, where they yeah. just because you're a girl, you probably are made to feel like you don't know this fandom or like you can't talk about cars or something like typical stuff like that, which I think is bullshit. I think mm -hmm. any person can like anything. That being said, I think when you use something as a vice, to gain clout or popularity, I think that's when things can be questioned. And I think that's done on both sides, men mm -hmm. and women. Yeah, yeah. I think it I think it happens. I just I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it did happen around me and I just like had like a filter on it and didn't like understand it. But uh yeah, I don't know. It's just not I, I've not experienced that a lot. So uh yeah, it sucks that that happened though. Oh yeah, dude, the bullying for for liking Star Wars when I was a kid was like next level, but mm. Hey, it's cool now, I guess. So that's that's great for you know the the younger people getting into it. Just curious, have you watched the Red Letter Media Mr. Plinkett prequel reviews? And if so, no, I have not. I love them, Nima. I absolutely love them. But like, dude, like they can say all of those things, and a lot of those things are valid. They come from the perspective of uh, you know, being like a student of film or whatever. That's totally fine. I still love those movies. Like, there's no way you're gonna be able to take my enjoyment away from those movies. But yeah, like functionally, especially the first two they're weird from a movie perspective like yeah and those reviews are awesome dude red letter media is hilarious what do you think we'll see in the kenobi trailer inquisitors kenobi. yeah whoa what if he's the only thing you don't see in it mm -hmm. what's up what what up though uh hey what up what's hey. up dude 
Yo, what up, though? Server Siri, can you say happy birthday to Lewis Matheson and wish him a happy 18th? Yo, happy birthday, Lewis. I hope you have a great 18th, man. You only have one of them, so. Happy birthday, bro. Not one birthday, one 18th. Happy birthday, bro. Hey, what's the rumor? I came in late. Rewind. <laughs> Hi, sending you both support and love from Quebec. What do you think about Mall in the new poster? Just wanting servers to be great no matter what Mall. Mall in a new poster? Man, y'all are just what bringing you up all this What you talking about? I don't know about that. Let me see. And, oh, uh, are you talking so about the Star Wars Celebration poster? That doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it is cool that he's in there. Oh, what? Yeah. Speaking of The Rock, what would you think if The Rock was in the new Kenobi show? I'd think that was horrible. I think it would be great, but only if he was playing... No, he's just going to push his alcohol again. Yeah, well, hopefully. Uh, but no, he's going to be making posts. Just chilling here on Tatooine, sipping on my shit. But if he's playing Geode, I'm down. <sighs> I used to be such a big Rock fan, dude. Yeah. I know what he means. You think we as Star Wars fans are crazy? Just bring up wrestling around people and watch the nukes be dropped. Mm, yeah, makes sense. I get DM. Yo, subscribers since the early days. Thanks, man. Remember before you hit 10,000 subs. As a fellow powerlifter and Star Wars fan, I can connect deeply to your theory. That's great, Jacob. That's awesome, That's awesome man. man. Yeah, keep lifting. Keep on If lifting. the bar ain't bending, you just pretending. Oh, snap. I like that. I've never heard that shit in my life. Yeah. That's cool. What's your opinion on Duel of Fate scripts? I thought it was amazing. It's all right. Thoughts on the potential Kenobi versus Vader fight? Does Kenobi have to win to justify Vader's quote about being the learner in A New Hope? Uh, he has to have a few tricks up his sleeve. He no, he's, he's definitely got he's got to dummy Kenobi a little bit, though. I want to see yeah. some hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm calling it right now. Give me some hand-to-hand -hand combat a little bit. A little bit Whoa. of... Some John Wick shit. Some John Wick shit. I want them to Kenobi's actually stand face, in front face, of each face. other. I want them both to be like, come in, ah! And then like two beams like How Vader's is red that, and Kenobi's the next, blue. The next super chat is 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 Goku versus Cooler. How weird How is about that? that? Is, is that Cooler? Yeah. No, no that's no, not Cooler. No. That's one of the dragons, right? Never mind. Yeah, yeah it's one of the OG uh, dragons. It's GT. K GT, yeah. Hey, Theory and Josh, since the new Batman movie came out, which one is your favorite? Personally, I love Batman Begins. Yeah, because the Nolan stuff is my Begins favorite. Begins, great, yeah. Mm -hmm. You should have Balin Levine on the show. Oh, <laughs> weird. Some, maybe someday. Yeah, maybe one day. But that's weird that he said that. Probably said it after This, this was in the beginning. Something. No, this is like hours ago. Well, I'm reading Super Chats from hours ago. Damn. Yo, Darth Beard. Star Trek fans have the same inner family conflict, but they all still love each other. We can talk, theorize, and learn from each other. Everyone does have their own opinion. The haters just have to stop being asshats. It's true. I think there's some truth in that. Actually. I think there's haters on both sides, and they're both yeah, annoying. I agree. I agree, but like they're all like they're all petty and they get butthurt about stuff. Like, and even some of our like mutuals, like some of our friends and stuff. Up, but sometimes I'll hit them up and be like, bro, like. You don't got to pick everything out, every little thing out that the other side does and highlight it or whatever. But uh, people be petty, you know. <clears throat> Will Bosk ever be in live action? <sighs> Ask Disney, bro. I, yeah, hope. Man, I hope so. Should have been in. Fucking you and Josh should have a bench press competition. Why? Dude, yeah, I mean, obviously I would win. Have you seen mm -hmm. these guns, dog? Come on now. Bench is my weakest lift, so yeah. No, you probably you probably dominate me. I, I haven't been in the gym much at all lately, so. He's about to be a dad. He doesn't care. Yeah, you know, I mean, I want to be when, fit, but... You know, apparently when, uh, when, uh, when, when you're about to become a father and you're around your pregnant wife, that your testosterone drops? Scientifically proven, apparently. I mean, I can see that. I think there's a lot of weird stuff So that stuff you that stay happens. home and you nest? Sure, sure, that makes sense. There's a lot of weird stuff that happens biologically to both parents uh, when that's happening. You know, one of the things that I've been thinking about is um, just when I see him, you know what I mean? And I, like, actually, like, hold him. Like, I think, because, like, right now it still feels, like, distant and, like, not real almost, you know what I mean? But I have this feeling that, like, when I actually, like, hold him and, like, lay my eyes on him, like, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, amazing and just, like, a total, like, a thing that I've not felt before. Do you know what I mean? Hope I can someday experience that. It'd be beautiful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. What if Maul won the Siege of Man? So, so guys, it's like it's not even now skipping super chats, but it's like actually. Let me show you my screen. 
What's that doing? Uh, Let me see. Uh, see this? It's like I can't even click on them now. It's they're like. Oh, what? It's, yeah, it's like hiding them underneath others. Can you scroll across the top with that arrow to get to them? No, and even if I do, they don't pop they up. Don't go oh, they do, but they don't pop up on the screen. Yeah, they don't go that far back, dude. They don't go that what? far. They only go to like five or six. You might have to go to your back end on your channel to read them. I know, but then they don't pop up, and I like to have yeah, them they pop, won't up pop up on the up. screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like there's this one, but then there's one underneath it. Mm -hmm. Like what? Been watching theory since 2017 and also love josh's content started a channel not this one not self-promoting but i can't express how inspired i have been by you too thank you oh you can post your channel if you want it's fine we appreciate that man what we laughing at? actually a jadeon clip who's that target oh oh my god this is the first time crushing the catching the live stream stream Josh, you're going to be a great dad. Just make sure to tell him his art sucks. <laughs> you know what's funny? I like actually might like low key though. I have a problem with like being a little too real with my criticism sometimes. Um, and uh, I'm gonna try to find the balance with with the, the boy, obviously. But uh, hey, man, I, I think you need to know. Like, if you really want, it depends. Like, what are you looking for? Like, you want to feel good about your shit? You want to like, oh, I'll put this on the fridge. Like, it looks good. Or like, do you want to be an artist? Because I'm gonna tell you right now. Get the books out, start studying, watch YouTube videos. I'm going to judge that shit harshly. Every night at the table, it's going to be like a freaking art show. And if it doesn't look good, I'm going to sweep the leg. What's up, man? <laughs> How you doing, that guy? Yo, Your he's currently stools. putting... Yeah, but let me say this about my man over here. He, I'm one of his like three followers now on the twitters and i'm still following you bro i'm still holding true to our agreement and uh he's been working on a cosplay and, and shit right now it looks cool man keep going that's good <laughs> he's working on a cosplay right now it looks like ass <laughs> Are your cosplay no it actually looks legit though it looks good appreciate you guys always giving me love each week look forward to watching kenobi with y'all mind giving your old pal lk a little love we hit a special bump a speed bump here at the castle we're almost back on track yo late night late night Keep going. Don't let them keep you down, dog. No, you just got to keep going no matter what. Honestly, yeah. who are you most excited to see, Kenobi or Anakin or Vader? Mm, Vader Probably bro. Anakin. <laughs> yeah, Anakin, yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Much love to you both. Question, do you think we'll get a scene with Yoda and Obi-Wan or possibly Qui-Gon Jinn? I think Qui-Gon. I think both. I think Qui-Gon. Hey, Chad, can I ask you guys a question? Do you guys mind if I swear on the show? I mean, I try not to, but sometimes I do. Watch all um, of them be like, I was going to swear. Like, we don't uh, fucking care. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah let's see. I don't know. I just want it to be, you know, uh, applicable to every dude. I'm. Let it out, theory. Let it out. <laughs> Um, no, I'm trying to click the super chats, but they're like hiding underneath these comments. That's so weird, dude. That is weird. Looks like, like a lot of people, people are saying here. no. I don't want yeah. to take the poll down because it's. Uh, I like to highlight my glory. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even checked it out recently. What's it at? 4,807 votes. Theory took the W 64%. Josh, 36%. I don't think the system works, dude. It's just because we're on my channel, probably. Yeah, if we're on your channel, you, you'd win. Oh, see, he just tweeted at me with his, like... I don't think the system works. His uh, cosplay stuff. It's looking good, my man. Looking good. <laughs> Yo, why is he a member, though? Uh, I know, right? Remember that shit? That was funny, dude. <laughs> uh, should we... Oh, Jesus. I uh, thought we weren't doing sequel talk anymore. Bro, we're going to be doing sequel talk till we're crane. Old. Bro, yeah, like... Just being for real, for real, like, trust me, like, I understand maybe feeling that way, but that is an unrealistic expectation. Like, yeah. this shit was crazy. Like, that's the thing. You got two grown-ass men. We cannot stop talking about this shit, bro. Like, this shit was crazy. Like, I don't know. Like, 
don't now make me start trashing on them. This is like weird what you guys do to me, but like we know what it is. Like you both are right. The fact of the matter is that a lot of people started liking George better when he was no longer around. Mm -hmm. I mean, he wasn't perfect, but he and Dave have a better understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean that's fair. Like it's that's I think true. Like after the sequels, I think a lot of fans were like, we were a little too harsh on Georgie. Yeah, but you, yeah, yeah, because they got something worse yeah in their opinion will they show on screen as yeah tame that saber girl to be honest i want a cade skywalker disney plus live action show darth crate talon versus cade and jedi order don't explain if he's related to ray or a true skywalker okay yeah that's kind of cool i can dig it hey chat do you guys want a kenobi video tomorrow or do you want a darth malgus old republic video tomorrow yeah type M for Malgus, type K for Kenobi, type two for both. Ooh. You guys want double uploads every day? I mean, I phew, even less they, they probably do, but I mean, just don't, don't, uh, don't kill yourself. You know what I mean? Yo, Levi, he's got his wisdom teeth out. That he can be tough. Hopefully it went well for you, man. He says he wants to die. So, bro, that shit is, oh, that was horrible for me. Did you have yours out? No, I still got him. Oh, horrible experience for me. Horrible. Really? Yeah, dude. Yeah. No, so the, th so, the, so the thing with my teeth is that I have... My wisdom tooth is in front of the tooth that's supposed to be... What? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you got, like, my dentist some... said that never happens. They're like... Yeah, that doesn't happen. Rare things. You got that some wisdom tooth. Shit yeah, on. that your wisdom tooth grows literally in place of the tooth that's supposed to be in front of the wisdom tooth. So they like switch places. That is wild. Which though. is why I needed Invisalign because it was throwing my bite off. Yeah, that is wild. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's weird. I feel like Disney doesn't care to satisfy or give old fans. Fan service as much for the prequel trilogy fans. Fan service as much for the sequel trilogy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. My yeah. boy. You can feel that way. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to sit here and argue with a man, my man feeling that way. I just think the agenda thing's where I, you know what I mean? That's where I go. Damn it, Josh. Why'd you lock all the bathrooms at the tower before leaving? I really got to go. Just pee on the floor. Susan will get it. It's all good. But I don't want to see the whole tower filled with piss. I don't want all of y'all whipping your little Johnsons out and leaking all over. <laughs> you viewers want to hit the like button. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. That would be nice. Phase one of High Republic was Wizard. Hope y'all read soon. Oh, I'm glad oh, you liked okay. it. Okay, right on, right on, right on. I feel that due to the content wars, Disney prioritizes getting the content out rather than the quality. They're going too big to fail, so they make crap. Yeah, there's some definitely some fair. Yeah, there's like a lot of fairness in there. By the way, is that Ichigo in his thing? I don't know. In his profile picture, I think it is. That's like really cool looking. Whatever it is. <laughs> who is this who's this guy look at that goofy says he took the, the that, w like, i'd yeah. say the poll says differently yeah but you called in the legions you probably called in the knights of melvin or some shit and got them on there the knights of melvin are yeah, always you, on standby yeah that's what i'm saying i love you guys you always brighten my day even when i'm stressed do you think the jedi who can appear in kenobi can be cal Kestis, especially because we see the droid in the book of book of Fett, episode five nope because at this point, Cal would be five years after five years after Fallen Order, so he would be twenty two. Yeah, we could actually. Yeah, I don't think he's the one that's described in the scenes, but he could still be yeah, in the show. Too. Like, yeah, he could maybe be connected to that dude or something. I don't know. Yeah, theory. How well do you deal with change? Take my money. How well do you deal with change? Uh, as the older I get, the better. Interesting. Yeah, when I was younger, I felt like I could control everything. Everything should be under my design, and I was just a control freak. And uh, mainly because I didn't really have any power, like any any ability over my own um, over goals and stuff. Like I just I hadn't reached. I wasn't really happy, so I was just always trying to control little things. And uh, I feel like now I'm much more level headed and. Ch -ch changes yeah. change part of life yeah it is you have to accept it <clears throat> for sure
But not with everything. Some things don't have to. Josh, drop a fax as hot as he is. Oh, ding you. Have y'all read any her? No, I have not read her. Yeah, I've read some. <clears throat> I tried some of the comics. I tried the first book. <clears throat> it's just not my Oh, favorite. like that? Yeah, I read the first comic. I read uh, what was a little bit of the first book. Mm. Yeah. I made the mistake of like reading a comic that I'm sure a lot of people really liked. It's like there was just so much I didn't understand about it. And I was like, what is this? So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've had a bad experience with the High Republic so far, but it's probably on me, to be honest. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll read it. I'd like to, but you're right. Theory OT fans are man babies. Fanboy tears, baby. Grats on your dream car. I'm done. <laughs> Best of luck. Yo, that's a wild chat, but it, thanks, man. That's cool. Thanks, man. Miss Nihilus, huh? That's cool. I like that. Josh, you don't even uh, you don't even think it's possible there's an agenda? I love you, man, but it's a little close-minded. No, no, no. So let me try to clarify it for you, McKinsey. Uh, so could an individual person have an agenda in a moment? Like, let's talk about the Andy Gutierrez thing, right? Does she post that thinking it's innocuous? Hell no. She knows she's pissing some people off. She's ruffling feathers. So she clearly had an agenda. But is there a macro agenda with a combined cohort of people at Lucasfilm that legitimately think that their goal should be to turn off certain aspects of the fandom? No. So hopefully that explains it. Well, maybe not. But I think their idea is to shift the fandom to the sequels and only the sequels. Yeah, maybe. until finally now this stuff is coming out where it's yeah so maybe a few individuals feel that way but uh again to say that like they like that whole like ambiguous they and they want this they want that no it's too convenient it's not it's it's that's not intellectually sound like it's just not true you know okay i don't think they are actively trying to destroy prequel fans like what you like what do you think kenobi is or season seven of clone wars sorry but w for josh yeah okay i mean yeah i mean like i just agree <laughs> they're making all this stuff like why would they be like who, they want to destroy it but they are also making all this stuff yeah it doesn't make sense well look at what they're putting most of their focus on yeah and yeah, I that's what I that's I am. Okay. Hey Theory and Josh, hope you're both having a great day. Finally made it to a stream while it's live. In terms of lore philosophy, what would you like to see with the force in future projects? I would like to see creatures that don't get affected by the force, like they use on Vong. I mean, that's fun. That's kind of a fun thing. I don't know if that's that's what I would personally want to see. Um, hmm, what do I want to see with the Force? Maybe some like older ancient civilization that had like just a different understanding of the Force. So like, there's currently like this idea of the cosmic Force, the living Force, the Jedi kind of living in balance and not really trying to abuse it. The Sith wanting to dominate the Force. Uh, mm. I, I feel like there'd be maybe an interesting other way to look at it, like maybe some aliens that just literally wanted to eat it or some shit. You know, like something really right. different would be cool. So something mm. like that. Josh, look at the evidence. Galactic Star Cruiser merch shows Disney knows all they needed to do was to give us badass Luke or Ghost Anakin in the sequels and they didn't. Why do you think that is? Mm -hmm. so again like here's the thing it's like do you know what occam's razor is mike peter because like look conspiracy theories and um a lot of these ideas are way more interesting and i think that human nature is like we we're, we learn by stories and so we think in stories a lot and so it is definitely easier and more like it's totally understandable to me that people would think of it in terms of a story and then therefore they need a villain. And I understand that, but I'm just saying that like, logically speaking, that's not the actual solution. Like the most likely, the most probable solution is ineptitude, not an agenda. Uh, and that's just definitely not as interesting, but it's also like way more likely the case. So, yeah, absolutely. Occam's razor, man. Look it up. Sometimes a cause trumps reason. If something, if some are willing to lose a few dollars to eliminate toxic fans, they will. Josh isn't looking at this right. 
Wait, so let me try to wrap my head around what he's saying. So sometimes a cause trumps a reason. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, and if some are willing to lose a few dollars to eliminate toxic fans, they will. Uh, so, yeah, that I can understand. But that's not the exact thing as having an agenda to totally shut off these fan bases. That's different. And saying like toxic fans. I mean, yeah, let's be real. Like name me a company out there that actually does want their toxic fans. The good companies understand that they need those fans it's not even that they want them so i mean i i, I kind of get what he's saying though i understand where he's coming no from. i think what he's saying is essentially what this guy is is saying right here stop whining just because it's not the star wars you want so it's just because it's not the star wars that i want that i'm whining but as soon as it becomes the star wars that you want it's all okay what the hell how is that fair it's not fair martin at all sheesh and then once it becomes the Star Wars you don't want, then you're whining. It's like, what? No. You can just talk about it. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm a huge fan. I just made a Star Wars channel. I'm about to have start a second job. Do you have any advice about time management? Oh, yeah. Uh, get rid of everything that you don't need to do that mm -hmm. doesn't help your goals. Mm -hmm. I will also say there's a really weird... Uh, another to take it to another philosophical place there's this idea oh man i forget what the name of it is but it's basically like you will fill the vacuum and so essentially like if you think it's going to take you 10 hours to make a video then you're going to like basically make it like a self-fulfilling prophecy that you need 10 hours to make a video find what time you have and then force yourself to work into those confines i think that's a way better way to approach it um have you ever heard of that theory before I forget what it's no, called. I'm just going off of what I did. That's all. Yeah, I forget what it's called. There's like a there's a, like an idea that you're going to create the time space and then sort of justify the work around it, uh, which seems right to me. Hmm. Love your videos and hoping Kenobi lives up to the hype. Me too. Heck yes, yeah, Sonic Force. Let's go. Who doesn't, man? No one wants it to suck. No one wants Star Wars to suck. I don't know who mm -hmm. does. Melvin was always right. Josh is a major shill. Shill. The stream, guys. Thanks, man. He's a major shill. 100%, man. Give me them checks. One Anakin hallway scene. So, yeah, dude. Mm. Yes. 100%. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. That'd be real, real nice. Why doesn't the hotel do trilogy themes once a week or even a month? One month can be OT and the next can be PT, then ST. That way everyone can be included. Seems like they're throwing money away. No, they're just focusing on the fans they want to cater to yeah i wonder how fast they'll change that because i don't think that's gonna be a probably good won't. strat yeah i mean that's the other thing though this is a uniquely disney thing is that sometimes they cannot admit that they've made a mistake and so sometimes it's just literally them doubling tripling down because they think it will do more damage to the brand if they admit that they were wrong which is like ugh, like that's that's an old way of looking at branding. But. I mean, it's as simple as saying, you know, let's say uh, you're presented with uh, three different meals and you only eat the pizza. You only eat the pizza meal. You forget everything else. You don't eat the burger. You don't eat the hot dog. You're only eating pizza every time that's put in front of you. You're only pushing pizza, eating pizza, you're talking about pizza. I'm not really going to be inclined to think that you like hot dogs or hamburgers. Mm -hmm. Right? It's Yeah. Once again, everything's about food. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to make everybody hungry. The vision in the fandom is exactly why Disney should have started with making old Republic movies or other timelines not connected to OTPT. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Would have been, a or even movie. done these shows and then done the sequel trilogy, like yeah. now. You know. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Just read the Rosario Dawson interview on Gina Carano. Just read any Kathleen Kennedy interview. She puts it out what her agenda is. Rosario Dawson interview on Gina. Oh, I didn't know there was one. Yeah, I'd have to check that out. I can't comment on that. I have dug into a lot of Kathy's stuff though, and like, dude, like I complain about Kathy all the time. I've been saying for years that she should not be in charge of Lucasfilm. And in fact, uh, I think I got blackballed by Disney a long time ago for doing that. Um, like when I, I have some like friends in uh, Comic-Con stuff and uh, they straight up told me they were like, bro, you're on a list like you're 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 no go. And I think it is because I have publicly called for Kathy to step down for a long, long time. So I think that she's pretty inept as a leader. But I refuse to believe 
that she is actually trying to destroy Star Wars. Um, is she you said she's actually trying to destroy Star Wars? I never said that. I'm damn sure you said it. In fact, somebody I will give I will I've give a hundred I will give a hundred American dollars to the person that can actually clip out all the times that you essentially said that tonight. And I've, not I've, essentially, not essentially. No, no, no. You essentially, said I, I said that Kathleen wants to destroy Star Wars. Dude, I said yes, Star Wars is you being did. destroyed. No, 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 no. I will tell you more than five times you've probably made statements that pretty much amount to you saying it no no pretty much amount is not the same as me saying kathy is chat help story. me out help me out get me the clips baby a hundred american dollars to the person that puts together that i'm not kidding well you're not I'll gonna be giving out any money then i'll do it i promise 100 percent. no i've never said that i've never once said kathy i will show you yourself trying to destroy star wars i will show you saying it over five times tonight no i've said that they're destroying it by not including other fans but not that they are legitimately destroying it they have an agenda no, that to destroy they, it that they have an agenda to to destroy it yeah i think they have an agenda to get away from the original trilogy and prequel fans 100 okay. percent. i think they have an agenda to destroy those fans and just focus on their new stuff, for sure. Mm, but not to pretty, destroy. That's pretty Star Wars. lawyerly. That's pretty lawyerly. That sounds like why, some legalese. No, that's exactly why. Why would I ever think that they would buy something for four billion dollars to destroy it? Oh my god. Okay, so another hundred dollars to the person that will clip that statement he just made with the previous statement he made in the stream. That is literally the exact opposite. That clip I really need. That's a good one. No, that's bullshit, dude. You're you're dude. Now you're you're twisting shit. No, I'm not, bro. You're 100 percent not at all. I'll show you're you both of those clips tomorrow. It. No, you're 100. You. No, dude. No. So what are you trying to say? It's not what I'm saying. It's what you said. And I know what I said. I said that they're not focusing on Star Wars fans as a whole. I don't know if you actually nine. know what you said. I I, I think do. it'll be pretty interesting to. Uh, I to think you're just clips. good at twisting what I'm saying. What? I'm Man. not a twister. <laughs> I don't yeah. even play that game. I've never played Twister in my life. Yeah, you're playing it tonight. <laughs> Josh has turned to the dark side, they say. No, man. It's uh, it just just tough. It'll be funny. I want to see those clips. 100%. No. It's insinuating something is not the same as actually saying it. Insinuation can be on your own terms. You mm -hmm. can think of that yourself. Mm -hmm. But I will say I do think that they are trying to destroy the other fans the prequel trilogy and original trilogy <laughs> fans so that they can focus on the sequels for sure yeah everybody's saying pull it yeah 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 until now pull it did you now. say it or not ask them ask the chat right now it doesn't matter they're all just gonna they're all just gonna vote against me yeah, anyways sh show me the clips yeah do it show them the clips it's treason man hey man 5400 votes <laughs> 65 me 35 you Oh, snap, dog. Oh, snap. Yo, I will have to check out that Rosario Dawson interview, though. I have not seen what she said about her. There's absolutely an agenda at Disney. It is across all their media, and it is obvious. It was planned long before they even proposed buying. Wait, what? There's an absolute agenda at Disney. It's across all their media, and it is obvious. And it's planned long before they even proposed buying. Even before they proposed buying. What do you mean by that? Buying Lucasfilm. So you're saying that there was a pre-established Disney agenda and then they bought Star Wars with the agenda already in mind? So what's the agenda then? To create their new Star Wars. Mm. Let the past die. Mm. I don't know about that, man. Jim Steaks gets bought and the food is worse. They don't want old fans comparing them. They want new ignorant fans to latch onto the big name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> totally yeah, josh just isn't common anymore i mean no like dude like i just like what do you want me to say like i i you could say it a, a ton of different ways i i think the food analogies are funny um i can see like 
small amount of truth in what you guys are getting at but uh no man it's like ridiculous what do you think that like your one comment with an allegory that's slightly different than theories is going to get me to flip my mind first of all i'm a i'm a very stubborn motherfucker so even if i'm wrong i want to fight you to the death on it second of all i strongly feel that i'm right well, if i'm wrong i'll i'll fully admit i'll be like yeah you know what yeah i think your opinion is better yeah, opinions are opinions, but I have you know yet I, mean? I have yet to be proven wrong. I think, in at least in my mind, yeah. Lucas almost pull of business politics, elitism, fragile egos, and personal agendas that breeds a culture that is not concussive to appeasing fans. Mm -hmm. You just described like most major corporations. I would say most major corporations have all the same problems. Can we get a poll up in this beach? We don't talk about Kylo. We don't talk about Kylo. Oh, hey, Theory and Josh, always look forward to these Monday nights. And Theory always have to laugh at, about Rain because my husky exactly the same. And yeah, she's a funny one, eh? You Huskies were my funny. brother. I loved you. Chat, should I get another husky or should I get a German Shepherd? <laughs> Type husky or German Shepherd. Husky. Anakin, with full knowledge and intent, went against the Jedi Code, made a public vow to a Sith Lord, and killed Jedi. That is, this is, tang this hmm. is tangential to Kathleen's ineptitude to an assignment that George gave her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. True. Yeah. I mean, it True. feels it feels similar. Yeah. He's saying that Kathleen Kennedy's the chosen one, essentially. <laughs> That's what he's saying, dude. I guess. That's what he's saying. He's yeah, probably like at home, like no, <laughs> like typing. <"Yeah." laughs> so, anyway, celebration Anaheim is fully confirmed. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this will begin to make things right. They are very anti prequels and only saw the OT as something to nostalgia bait people on. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Oh man. Oh, dude. Hundred percent. Yep. Hundred percent. You think Disney didn't offer Spielberg to direct episode seven because they were worried with his relationship with Lucas would allow him to be influenced by him? It's possible. Oh, yeah. Did they approach him? Did they press I don't know. I don't really know about that. I don't know. There is the emotional stability of a young one who survived an Anakin attack on the Jedi Temple. Yeah, you would know. <laughs> yeah, Jake. What's that stupid? Dude, your, your art, art sucks. sucks. <laughs> Yo. J.J. Abrams started that crap with Star Wars and killing off the original characters. He did the same with Trek. He wanted CBS Paramount to get rid of all their Trek canon and his reboot be the only one. Yeah, that I can get behind. But that's like one specific person. Like J.J. has a huge ego, 100%. So like J.J. might have been the person that told Disney he wouldn't do it if it was George's stuff. We don't know that to be 100%. But that makes more sense to me. You know what I mean? That I can get behind because I understand the motivations for JJ. He is that way with, with canon and things of that nature. But JJ isn't they. He's one dude. Got a kangaroo. Theory, I understand completely how you feel. I'm going through it as a Tolkien fan. Based on what info we've gotten from the showrunners, incompetency is only incompetency is only part of the story. Same story, different IP. So I haven't been following what's going on with uh, it's pretty the Tolkien wild. stuff. but It's pretty wild. Why would they Gosh. destroy Luke? I mean, dude, it's simple. Like, look, some of you guys that think, okay, this is this is going to trigger most of you. So check this out. Get your buttholes ready to be triggered. Many of you guys that love the Batman don't understand that it is the same thing they did to Batman as to what they did to Luke Skywalker. And you love what they did to Batman, but you hate what they did to Luke Skywalker. It's the same thing. Thing. It is a deconstruction so. of a character archetype. That's what it is. It's a deconstruction. But this so is a want... younger. This is a younger Batman. This is right. Not who he becomes. This is not after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This so is him it's becoming in... perfect. Sure. Sure. It's different in the sense that this is not canonically attached to previously established Batman. But as far as from the mythos of Batman, in the same way that like when I tell you about Luke Skywalker, it's just an idea. It evokes an idea in a like a, almost like a mythological like symbolism. And you're like, oh, I know what Luke Skywalker is. I have this idea of Luke Skywalker. It's the same thing with Batman. I tell you an idea of Batman. You have an idea of Batman, right? What Matt Reeves attempts to do in his film 
is to deconstruct Batman. Like we can't really talk. I want to go into full spoilers, but it's the same thing. It's like I want to pick apart the things you thought you knew about Batman. I want to turn it on its head. And there's things about this Batman that are different. Look at how cool it is. It's different. It's the same thing they did with Luke Skywalker. So why would they ruin Luke Skywalker? I disagree. They ruined Luke Skywalker because they're trying to do something uh, unique and sort of postmodern with the character. I disagree because from what you've said about this Batman is that it's this is like a new hope Luke Skywalker. He's not Luke Skywalker, the Jedi Master, the Jedi mm -hmm. Knight. He's Luke Skywalker still, still trying to figure it out. He's like Empire Strikes Back, Luke mm -hmm. Skywalker. He's gonna fail. He's still learning. He's gonna leave his training. He's he's you know, he's not there yet. And this is the road to him becoming there. And that's I think that's that's fine if you do Yeah, that. yeah, in that in that sense, you're right. But do you know what deconstructionism is? Well, yeah. Of course. Do you know that that's what they did with Luke? They did a lot more than that with Luke. Yeah, but I mean, at a base level, that's what Ryan's trying to do. He's trying to deconstruct Luke Skywalker. Like you what they did with Han Solo. Yeah, I don't really get that one, to be honest with you. I feel like that's just him trying to be clever. That's just JJ trying to be clever. How? You know what I mean? He, he, you made him like a runaway loser. He lost his ship. He lost his son. He's no longer with Leia. Like, you, you turned him into a deadbeat. Mm -hmm. And he was a freaking war hero. Like what? Yeah, yeah. I Why would you do just, this? That's probably just JJ. Just I don't know, man. Like I feel it's like he JJ just, making things right. He probably just doesn't really have an affinity for that, and he's more interested in like his version, frankly. Absolutely, you know I mean? and that's that's the issue is that they, these guys shouldn't be uh, interested in their own version. They should be interested in the version that makes the most sense for these characters. Yeah, I agree with that. Instead, we got a tit for tat war of uh, two people measuring their weenies. Uh, with Star Wars movies on Disney's budget. Yeah. No, I agree. Each with movie that. canceling the other one out. 100%. Why? Foolish for their own egos. Uh, is Josh actually high? Oh, anyway, for some super chatting, I love both of you guys. We love you too, man. <laughs> Not currently, Whopper, but, uh, you know, smoke them if you got them. I enjoyed your in depth analysis of Anakin that made me see him in a unique way. What are aspects of Kylo Ren that you liked? Would you make a similar deep dive into the character? later yeah i could do one for kylo i just feel like he's essentially the inverse of anakin but essentially mm. they're, they're like this they have the same uh energy you know yeah do you think that kylo would have been better served if we saw him as a child in the movies because like i think about this sometimes man like the child aspect of anakin in uh phantom menace even though it's like a little weird i think it actually is very important to our understanding of anakin and you can kind of see that childlike nature in him even as he grows up um and i almost feel like if we would have seen a younger ben we would have maybe had because he does act super immature. He's not well put together at all, which reminds me a lot of Anakin. But uh, I don't know. I feel like we would have been better served to see him as a young, uh, as a young man. What do you think? A young Anakin? No, a young, a young, young, a young Ben Solo. Yeah, 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 young Kylo. Well, I think we're gonna get that in the shows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, so. Yeah. I think it's yeah. Really cool. Um, yeah. There's a lot of people talking about comparing Batman to Luke with what you were saying. So I got to go see the Batman. I, I. And then I'll know uh, we can do mm -hmm. movie bros on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can talk about it for sure. It is is it possible to agree with both? Of course. Yeah, of course. Look, I think I agree with both of our perspectives. I look, I see a lot of where he is at. I'm. Just I think not you were spinning me. what I was saying a lot, though. I think you were like oh, pushing no, no, no. what I was Wait saying for the a clips. lot. Wait for the clips. You'll be singing a different tune tomorrow, my friend. But uh, no. Yeah, you. I, I still stand by what I say, regardless. Yeah, which version? What do you mean? Which version? You'll have to decide after you see the clips. You'll be like, which, which, which version of me do I stand behind? That's essentially what it will come down. No, to. dude. No, no. What I say is the same thing in this whole stream. Hundred bucks. Somebody do it. All right. Despite the name of the meme of Padme dying due to being sad, what do you think the real reason she died? Yeah, being sad. She probably died from being sad, bro. Unfortunately. Well, Carrie Fisher's mom died from legit being sad when her daughter died what yeah that's a real thing she died two days ago two days after that hmm. from heartache yeah you can send me the clip on twitter or on uh, discord rumor is 2012 to 2015 lucasfilm only allowed ot based pitches from creators if your idea doesn't seem like it came from 77 83 we don't want to hear it 
I've never heard that before. First super chat, big fan of the show. This past summer has been catching up on the service theory con. This is the theory versus Josh Q. Q battle. If you're, oh yeah, we've seen that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Both views are true: incompetence and wanting to move on from the baggage of the old fan base. Love your spirited discussions, fellas. Hey, theory. Asked Josh this earlier today on Den of Nerds. But what do you expect from Obi Wan? And did you hear that Josh is shaving his dome to match you? <laughs> No, he definitely didn't hear that shit. That didn't happen. Did you have something going on for shaving your head? No, no, no. They always want me to, though. Well, I think I did say something. You got such great hair. Well, I said something about it, but I don't even remember what it was. <sighs> what did I say? I don't remember. <laughs> I only play a, say, a sure bet with those kind of things. <sighs> that Ralph Boner twist was garbage, but the creator of WandaVision, Jack Schaefer, already stated that there was more to his character. She did say that. I don't know. I mean, I hope that they make that right, but it uh, doesn't change the fact that it was whack. Hey, guys. Thanks for the shout-out for our podcast. This is not the podcast we're looking forward for last week. Justin and I recorded an episode earlier today about Kenobi leaks and theories. Much love. Nice, dude. Nice, bro. Good yeah, stuff. Enjoy the process. I hope your podcast blows up. Keep it going. I don't know why, but Kid Fisto always been my favorite Jedi. He's a cool Jedi, bro. I like him a lot. He's happy. Are you guys going to Star Wars Celebration Anaheim in late May this year? Probably not, unless... It, dude, if things freaking open up here in Canada, I'm gone. It's got to be close, I'll right? I mean, like, because we're pretty much, like, there's maybe a couple places here that are pretty locked up still. But other than that, we're pretty open, bro. I hope so. Have there been any updates recently on the Lando series? No, I haven't heard no, anything. Nothing, nothing that we've heard, no. I have the keychain too. It's awesome because Disney didn't make those characters. Disney never touched the old public. Right, <laughs> right on, sure Jake. they will. Right on, Jake, sure my man. Will. Just want to say thank you both for your comic recommendations. You two are really are real the best. Stay cool. Hey, stay cool, Christian. That's cool, man. That's right nice, on. Uh, mountain. Oh. Don't do you trust Disney to maybe dive into the old republic and prequel content? Yeah. They put the right people in charge. There's yeah, no reason why you put in charge. It. It's all about who you put in charge. That's it. And it's a big deal who you put in charge. You know what I mean? It's not Disney's fault that diehard Star Wars fans forced George to sell the brand. He found too hard. He found too hard to tell his story and also satisfy fans. Right, but it's Disney's fault to definitely honor what they told him by continuing his story. Josh getting paid off more than the Gotham Gotham PD. PD. Oh, I wish dude. That, those would be some juicy checks. Hey, theory. I see the blue. Sea. Oh, yeah. I read that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, man. I wish George Lucas would come back. Somebody said in chat, hey, maybe he'd be back for Andor. Here's a question. Would people have gone to another film after the sequels and Solo got bad PR? Disney got a bad first impression from fans complaining from The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. They ignored and woke up with Solo's reception. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Disney had a, uh, they've had a ton of problems. Like, again, like, there's, there's, it's just so weird to me. Like, I see what you guys are saying, but like, I just don't understand how you can't see where I'm coming from. Like, clearly, they've been messing up. Clearly, they weren't really listening to fan feedback, and eventually they had to. But that just shows that there's not an agenda. It's just they're, bad at their job you know what i mean qui-gon speaking to obi-wan while meditation only not able to complete training to manifest in front of yoda yeah but they might change that they could change it could be cool yeah could be cool there's a big rumor that an adaptation of heir to the empire is right we talked about it we know yeah. Thrawn will be the center point but we get a version of sabayoth dark ezra mary jade talon card they'd have to change it so it wouldn't be exactly air to the empire but yeah an adaptation which would yeah. be cool yeah, yeah, yeah that would be cool and i think we'd be down super excited for the kenobi show he is my favorite character also people don't give kenobi the props for how powerful he was killed maul defeated anakin and maybe darth vader in the next in the new show yeah he, I, I, he wasn't powerful he was just very um so obi-wan was actually the least gifted of many jedi like he was below average when it came to the force however he trained so much that he became a master of so many different disciplines 
is that canon? Is that in the? Is that from the uh, the legends? That's legends. That's okay. Legends. So, but also it is canon in the Master and Apprentice book in a sense where he's like, Qui Gon's like in his head, like I was so far ahead of this guy when that's I was true. Searching. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and Obi Wan's always just kind of messing up. Yeah. Hello there. Who's your favorite clone trooper? I like Rex. I mean, I like Rex. That's, that's kind of go easy with generic one. I'd, I'd say yeah. probably Hunter actually. Yeah, Hunter's cool. Or uh, Crosshairs, dude. Crosshairs, dope, dude. <laughs> OT PT fans are not getting the same treatment as sequel trilogy fans. Obvious with the theme parks being sequel trilogy only. Seven year long wait for OT PT content, and we got Book of Boba. Hopefully for hopeful for Kenobi to be enjoyable for all Star Wars fans. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yep, I'm down. I'm down. I think I disagree with the first part of your shit, but that's fine. I'm down. I don't. I fully agree. You guys get me through my 12-hour shifts every night. I watch y'all's live streams and lore videos every night. Love you guys. You two keep me sane. Nice, Thanks, buddy. bro. Keep on yeah. keeping on, my friend. A dad nasty. A dad nasty. If the leaks about Kenobi and Andor are real, this could really be the real turning point for Star Wars to give OG fans hope. I agree, but it's too bad they hate all y'all fuckers, so they'll probably pull the plug on it anyways. Any ever find out Padme didn't lead Obi-Wan to him? No. He probably uh, fully thinks that. Yeah. Probably. Well, that'd be fun. You should make a new segment where people can come on and ask questions called Star Wars Query. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. That'd be kind of fun. That can be a whole mess, though, trying to get people on that aren't usually used to like doing content and whatnot. What do you mean? Well, just like if they don't know to like have their headphones in you can get like feedback if they're not in a good internet connection or whatever like i used to do streams and like bring people on and like we'd have people literally like i was about to say like making food live but i guess sawyer used to do that anyways but you know what i'm saying like there's it can be disruptive to the to the yeah, broadcast true. yeah yeah hey theory my first super chat ever thanks augie I've been watching you since 2016. Congrats on the new Lambo. By the way, you were the goat. Thank you, dude. Appreciate Did you finally that, get it? You finally got it? Yeah, I made a video on my uh, gaming channel. Oh, man, so, I got to check that out. I, I watched the, the I, fake one you did back in the day. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I, I won't see it for another month, though. So uh, Okay, right on. Yeah, right so I got on. to see it once uh, after like a year, and then, yeah. Right on. Hey, Theory, I love your content so much. I was just wondering what you used to call Josh and how you play Star Wars Lions. What? <laughs> love from New Zealand. Love you too, man. What I used to call Josh? I didn't understand that question at all. Uh, yeah, I don't understand the question. Sorry, man. Yeah. What's your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Fat Daddy Star Wars Theory, my new favorite account. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Yo. <laughs> what the? Oh, that's that's pretty good, man. That's funny. <laughs> Damn, I probably could get to that too, to be honest. Yeah, I could get to that level for sure. That's wild. So wow, I look lean as hell now after looking at that. I know, right? Talk about a glow up. What's your opinion on the on the book Heir to the Empire? It's dope, bro. Come on, fat daddy. Almost as dope as that thumbnail. That, yeah, that photo. Holy Damn. Crap. I want to yeah, change that. To, I need to. Can you send? Can somebody send me that so I can yeah, make that man. my profile picture, please? Please. please I'm please. serious. I'm gonna change my Instagram to that. I'm not 100%. even kidding. Do Some, it. Somebody, somebody, send me that. Like somebody tag me on Instagram, and uh, and I'll swipe it. Okay. That's pretty funny, dude. That's amazing. I will change that. I legit will change that to my. <laughs> yeah. I'm more angry with you. You read some of these. I am more angry with J.J. Abrams. He hyped up Finn, Snoke, etc. Then left. Broke up Han and Leia. Nobody wanted that. Then instead of redeeming episode 8 and making it work, he did everything to trash it. I think there's that's pretty fair, man. Like, I would say, like, yeah, J.J. was a big old stinker poop face with it when it came to this stuff. But at the end of the day, like, you got to kind of point the finger at Kathy, too, because she hires him. And not only does she hire him, She's she does she moves heaven and earth to get him. He didn't even want to do it, ladies and gentlemen. He was like, Nah, I don't want to do it. I'm actually really not good at what I do, Kathy. That's a big secret, but I'm actually I steal other people's styles. I don't, I mean, fucking lens flare. What do I know? And she was literally like, I will do anything 
to get you to come over here and fart on our Star Wars stuff. <laughs> and that's literally what happened. So, you know, you just... <laughs> He, uh, he definitely did that. That's for so sure. There you go. I'll begin to make things right. It's like, uh, dude, you are such a self-absorbed douche. Mm-hmm. Why would you ever say that? Mm-hmm. You guys think the new High Rep Republic content will tie into Eclipse? Also, Cad Bane's death felt like malls in Rebels. Keep up the good work. Moof milkers. Mm. Thanks, dog. Um, High Republic probably. into Eclipse. Yeah, probably. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, probably. I kind of hope Eclipse is like, I, yeah, I guess it would make sense to do that. Yeah. Josh, how do you view relationships between Thrawn and Vader? Love their relationships. That's actually one of my favorite of the new Thrawn books was, I think, which one was the Treachery or whatever with him and Anakin? And it cuts back and forth between his time with Anakin and his time with Vader. Vader. Yo. And like Thrawn is like toying with Vader because he knows he's Anakin. Yeah. And he's like doing all these like little Thrawn things, and like Vader's like, This is most like no, you know what I mean? Like, it's really cool, dude. Yeah. So, their relationship is really cool. I think that it would be cool if they made an open world Star Wars game if Rockstar and Lucasfilm teamed it. Yeah, that'd be sweet for sure. I'm waiting 100%. for GTA 6, man. Oh, yeah, is that is that on the way or something? Uh, yeah, they've announced that they're working on the next project. They didn't say GTA 6. Hmm. I know, get a Sith Lord on point and point it where the sequel has hurt you <laughs> everywhere you know the sequels hurt me the sequels hurt me bad let's go what's up theory josh and balen what's up chase you know, i like that profile picture appreciate how much you disagree nothing watered down here i'll give the queen a call you sirs have been knighted love for your favorite <laughs> my man <laughs> my man no i mean look we like that's one of the things we noticed early on when we started making content together was like we do argue but it's good like i i think it would be i like it dry yeah i think the content would be dry if like we came out here and we're just like i mean me and mark pretty much agreed on 100 percent of everything and so Mm -hmm. it didn't i mean we talked about cool stuff and our interviews were great but um there wasn't any like drama in the sense that there was no Mm -hmm. discourse between us all that much yeah yeah and there's like a tension that can be created and for some people maybe it's like a little uncomfortable or whatever but like for me it's like cool and it it makes the i enjoy it yeah like this whole conversation like just being completely genuine um like i love it because like look um look I think at this point, like you guys are trying to like get to know me. I'm I'm stubborn, fucking. I think I know it all, Josh. Like that's me, hundred percent. But I love engaging in conversations where I get to like to do that and feel that. You know what I mean? So it's like as much as like he and I disagree about that one thing, and like I'm gonna be hella stubborn about it. He's gonna be hella stubborn about it. I actually enjoy it. Like I like it. Like I genuinely like it. You know, and and uh, and all the ancillary stuff that comes with it. I, I find it to be uh, really really enjoyable. And by the way, tomorrow I, I might just admit that he was right. Who knows? Who do you think would win, Luke or Yoda? Yoda. 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 Let me ask you, like, chat. Let me ask you a question. Who do you think would win, Ray or Yoda? Eh? Uh, eh? Don't do that. Don't do that. Type R Which for Yoda? Ray. Which Yoda? Last Type Jedi R Yoda? For Yoda? Bro, any Yoda. Yoda as a zygote. Mm. Any Yoda. Mm. Fetus Yoda. Amen. <laughs> if fetus I am. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Shit. If I don't see R in the chat, you're all sexist and racist. Okay? Yeah, Just 100%, dude. Just Just you're Jay not said. all about Ray. Did JJ actually say that? What did he say? Dude, yeah, he literally was on. I forget which. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said something. That's mm -hmm. crazy. He said something to the effect of like, well, you know, there's a lot of those fans out there that are just mad that the new character is a girl. You know, like he he said it in such like a gross Hollywood dismissive way. Good for him. Um, Yeah, he's a wanker, bro. For sure. He's a wanker. 100%. Long time listener, first super. Do you think Andor will run like Mando for four season with Obi showing up? like luke does in mando much love Ooh. i think it's possible it's a little early to tell but yeah it's totally possible i see a few r's in chat it's nice to know we have some good people in this world <laughs> maul versus an inquisitor in kenobi Ooh, yeah it'd be sick for sure but i mean just do that in a different show i, I feel like you want to you want to focus on kenobes 
I just hope that they bring back Kyle Katarn into Star Wars. I really hated Rogue One. Kyle was a you hated Rogue One. Kyle yeah, that's a hot take, dog. Character of the Cena, that is a hot take, bro. Because almost all of us like Rogue One. Like Rogue One is, I mean, it's it was great. Thank, thank I think God it's for one Rogue of Disney's one. best things, best yeah. products. Mm -hmm. Been a fan since 2017, and this is my first super chat. What's up, Liam? What Check up? out How to Kill a Franchise. He rewrites the sequels at the end. They had so much potential. Mm -hmm. They did. They did. They did. Isn't that the video that I was talking about like a month ago? No, you were talking about um, the anti-trilogy. Anti-trilogy, right. Which is a great video. Hey, Theory, just wondering, why is there a big difference in price in the Corbin Sabres? Like, is that the difficult adding your own sound fonts? I don't know. You'd have to ask them. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure either. No idea. Who knows? Only the Oracle. <laughs> I don't know who he's talking about. This guy looks this like, guy he, looks like he, he moans when he sucks, sucks the dust off his sucks the oh. dust off his fingers. Oh. Maybe he's talking about me. Maybe he's talking he about the dust, the dust from his, his grandma's wilted over hairy you know what and oh, I was he talking like... about Balin because Balin had, was like eating Cheetos oh yo no he was talking about Balin bro oh okay about, never, never mind yo yo my bad you cool you cool <laughs> dude he wasn't talking about it about... yo you cool you cool bro no, oh, no worries dude, no worries did it again damn <laughs> okay <laughs> he brought his grandmother into it too shit dog my bad shit I should read more carefully. Damn. My bad. I was Kenobi. actually about to go even harder, so I'm glad I didn't. Jesus. Obi-Wan Kenobi knew Darth Vader was Anakin in Revenge of the Sith when he looked at the Jedi Temple security footage. Palpatine directly called Anakin Lord Vader. Um, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he knows that Vader is Anakin, but he doesn't know that um, Anakin's mm. alive. Yeah. Yeah. That is kind of interesting, though. But he might know fair. now. In yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 years. Theory and Josh, thoughts on a what-if show or comic book series where you see if Anakin didn't turn to the dark side? Yeah, be oh, cool. yeah. Um, Star Wars has those. They're, um, what was it called? It's fancy. I have a big book on it. And, like, Vader has, like, a white suit even. Um, huh? Yeah, it's cool. It's like what? a fan fiction. The whole thing that is a fan fiction. Cool. Fan fiction comics. That sounds really cool. I forgot what Star Wars Tales, I think. Hmm. Love both of you, Theory and Josh. It's been boring with no shows going on, but y'all still got me looking forward to Monday every week. Joe Kelly. Oh, I, I got to say, I love Nerd Theory, man. Every week, I always have such a blast, and I'm really glad you guys are digging the show, too. So thanks mm -hmm. for everyone being here, man. Yep, 100%. Uh, vibe I, with you, bro. Yeah, I co-signed that 100%. I, I have a blast on these streams, so I'm glad you guys have fun, too. Mm -hmm. Theory, how dope would the Kenobi opening be with an Order 66 intro? Anakin storming the Jedi Temple, attacking Jedi, shot the same way as Luke Mando season two finale appearance. So badass. Yes. <laughs> yes. So badass. Yes, please. I'd love it. Yes, please. Hey, Theory and Josh, I want to start a Star Wars YouTube channel, but don't know where or how to begin. Any tips will be much appreciated. Much love. So my first um, thing to say on that is I didn't know how to begin. I didn't, well, I wasn't trying to begin. I just made a video and that's all you have to do. Just make a video. I just had an idea. I made a video and I didn't check in on the channel. I forgot about the channel for like three weeks to a month and that was it. So yeah, you just gotta, make, make a vid, bro. Got to do that. Yeah. You're going to think about it. You're going to do all these things. Like I'd say, just do it. Mm -hmm. Just make a vid. Make a it's vid, man. Yeah. Who's stronger, Luke or Leia? Uh, Luke. <laughs> Luke is stronger. It is possible Leia had more potential, but it's unrealized. So it doesn't sure, it's possible, but she didn't train. So no one correct. Would know. correct. It's like yeah. Watto, bro. He could have been probably the strongest <clears throat> being in the galaxy. Oh, yeah. He never trained. Man, that would Broom Boy. Who knows? It would be great to see. Josh is right because of the fact that Disney follows the money and finally see that longevity plus finances equals fans. I, however, <laughs> agree theory that before. Fan backlash, the financial plans of Disney and the fans' idea did not align. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man, for your words. I can get, to, I can get down with that. I mean, he literally said it better than we did th for, trying to say it for three hours. So there you go, Jay. Think we get news on Tyker or Kevin's movie at Celebration? You got to ask Josh. Oh, I mean, that would be great. I mean, 
I'd be quite okay with that. Thank you, Andres. Greetings from Colombia, he says. Nice, bro. Colombia. Nice. Tesla gang plaid. Got the Yo, plaid. Steve. Steve. Yo, Steve. Steve. Steve with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought he had a Lambo the other day. Yeah, we were like, he sells yachts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right on, Steve. Right on. I'm about to get the Model Y now, but whatever. Is that a Rolex? He's like, no, it's a Apple. Apple Watch, bro. Is it true the Star Wars Eclipse won't be released until? It's yeah, not if true, but it's if it ever comes out, if it ever comes out, it might not ever come out. I think he's talking about Balin. He is about to make a grandma joke, but you're cool. <laughs> uh, but grandma's Kashik, <laughs> exactly, bro. Exactly. Yo, fat daddy, over. fat daddy messaged you on Instagram. Although I got to be honest, that might be hard for you to find still. Who is that? The guy with that did your fat uh, face on his thing oh did he yeah he said yeah, it you do no, tag me tag it's, it's easier if you tag me <clears throat> you know i want cyber truck andrew i see you in chat i want cyber truck i actually at one time did have a cyber truck uh pre-ordered but um i don't know man when you become a dad you, you gotta gotta probably not just drive a tank around you know maybe someday i'll get it what's up cyber I, want truck? Cyber truck, yeah, I want a cyber truck 100 but uh I take care of a few things uh, before I do that. Yeah, so Fat Daddy post post it and then tag me because I'm gonna look at my tags right now and then I'm gonna change my actual. Uh... Says his name is Benjamin Hillman in Insta. Just post it on your Insta and then tag me. It'll it should pop up. Yeah, because it's easier for me. Yeah, <laughs> I'll change it right now live. Do you people think producing people? Do you do you think the people producing have seen or should have seen the Vader versus Ben fight in four that's been redone and improved? Oh, they've probably seen it, bro. They've like, probably seen it. What 30, 40 million views? It's really cool, dude. It's like yeah. super fucking cool. So yeah. very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool, cool Bianca. Very, very cool, cool Bianca. Cool. Uh, do you think we'll see Vader in the trailer? Probably not, dude. Uh, I hope so. Probably not. I don't know, bro. That that would be a mistake. I feel like. Could we have Iden versus you and Andor? I hope not. Mm, maybe, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, why? Um, sup, my guys. One of my favorite Jedi ever is Plo Koon. Do you think he was done in a disservice in Episode Three? Do you think he deserves his own? No, I think they just legit showing how detrimental order 66 actually is and destroying it. yes yeah you gotta break a you gotta what's the expression crack a few eggs to make it's, it order 66 or something it's supposed to be mm -hmm. that's what that's why i think order 66 is so cool from a movie standpoint because it literally just like washes everything mm -hmm. and that's the point it's to show how dark things have become the decisions that anakin made and the uh the deal with the devil that he made um and you know a lesson to kids as, as to what making these kind of decisions will lead to. Yeah. My expectations for the Ahsoka show is to see the Rebels crew, Thrawn and Ezra, the Grisk, and to see Ahsoka receive the Tatooine. <laughs> I almost got him. Dude, that's actually a very clever one. That was in depth. That might be one of the, the best ones we've seen. Yeah, you read that one. Kenobi is my last straw with Disney Star Wars. I love Mando, but knowing where Luke ends up, it always bums me out in the end. Well, I think for your sake, man, I, I honestly hope that Kenobi is dope. I hope that it's everything you want it to be and that you're a little more optimistic about some other things that move forward. But um, yeah, I think a lot of our hopes ride with Kenobi, man. I think a lot of us are going to be super, super butthurt if, uh, if they screw that up, so... You're not cool. alone, Nello. You're not alone. He hasn't posted it yet. <laughs> Yo, the triggered frozen Josh is probably one of my favorite accounts too. Yeah, that one's good too. No, the yeah, the one with the Mart with Mark. If you don't know oh, yet, Lego yeah, just yeah. released a Dark Trooper attack set. Luke's always seen. So if you have bought one yet, oh cool. That's super cool. That's wild. <laughs> my lord <laughs> tattoo wiener i've never heard of it 
Tatooine. Where? Come on. I'm trying to find it. What'd you say his name was? Ah, oh, shit. I don't remember, dude. I just remember reading it when he said it in the chat. I don't remember. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> Yo. Oh my god, dude, it's even better. Oh, that's amazing. I changed it right now. That is amazing, dude. Damn. Uh, that's a Java. That's a Java uh, theory for sure, right there. Uh, oh man! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I was like. Dude, made your night, dude. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Oh, man. That's amazing. Dude. Yeah. That dude's so hyped up about it. Dude. You know that dude's gonna have the best stories to tell people around and shit. That's funny, dude. I needed a new picture too. I'm like, man, Boba's done. I gotta change it to something. Yeah, dude, you got it now, dog. Oh god, that's great. That's the one. Bloat Lord. Bloat Lord Dewey. Oh, if you don't know yet, I hit. All right, uh, Luke and Ahsoka for Obi Wan and Anakin. <laughs> the three hundred eight thousand people that are actually well more than that. We see my account will be like, <laughs> what, the <fuck>? what, <laughs> like what happened to him? What happened, dude? <gasps> He's going down a path I can't follow. <laughs> Put a heart emoji in the chat if you want to apologize to Hayden and Jake for the portrayal of Anakin. Yeah, that'd be nice. Even though they probably won't see it, but well, I mean. Nice. Yeah, I, I think I, I might make nice. a video eventually just being like, you know, just like as like a, a and I'm sure others have done it too. It's like a place like a hosting place for people to just like comment what they want um, just to, you know, honor what they've done and uh, kind of uplift their spirits. And maybe, you know, they'll they'll see it. Hopefully. Uh, Read Thrawn Ascendancy Trios. Red Thrawn Ascendancy Trios. Oh. OBV Chiss gain most off Grogu DNA Chiss Skywalker clone program. No, I don't think they're a clone, but they're just like younger women. That's all they are. And then they lose their powers. Grogu DNA to slow aging. Ex oh, you see. Oh, you hmm. mean cloning a Skywalker. To slow aging, extend third sight. STL imp ships. There's just too many, too many code words there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little lost on it. A little lost. Well. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. This probably won't happen, but I think it would be cool if Obi Wan had a dream vision of his two enemies, Grievous and Maul, taunting his failure, then having the two merge to form Vader, symbolizing the connection between the three. I mean, that would be pretty wild, but seems kind of fun. Could you imagine? That would be wild, dude. That's some wild stuff, but I'd kind of be into it, to be honest. That's kind of cool. I wish we could see a Luke Ahsoka Grogu campfire scene where they piece together Anakin's life. Ahsoka before Grogu at the temple, Luke saw death. That'd be neat. Opening scene leak was tight, but I don't know how I felt about the part where young Luke asks Ahsoka. Are you an angel? Are you an angel? What? What? Why didn't Vader turn to the lights before? Kenobi was the only thing that was keeping on the dark side since Padme died, and that's barely a reason for Vader to stay Vader. No, he was staying because he had nothing else to do. He had no one else to go to. Who's he going to go to? It is too late for that, my son. I say it is too late for me. My too son. late for me, yeah. Sorry if you guys already answered this, but either of you attending celebration mm -hmm. this year, they announced. Yeah. yeah, probably not, unfortunately. Hey, if if they if Canada goes back to normal and they open up, I am on my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I mean, see you guys there, man. Canada is love to see. different over here. Yeah, it's a little different up there. I mean, especially in BC, dude. Like they're, I think they're lifting all mandates everywhere else except for BC. 
Wow. So it's like New York or LA. A BC is like LA. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. It's California, essentially. Hmm. Insanely hyped for Kenobi. Loving the streams. And y'all, please keep it up. Yeah, of course, Thanks, Matt. Knows how to party. You guys got any cool songs like that for BC? Yo, 50 from JKE. Why didn't Sirius Sidious try to clone Anakin's legs and arms like he did Luke's hand? Hmm. They were burned off, weren't they? I don't know. I guess that's arm he could have got. Fair question, actually. I think those burned up with them because they were right at the bottom. California knows how to party. It's a whole bunch of, a bunch of K's and twos here. That would be a... What is that meme? Oh, I've seen that. What would be a story you would like to see in the Star Wars universe? Mandalore Civil War, a story about another Jedi hiding from Order 66, etc. Uh, um, another story I'd like to see is Young Palpatine. Yeah, that's really yeah, 100%. Right. 100%, that would be that's good. really, really well. Young Palpatine. You want to read Ooh, that, that would be cool. I want to see Kenobi beat the shit out of Vader again. And when he is really low, look at what you've become. More machine now than man. I may be old, but I'm whole. I miss my brother. Come back to the light. You know, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff in that, man. That'd be dope. I, I don't know. We'll see if he wants to. I don't want that. Ring him over. I, yeah, I want him to maybe try. But I think at this point, he like he knows. He's like, ah, Vader's gone. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I don't think. Kenobi will be beating the crap out of Vader all that easily this time. Not even that he did last time. Theory, you've been helping me keep my hopes for Star Wars alive. Just had double surgery, knee and wrist. Keep up the vids. Help me a ton. Oh, dude. Dang, man. Strong recovery, man. Yeah, man. Heal up. Yeah. Yeah. Heal up. Look into a supplement called UC2. It's undenatured chicken collagen. Check it UC2? out. UC2? Yeah. It's good. What's it do? Ask your doctor if it's good. Uh, not you, him. Uh, it's undenatured chicken collagen. It's uh, pretty good for your joints. And your cartilage. I got joints too, dog. What do you mean not for me? <laughs> do you guys ever go back to play old Star Wars games? I go through a Battlefront 2 on PS2 phase. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I was just playing Revenge of the Sith off stream, actually. But I didn't progress any further. It's all on Elden Ring right now. I'm not playing anything different. Dude, I am obsessed with it. I can't wait to play yeah. tonight. Can't yeah. wait to end the stream and play tonight. I'm going to play, yeah. I'm gonna play Actually, oh, I don't know if I will play tonight. Uh, I think it would be cool if Lucasfilm and Rockstar teamed up to make an open-world Star Wars game. Your thoughts? Heck yeah, dude. Uh, Ubisoft is working on uh, open-world. There open is going to be an open-world game, so. Uh, what if Mace survived and the reason he's not in the OT is because he's deep in the unknown regions? Yeah, but why? Yeah, but why? That. Right. If there's a good enough explanation, maybe I could buy it. Will they deep fake Guinness over Ewan's face? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, that'd be lame. Mm -mm. Lame. Hey guys, yeah. you true the reason I survived my oh we read this one. We did Thanks. read this one. Thanks, bro. Jedi Slayer became a YouTube member. Lars says, Yeah. <clears throat> if a quiz is quizzical, what's a test? A test of testicle. Cool. Oh, got him. Give some love or you're a shill. No. Uh, voice. Yo, I'll shill for you, Jag Guy. I'll yeah, shill for you. Why is he a member, though? Because he loves yo shit. Uncollabs with Gideon Valen. Love you guys. Love you too, man. Yeah, for sure. We should do a prank. We should prank them. They think they think we're just a bunch of old boomers and shit. We could prank them real good. Bro, isn't Gideon like the same age as us? Is he? I don't know. How old is he? I assume he's pretty young, dude. Is he? Huh? Yeah. It's not like we're old. No, I am. If you could feel what I feel in my hip, you would be like, I'm old. Do you think we'll get Luke? Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> dude, that was actually a pretty clever one. Short, sweet, kind of elegant, and not bad. Yeah, yeah, that was smart. Dude, Fallen Order twenty one, bro. Really? That's what chat, that's what chat says. Yeah. Told y'all. Oh. Crazy. Dude, we could we could prank them though. We could prank the absolute fuck out of them. They don't know. They weren't. They, would they never don't remember. Know. They, they don't think remember. they're the pranksters. 
they don't know, man. They think they, they got it going on. They don't know what they think old they're all cool. Yeah, exactly. Hey, we were know. around. We were. We, we were the original jackass. We saw jackass in theaters. The, 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 all they have to hit them with the like. The, they stream the, that shit at, when they go to. You know, would be a really good one. Is if like we made it so every time they try to connect online, it had the dial-up shit. Where it's like just to take them back, man. The best you got. I, I was thinking more. It's like, not the best I've got, bro. It's just the top of the dome, you know. What were you thinking? I don't know, something more sinister, diabolical. Yeah. No. I'm just saying, like the the dial up dough. Like they didn't have to live through that, man. Do you remember <laughs> waiting for pages to load? We could we could spend internet. months trying to trying to tell Balin that. Toby's trying, or Andrew Garfield's trying to get in touch with him because he appreciates how much of a fan he is. And then uh, mm. when he thinks that he's going to FaceTime with him, he answers and it's just us. I'm like, yo, Gotti. True, 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 true. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to, we'll have to come up with something. That'd be, and... that'd be effed. I'm not doing that. Yeah. 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 We'll have to come up with something. Also, the Josh fact has been thinking. twisted and corrupted by the dark side. Look, here's the truth. I made out with Kathleen Kennedy one time at a party. And so I have to now always stand up for her. It appears Amazon is about to make another terrible decision by making a God of War TV series. Hopefully they... Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But it's about the fact that in this version, he only drinks soy and he <laughs> wants there to be no war. Actually, he's a pacifist. So even though like he's the God of War... He wants everyone to get along. Yeah. So most fans complain about that there were too many flashbacks in the Book of Boba Fett, but are steady. Are they complaining about that? But are steady asking for Obi Wan flashbacks upon flashbacks of of Clone Wars content, Obi vs. Kasantin, Obi vs. Maul, just a waste of screen time. Yeah, like I said, I'm. I'm a true Star Wars fan, meaning uh, I flip back and forth. I don't know. You're breaking my heart. You're going down a path I can't follow. No, my bad, man. Josh Jeffley is not twisting it. Let's just hear theory say, you shall not pass. <laughs> you shall not pass. It's <laughs> probably the most real shit I've ever seen pop up. They made Boba take a backseat in his own show for Mando. The literal Boba knockoff. A little bit. Hashtag not my Boba. Theory God of War is getting a show on Amazon. That's wild, dude. It's the first I hear of it. Is Judge going to be... Uh... He better be playing Kratos. Oh. Better be playing Kratos. If you guys know. haven't seen some of the like the behind the scenes um, of making with like the mocap for God of War 4... Is it looked up? Oh my gosh, bro. He's literally Kratos. Christopher nice. Judge. Yo, wow. chill. Been a Star Wars fan since day one under 50k subs. Thank you, man. Theory, when are you gonna be when are you gonna do Den of Nerd stream? Josh, I love you, bitch. Check out <laughs> <laughs> I love you, bitch. Yo, actually, Theory has uh I don't think you've ever been on the live streaming channel, but you've done uh, you did a reaction with me for the Spider-Man trailer, which was fun. So you were on a you were on a vid with me. I think, I think it was live. Yeah, we went live. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's no all-encompassing agenda, but there's a trend of writers taking old franchises and changing the characters and themes to reflect our world when it's supposed to be escapism, entertainment. Lord of the Rings is being affected too. Oh yeah, hundred percent. No, that is true. And there's like, but some of that's just from a, like, ah, man, like I don't want to do like a whole thing on this, but some of that just comes from sort of a deconstructionist mentality or like what is known as sort of postmodernism. So it's sometimes that comes with the agenda of thinking this is the right way to approach fiction and the right way to like tell stories. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's actually like Zack Snyder deconstructs his heroes, but he actually deconstructs them to put them back on the shelf in a properly heroic way. So uh I think it's a little more nuanced than that. But yeah, I mean, look, I mean, wokeness is absolutely a real thing. Anybody that tells you that wokeness is not real, they're not being honest. Like, it's absolutely a real thing. To me, I just think that uh, some of this is these companies actually think they're going to make more money by being woke. Now, does, is that crazy to me? Absolutely. 
but that actually makes more sense than them doing it to virtue signal like dude these companies don't give a fuck about these things they care about money bro you know what i mean yeah what's a reggie pack i have no idea okay. i don't know all right well you got if it it's, if yeah. it's really cool i've got one and if it's lame fuck We'll be able to catch this one live. Still want to show my support by also taking a blinker in Sir Josh's honor. Much love, guys. Keep killing it. What's a blinker? Blinkity blink. I'm not sure. He's been showing up on my streams with the same thing. I don't get it. But all right, blink on. Blink Chat, on. What's, a, what's a blinker? A gun? That is one thing that it can be, but I think he's talking about something else. Uh, smoke? A drink? Mm-hmm. Reggie sure package the jelly rolls. I mean, yeah, no, he ain't wrong. I'm getting there. Oh, smoking. Yeah. Oh, smoking. Probably means sleep. Like a Blicky. Blinker is hitting a weed pen. Oh, I don't know what that is. A weed pen. Hmm. I don't, I've never heard of that. It's like a vape pen, the weed. Hmm. I don't know what that is. You vape. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? How excited are you guys, John Williams, be making the score for? Yeah, dude, definitely. it's pretty dope. Definitely, Hundo. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Lil Padme didn't know she had twin spaceships, but no ultrasounds. Also, how different do you think Kenobi would have been if Qui Gon didn't die? Hella different, bro. Hella different. Blinker is ten seconds to hit a disposable vape. Oh, okay, right. On. It means shit weed. Oh, the Reggies? Oh, I don't yeah, know, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, man, primo, primo over here. That's all I'm saying. Excited for Melvin's Josh is a Disney show. <laughs> you know, he actually has done some pretty good ones. I will say this, like, I don't see eye to eye with Melvin, but actually his videos are pretty funny. He makes good stuff. Ocam's. Razor theorist said Jesse Smollett hoax real, bro. Ain't no way that th that's true. And if it is, I don't know then, what uh, the fuck he just said, dude. Oh, you don't know about Juicy? What you don't know about Juicy Simolier? No, dude, I don't Juicy? know. Anything. You never heard of the French, the French actor Juicy Simolier? No, hmm. tag codes. Takotsubo cardiomyopathy, broken heart syndrome. Oh. Mm, wow. There's an actual name for it? That's crazy. That's wild. <laughs> wild. <laughs> Disney chilling for itself? Yeah, okay. Uh, yo, Josh, I disagree with the Luke and Batman comparison. I didn't mean to hit that one. Uh, Pattinson... Bruce is only getting started. Unlike Luke, he will become the playboy Bruce. We know with, I can't talk about that without going into spoilers. So look, I, I hear what you're saying. You have a point Miller. I, I'm not going to sit here and say you don't have a point, but I, I can't explain what I mean exactly without spoiling the movie. So maybe we'll do it on movie bros. We'll have a little chat about it or something. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be cool. Congrats on the adventure <laughs> theory work of art. Thank you, Gabriel. It's like work legit with... work of art, though. Like they literally like hand make that stuff. Like it's gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I've worked with Chris Brown and many other platinum artists and producers. I'm a professional song creator. I love the show and will make you Star Wars music with a fresh twist for free. Thanks, man. Nice, cool, nice. Appreciate that. Why can't Disney look past their egos and realize good stories with good characters and no identity politics will still make a loss? Yep, Segmando. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. theory you wouldn't be down for ray returning even if it was to fix the sequels i don't know how they would do that i'm still gonna watch it you know but yeah it's, right. it's kind of on them to make it like that you know what i mean hey guys do you think it would be cool to see a star wars show that takes place way in the past or in the future like years past episode nine. i think past episode nine i nice. know it's so weird that we feel Oh, yeah, I'd say, pa oh, for a second, I thought you said the past, but no, I want past episode nine as well. Like, the way future would be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Theory, Kathleen Kennedy wants us to suckle on, okay. Mm. On, oh, on her, okay. Oh, yeah, on baby. Nasty agenda filled, okay. 
Oh, shit. It's kind of doing it for me. I'm not going to lie. Yo, 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 yo. How's it going? Do you both think Captain Rex, Commander Cody, will make an appearance in Kenobi or Andrew? I think Cody will. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I think at one time that, you know, they were going to do that. And uh, I don't know. I feel like they swapped that out for Inquisitor. So maybe they'll still have them in there. I think it'd be cool. Dude, I'm loving my my picture, man. Yeah. I can't, get, I can't get over it. Can't get enough of it. It's pretty good. It's so good, dude. It's really good. Uh, <laughs> Yo. It's just funny. <clears throat> what the hell? Yo, Fat Daddy's in the chat. He's like really, he's really grateful that he's happy. To you. Yeah, of course, dude. Of course. Yeah, you kidding me? It's awesome. It's good. It's a feel good moment. That's good. I'd love to see a regenerated Lord Vader. I swear in the comics he did the moment ritual. Hayden might be back as Lord Vader. That would be sweet. Yeah, the moment thing would be cool, but I think that was yeah. already done with. Mm -hmm. This was 10 years later. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's cool stuff, though. Just people send in videos through the week, then take a handful of the ones that were your favorite. There's a much better way to do it. So maybe you guys could submit videos for a Star Wars query, and we could do this maybe like once a month, or maybe oh, you be could cool. just do those or something. Like, yeah, that could work. Yeah, you guys could like <laughs> tag me or Josh on Instagram or something, or yeah. he's on Twitter, so you could send it to him there. Mm-hmm. Oh, Cami razor is not appropriate, but Hanlon's razor is more accurate. One way to settle is, do I don't know anything about this razor stuff. It's just like a logic. It's just ways of thinking of, um, like through like a logical reasoned. Uh, yeah, it's just discernment. Okay. Well, th anyways, thank you, Septo Macron. Septo Macron. Yeah, I mean, like I think he's just basically generally saying it's more complicated than that. With Solo ending with Han and Chewie heading to Tatooine, did Star Wars fans miss the opportunity to see a young ass, a young ass, <laughs> young ass Boba out there selling the freaking space wash for the car wash shit? I mean, maybe that's maybe that's the missing piece to why he's the way he is in the show, man. You know, I don't know, bro. She. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I love the watching. What? You, as I was saying, you want me to do this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I love watching the prequels between 04 and 05 as they were my escape during my cancer treatment. I will always hold them in a special place in my heart, and I'm glad you appreciate them as much as I do love you guys. Hey, man, much love back yeah, we love to you, too, man. And we're glad you're okay, man. 100%. Keep fighting. Well, he's fine. She still got to keep fighting. That's true. I think Disney just makes little bits of OT and PT to get us to shut up but mainly focus on their sequel trilogy. If Disney doesn't really care about the OT and PT, then they don't care about Star Wars. I agree mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that too. I just think that, like, so outside of uh, Galaxy's Edge and Bad 2, where is the sequel focus? What do you mean? Like, where's the sequel focus right now? Like, where's it at? Dude, it was like the last seven years was sequel focus. No, no, no. Like, where's the focus currently? Like, where's the current sequel focus? Uh, Star Cruiser Hotel? I just said, without saying Bad 2 and the Star Cruiser, where's the sequel focus? Why can't I use those? <laughs> so it's literally what they they just released. Why can't I use that? It's not content, first of all. It's experience. It's a $6, so where's the focus? Experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where's the focus on the sequel trilogy? Like, where's it at? Show it to me. On their extremely heavily priced Star Cruiser hotel and their entire Disneyland theme park. That is, but where's the where's only. the focus? Like, it, that's not it. That's that ain't it, bro. There ain't no focus on the sequel trilogy. Like, okay, where's the focus on the original trilogy and prequel trilogy? Besides Mando, Mando, yeah, no. Besides Kenobi. Mando and Kenobi. This, hey, if you're gonna if you're gonna take out the two things with their park i gotta say besides Mando okay fine take them out take them out no let's play fair take them out uh what about the new kenobi book what about you got to um, big books in there okay so i can bring books in there too yeah where's the sequel trilogy focus books i don't know actually they're really focused on high republic so i don't know yeah i'm just saying like i don't think there's as much of a focus on sequels uh as you guys think 
Okay. I mean, they made a sequel trilogy, yes. And then they made a theme park land at Disneyland and two of their parks, a sequel trilogy. And then they made their hotel a sequel trilogy Mm -hmm. themed hotel. Mm -hmm. And then they're creating the High Republic stuff. It's like they just haven't not sequels. Yeah, but it's like, why? Why not focus on, you know, some of the legendary characters? You know, why, why do they all have to die? Mm-hmm. You know, that's something George always said is that alienates the audience. You don't have to kill your main characters in mm-hmm. order to have a dramatic effect. I agree with that, but I'm just saying, like, where's the focus? Bro, are you serious right now? Yeah, 100%. I just it's don't been see the, the focus. Fo- it's been the focus for the last seven years. Where's the focus right now, currently? We're talking about the Kenobi show. We just got out of um, watching Boba Fett. We just watched Bad Batch season one before that. Before that, there was The Mandalorian. There's all kinds of comic books right now. You could say some of the comic books focus on the sequels because I think there's still like a Kylo run that's currently going on. But I'm just saying, like, I actually don't see the focus on the sequel. I actually think it's coming still because I think there's still sequel trilogy content that's going to be on the way. But right now it's not being focused on. I mean, we're talking about Star Wars Celebration, a literally 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones. Where is it focused on? The Star Cruiser Hotel, I just said. Yeah, I don't know, bro. That's just a weak argument. Like it's 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 How one is that weak? thing because it's one thing. It's something that they developed, and obviously it's a big it's a stinking major pile thing. of crap. It's, it's a, a big major stinking, thing. Yeah, it's a big stinking pile of crap, but it's not a focus. Where's the sequel focus? <laughs> just saying, dude. Where's it at? What, what do you mean? Everything they're doing nowadays is about the sequels. Everything they're doing nowadays is about the sequels. Yes. You can name me one thing. You can name me one thing that's about the sequels that they're currently working on. One. What do you mean that they're currently working on? Are you kidding right now? You literally just said everything they're doing is a, is focusing on the sequels. Yes. Show me the everything. Where's the everything? How, where have you been the last seven years? Dude, everything they're currently doing is about the sequels is what you said. Where? Where? Why are you fighting about this? Why can't you just Because you're wrong. How am I wrong? bro how am i wrong bro you're it's it's like it's just crazy to me like where is the sequel trilogy focus we're literally have it we're on a stream right now talking about kenobi then there's a show called andor coming out there's uh ahsoka coming out uh there's a new movie coming out uh whether it's going to be rogue squadron heir to the empire or whatnot there's a whole line of high republic books there's there's bad batch season two coming out there's video games coming out None of that stuff that I just mentioned has anything to do with the sequels. Right. So where's the focus? Where's the everything that you say is focusing on the sequels? I guess the last seven years. So now that this new tide is being turned, you know, it's nice that we're finally getting some stuff that has to do with some other characters and other timelines. But the last seven years has really, it's been a long time of the same era. Yeah. When the sequels were coming out, there was a focus on the sequels. That is absolutely true. But since right. then, including like, the theme parks, including mm-hmm. the new hotel, which as just merchandise, been announced. merchandise, books, comic tie-ins. Right. I would agree with you. But I'm saying like currently right now, mm-hmm. there's like nothing. I bet there are sequel trilogy fans that are actually perturbed at the lack of focus on the sequels. Real talk. Well, probably now. Yeah, for sure. See what I mean? I don't. What do you, I don't understand? What point you're trying to make? Uh, it's fine. Like we can we can just move on. No, you're taking a lot of jabs tonight. I don't really understand why you're doing it's, this. I'm not taking jabs. You're, I'm you're, just saying. That no, I'll, I'll you say, say one thing, and then you'll you'll latch onto it. You'll throw a harpoon at it, and you'll really really stick to it you're and saying. say I'm trying to say this and that. It's like I don't understand what your agenda is here. Like, what are you trying? The to agenda do right is now? to ad- get everybody to acknowledge and to understand that there is not a sequel trilogy focus there's just not there was but there is not currently one and when did this change happen i would say it probably happened after episode nine it probably actually started before episode nine because they were probably aware that it wasn't resonating the way that they wanted to. This is probably why they did the High Republic, because they wanted to create something else that was proprietary to themselves that's not sequel trilogy focused. So I'd say it's probably shifted around them. Okay. And that's they fair, think right? that they would 
shift maybe the theme parks or maybe Star Cruiser Hotel, they would change that? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think that they... Look, I think it's stupid that they have the sequel trilogy stuff in um, the Star Cruiser thing. Like, I legitimately think it's really dumb. Um, I don't really even know why, and I hope that they change it. But uh, to say that, like, everything they're doing is focusing on the sequel trilogy is just, like, outlandishly incorrect. Okay. We could poll it, though. Poll still up? People can still vote? Have I shifted? Is it? Is it no, I just, again? I'm I'm unsure what what point you're trying to make right now the no i i don't i don't know if that's true i mean are you really unsure yeah i just asked you yeah yeah so i don't know do you, do you want me to go through it again sure sure did something happen in the last week? Like I'm, I'm, I'm no, confused. I'm, I don't, I'm I genuinely don't know. confused if if there's something going on. What are you? Like, what are you, so you're confused. At, so what are you confused about? Let's do it. Let's do it right now, live. What are you confused I, I, about? I don't know. It just seems like you're you're taking a lot of jabs. You're poking. You're trying to dig up something. You're trying to create some drama. Like what are you trying to do right now? I'm very confused. So every time that this you say something tonight. So every time that you say something that I think is uh, crazy, uh, mostly just about the fact that currently star wars is focusing completely on the trilogy all i'm trying to do is point out uh that i think that's incorrect i think it's the same thing i've been doing this whole stream mm -hmm. okay. so that's yeah that's what i'm doing right and i feel like i'll say something and you'll take one aspect of something i say and then you'll just really zoom into that ignoring everything else i say and it's like we end up going on a discussion about this one little thing that i'm saying which completely bypasses the fact that i think that Star Wars has legitimately been focusing on a new IP instead of covering the old stuff. And then you go out on a tangent of me saying that, uh, that I had said Kathleen was destroying Star Wars, trying to destroy Star, trying to destroy the, like, what, what, I, I'm, I don't know. I've just never. What, are you like this. upset? Are you uncomfortable? Am I making you uncomfortable? No, you're not making me uncomfortable. I'm very comfortable, but okay. I'm just wondering what is going on tonight. It just seems a little strange. Okay. Well, no, I mean, look, I feel good and I feel Gucci. Like, so I don't know if maybe it's just something on your end or whatever, but no, like I feel nothing on my end, man. I'm I'm talking to you as I normally talk to you, but I just feel like there's just something I don't know. This feels weird. It feels different. <laughs> well, I'm sorry that it feels weird. I mean, look, I all I will say is that I feel because you've made continuously the same point that I continuously say. I disagree with perhaps maybe that's why it feels weird because it's the same thing over and over again right yeah so I don't know I mean maybe it does feel weird uh agree to disagree perhaps but yeah I don't know I mean I don't have like an agenda against you but I very clearly think that uh you're, you're out of pocket on this on what, dude? So I'm not understanding. Out of pocket on what? That I think that Star Wars is focusing on the sequels? That yeah. I think that Star Wars has been focusing on the sequels for the last seven years? I'm out of pocket on that? No, no, no. I mean, obviously, when they were making the sequel stuff, they were focusing on the sequels. But that's not... that. I have. That's obvious. Like, that's that's fine i'm saying like to you for you to say that like this guy's this thing right here this is what started it all i think disney just makes little bits of ot and pt just to get us to shut up and mainly focus on the sequel trilogy if disney doesn't care about the ot and pt then we don't care about star wars um and you were like yeah i 100 agree and i'm just like wait what little bits of ot and pt i mean we're literally about to get a Kenobi show. We've had two seasons of Mando, one season of Boba. We've got Andor on the way. That's all non-sequel stuff, you know? Um, yeah, I just, I don't know if we're in the same, uh, you know, planet. I, I think that in some ways people are so upset that there's a, um, like a fog of um, butthurt basically that's that's like clouding everybody's Absolutely judgment it's a fog of blood blood hurt because they've just tarnished characters that were so important to us what do you the fuck yeah, are you I talking mean, about that's totally fine but i mean do you want me to just say like it's cool like that's fine like yeah you're right like nah man like just because you're really I'm right about, about what? Something. what what do you mean what 
I'm very confused. What, How what are, you... are you confused? What are you confused about? I want to help you out. How can I, I don't know what the fuck this is all about. Like, what are you even trying to say right now? I'm saying yeah. one thing that, that, that Disney is focusing on the sequels and you're like, what are you trying to fucking do right now? Do you, I don't get do it. You want me to go through it for the 60th time? Or what? What's it going to take? What is with this yeah. attitude tonight, man? Like, I really don't. What are you understand. talking about? Like, how I'm can you, you a simple me? question? Yeah, what's the simple question? What are you fucking talking about right now? Like, okay, so that, I, that, I'm, that I'm what that I'm saying that everything is about the sequels, and that you're saying, oh no, it's not. We're talking about Kenobi and this and that. That's yes. what you're talking about. Yes. Okay. Well, let me clarify. What I mean clarify. is, for the last seven years, it's been about the sequels. The focus has been on the sequels. And it's been disjointed. How do you not understand that? No, that's fine. I don't have an issue with that. I don't think that's what you're saying you over and over again. It's certainly not the thing that when you say it, I say, ah, 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 ah. like, that's obvious. Like, I totally agree with you. It's when you say generalized, grand sweeping statements that I think maybe you just say like offhandedly and you're not even like totally thinking about Please them. Clarify what but the I'm generalized like, grand sweeping statements are. So literally about five minutes ago, you said everything they do focuses on the sequels. That's literally verbatim what you said. You said everything they do focuses on the sequels. And I said, what? We're talking about Kenobi. Okay, you We're talking about that. Know that I don't mean literally everything as well, most of my content. I've changed my freaking banner to Obi Wan Kenobi. It just seems like you're really focusing on little things here I'm to try and create on... something. No, no, no. no. You I'm know that I don't the... literally mean every goddamn thing they're focusing on. Obviously, the title of the stream that I made is about Kenobi. So clearly, it's not everything, but it feels like the centric focus of Disney is about creating the sequel trilogy to be Star Wars. Hmm. So I don't know why you're trying to just really pinpoint on the semantics of what I'm saying instead of actually understanding that, yo, yeah, what I'm talking about, you you understand the generalization of what I'm trying to say, that everything has been about the sequels, but not I'm not literally saying, oh, yeah, Kenobi is no longer happening. No, like, you, like what, what are you doing? What do you mean? Well, I'm honestly a little confused because what you just said sounds perfectly reasonable to me. Why is it confusing? I don't you feel like I need say, I don't feel like I need to really explain that. I don't feel like I need to say, okay, yeah, Josh, not everything. Like you know what I'm trying to say. Like you understand. Yeah, I it. do know what you're trying to say, and I disagree with it. That's fine. Is That's it, okay. Though? But you're quizzing me on exactly what I'm saying. Like why are you saying everything? It's like, and that's what I'm not understanding. And now I get it. It's that you're literally taking verbatim what I, when I say everything, like what? Yeah. I mean, I'm taking what you're saying with your mouth and I'm disagreeing with it. How is that? Like, I don't understand why you're getting so no, upset. No, I'm not upset. Your whole thing here. Did you freeze? Your whole no. thing here is that you're saying my issue is that I'm saying they're focusing on everything with the sequels. Well, clearly not everything. Like, we know that. That's what I'm saying. Clearly not everything. Yeah, but it's been the last seven years that it's been sequels. It has been heavily sequels. Yeah, I, I don't understand, man. I don't understand why you're so upset. I'm not upset. I'm trying to explain something to you. I'm trying All to explain right. well, to you where I'm like coming from. Little, it feels it, like it, you're it, a little it, upset. And I don't know why. Bro, so I'm like, not upset. Like I'm good. Like I'm cool. Like I'm fine. I I think that we went from oh we love arguing to wait are we really arguing? And I don't think it has. It to just be seems that. like you're really trying to pick stuff out here. Like if I, I say know, if bro, I say I feel like I'm gonna be honest with you. I think sequels. that's on you. I, I gotta be honest with you. I think that's on you. I feel like you're yeah. feeling a certain way, okay. and I'm not trying to make you feel any certain way. Okay. I think that look continuously all night. I've had the same exact stance, and every time you say something like that, it feels like I'm like, nah, man, like that ain't it. It's just like at one point did that become not okay? At what point did it not become okay that I disagree with you? What? When did I ever I, say that it's not okay for you to disagree? Well, then if it's if it did is I, okay, did I want a yes man? Did I hire a yes man to come on here? No. Well, then what's the problem? What are we even talking about right now? It just seems like anything I say, you're really trying to extrapolate the, the very essence, the fibers of the words that I'm saying. Oh, you can't say everything. Well, it's like, okay, what do you want? You want to say most of the stuff? Do you want to change the word from everything to most of the stuff that they're focused on? Is the sequels? Is that what you want me to say? 
No, man, I frankly like it better when you say the ridiculous shit so that I can come back and say, nah, man, it's not everything. Frankly, I like it better that way. I'm good, man. But you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I do. I don't understand why you're getting upset about it. That's what I'm saying. It's like, yes, I do get what you're trying to Dude, say. And yeah, I'm clowning. Saying I'm it. upset. You keep saying I'm upset. So I'm do you want to poll on whether or not Chad thinks you're upset? Forget the chat. Forget the stream. I'm talking to you right now. Yeah, I'm not and I think you're else. upset. No, I, you would know if I'm upset. Believe me. Okay. I'm trying to understand why you're taking every single word so literally. Do you think I'm taking every single word so literally? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. I'm just wondering what the reason for that is. No, you no, no. If like, you feel that you way, you normally understand. I... You normally understand when I say things. You kind of get it. If you like, okay, feel... it doesn't mean it doesn't mean literally everything. Yeah, but you said it, and I commented on it again. Like I'm, I think there's like a miscommunication. There has to be some kind of gap in communication. Like I don't understand, bro. Like I, I frankly don't get it. Like I don't know why. Yeah, I don't get it. All right. But yo, if you think I'm gonna let you go on that shit for the rest of the stream, you're crazy. Every single word that you say will be scrutinized now. Yeah, it seems like it. it. Seems like that's the way it's gonna be now. That's the that's the way it is now. The pool taking a turn. No, it's still it's the not. same. Can you guys that's still, still vote? The, same. the poll's still the same. Should I make a new one? Did you like low key just say that like you can say shit? And it's not what you mean. Is that kind of what you're? Is that your take? Is that kind of what you're saying? Um, yeah, kind of. In the sense that when I say everything they're focusing on is about the sequel trilogy, and you're grilling me saying everything. Well, obviously not everything, Josh. I mean, the title okay, of the stream well, is about Kenobi. Well, then just be like W. Josh. And that's it. I think you should understand that. You know what I mean. I, I would imagine you would understand that you. You understand that I, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. Jesus. Look, I, I I think I know what you're saying. I think that at the end of the day, like you feel like you're being put on trial. I'm not trying to put you on yeah, trial. Dude. I just don't agree. It's kind of why I, mean, I just continuously don't agree. I'm trying to have a conversation and you're like stopping it every two seconds because you're like everything. What do you mean everything? And I'm going off on a tangent on that. And I'm like, well, mm -hmm. no, like because in my head, it's so clear what I'm trying to say. Maybe I have an issue conveying that. Maybe, man. I mean, look, I mean, I'm not like, look, I don't know what you think I'm trying to imply or whatever. I'm not trying to say one way or the other how you feel. I'm just saying that when you say these certain things, I don't agree. You know what I mean? And and maybe, I, you know, I should let it go a little bit more. Maybe just for the general flow of the stream or whatever. Well, but uh, I honestly doing. didn't think it was uh, disruptive at all, at all. I thought it was a good uh point of conversation so i don't know man i just feel like it was uh i just never seen that side of you it was just weird for me what side of me bro like what are you talking about like, well normally we just have conversations and you you kind of focus on the actual topic instead of going into the semantics of it and being like you mean everything how is it everything like i'm still blown away by that like how could that even be something you were focusing on like okay. clearly, I, clearly, I get, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Here, I'll say the, the sequel yeah, yeah. trilogy is not the only thing Disney is focusing on. No shit. Mm -hmm. Took us a while, folks, but we got there. We got there with them. Uh, yeah, dude, it's all good, man. Wow. Okay, you're telling me you're not upset right now. Really? I'm annoyed. Well, there you go. Yeah, now I'm annoyed. Well, my bad. Not upset. Didn't mean to annoy you. Yeah. Didn't mean to be so hung up on the semantics. It is what it is. It's okay, man. <laughs> yeah, it'll be okay. It's like Papa and Mama at the dinner table after a fight, man. All the kids are like, can we eat or not, you know? Yeah. Okay. 
You can eat. <laughs> we can't vote on that old poll. You guys are still voting. It's at 7,700 people now. It was at 44. What? That's crazy. Yeah. So I feel like we need to shake it out or something. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> New poll. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Pull it up. I don't know. I didn't look at the poll. Have this one. I didn't look at it. I'm too afraid. Yo, what's up to Nerd Theory's plug for best moments? What? Oh, uh, I think that's probably like a clips channel, maybe. Oh, okay, nice. I love yeah. those. Yeah. People are saying yeah. scripted. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that wasn't scripted at all, man. <laughs> Everyone's saying scripted now. What the hell? Yeah. Scripted, scripted. Yo, somebody said, can you apologize? I mean, yeah, I can apologize for upsetting him 100%. I, I don't know. I don't that have I, it yet. I don't have the Lambo. I don't know that I, I can't cross any it. lines or whatever, but I do feel like uh, if I pushed too far, then yeah, absolutely. I apologize. It's not my intention. Not my intention to throw off the vibe. You know what well, I mean? There you go. You got 74%. Josh wins. 26% me. Wins what? Like I'm, I don't know, bro. Like what? The, you what said do a poll. They said do a poll. Yeah, That's but I didn't want it to poll. be like a serious poll. I wanted it to be some goofy or something. Jeez, everybody. Yeah, well, I still. Yeah, I think that was ridiculous. Yeah. 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 All right. Somebody well, said I'm go play some Elden Ring. All right, theory. Jeez, now everybody's gonna wonder about us all week. Yeah, nerd is done. There's no nerd. That's what I thought you were gonna do the poll as. I thought you were gonna be like, should I get a new co-host and mm -hmm. see what they say on that? <laughs> yes, theory's okay. I think uh if we just look at your uh, fat boy picture more. It would probably fix the oh, vibe. I love that thing. It's so funny. Yeah, that would fix the vibe. That poll doesn't come out to 50-50. I think we might, Doug. I think we might. Yo, what's the this? Why are you in a screen within a screen? It's pretty wild. Because I'm showing them the chat, what I'm reading while I... Uh... Yeah, but I can't see any of that. We will kiss and make up if we were in the same. Room, I wish I'd you could. I wish you could see this stuff because then you'd be able to, uh, uh, like, bring up messages and stuff too. Yeah, hundred percent. No, that would be really, really cool. If we were in the same room, I would a hundred percent run into the room and hug Theory in a totally real way and smooch him on his head for sure. Hundred percent, I would. Look, I do feel bad. Like, I think, like, legitimately, you, you got upset. Like, maybe just annoyed is the way to say it. But, like, I didn't mean to upset you, dude. No, I wasn't upset. Like, upset was uh, when that Levi guy came on. That was upset. Oh, right, right, right. I was like, who, though? What fuck? the fuck are you guys um, coming at me for? What the fuck did I do? I'm trying to explain something. And Jesus, bro. This is some bullshit. You've turned them against me. No, I have not Dude, what the fuck happened? Yeah, All I was saying was that no, don't make me kill you, dude. Let it out. Don't try it. Let Whatever, it dude. Out. Anakin's more popular character, so go. He is more popular character. And look, can I just say one last thing before we get out here tonight? I just want to say, guys, clearly, Star Wars and Lucasfilm has an agenda, and they <laughs> are trying to fucking. They're trying to fucking destroy this brand and look they've turned me in theory against each other look you what they've done, done. yourself and, oh shit nice and and kathleen kennedy is she's a freak that's all i got what's with your heart on for kathleen tonight man that's weird she's not a bad looking older lady 
Not bad. 100%. Well, yeah, Anakin's my favorite character, so. It's true. It's true. Perhaps, perhaps I pushed a little too much, you know? <laughs> Shit. You're sounding like a separatist. And you're sounding like a separatist. <laughs> Just kiss him, says Scott. Rage quit. Um, yeah, you want to talk about anything? Um, you can go play some Elden Ring. I'm gonna try to, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, man. I mean, I don't, I don't have much to say. I, I regret that it got a little weird and awkward for everybody. I, look, I just, I feel weird because, like, I know I'm a super stubborn person. So, like, I'm not, I'm not sitting here saying that, like, I was a hundred percent chill, and then you just overreacted. Like, well, that's what, not what happened. Well, the whole time I was just trying to talk. I'm just trying to say something, and it just, it yeah. just felt like you were picking on the, on words instead of understanding the context of what i was trying to say and maybe i wasn't saying it carefully well, or, yeah, or clearly yeah. enough which i tend to not do because things in my head always i they seem clear but then i have a problem trying to um, say what i mean sometimes because there are like uh, so many thoughts in my head mm -hmm. at the same time and so i have a problem um, actually speaking clearly. right right and i think that for me because I'm so argumentative, I see those things and I use them as an opportunity to try to like strengthen my point. It's like classic debate move stuff, right? But I shouldn't be debate moving you. I should be making content with you. So that's what it seems like. It seems like you're trying to like create a debate. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but in this sense, like here's the thing, like, and maybe I was just reading the situation wrong, but in this example, I actually thought that's what was warranted. I thought that's what we should do is go into a debate sort of sense. And so like I was just I guess for me it felt like there was a point where um, you know, maybe the logical points that i was bringing up were actually sound uh and you just got upset and i was just like oh man like that's lame because like i'm not trying to like actually upset dude like i'm just trying to say like hey man you said this shit that shit ain't it you know what i mean um but again that's like really more of a you know kind i of feel like, like I, I feel like i got fucking trapped in a web i was just like you know that that game where you're like the yeah. snake and i feel like i got like that i just freaking got snake. trapped in my own tail it's like trying yeah. to say something and then you were like, but you mean this? And I'm like, no, I don't mean that. And then you, I don't know. You just did some, some so weird shit. A, I didn't even understand. And I like derailed from the entire point I was trying to make. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I think that's what I'm getting frustrated like, in. But the thing that's so weird to me is that like, we agree on 90% of this. Do you know what I mean? And maybe it's because, and it, honestly, like in some ways it's not even you that like frustrates me. It's, it actually frustrates me that it's like, that there are a lot of people that actually feel that way, you know, and there are even people that uh, have kind of created brands galvanized around that idea. And it's just to me, it's like, although I understand it, I think it's like quite silly. So like, I, I don't mean to like belittle anybody's uh, thoughts or opinions about it, but I do feel the way that I feel. And I feel pretty fucking strongly about the way that I feel. Do you know what I mean? Um, that's not to say that I'm completely infallible, like for sure, dude, like I'm, Bro, I get shit wrong all the time. And you know how I do it? This is my style. I just dig in and I'm as wrong as possibly as I possibly can be. And I'll say it's 100% true until I'm absolutely proven that it's not, right? So uh, I guess I just, yeah, man, like I didn't want to make it a thing, you know? Right. I'm not trying to make it a fucking, like, dude, like clearly it's okay you like the sequels it's fine like it's not it shouldn't be that big of why a can't i just like them i just should them. be able to just like ray like it's i shouldn't be taking up bringing up all these things about ray's character it's wrong yeah the fuck replace do i gotta josh apologize with, about are you replace josh with carly apologize for what trying to explain something and getting derailed the whole fucking time is that what i'm supposed to apologize for yeah i don't think i don't think that you should apologize what the fuck am i apologizing for Everybody's like saying sorry. Now they're gonna do it even more though, because you said that. <laughs> now they're gonna say it even more. That's you. That's on you, bro. Josh was 100 percent sassy at one point. I probably was. Which point was it though? 
I probably did get a little sassy. Bro, you can't take they're just trying to they're just trying to mess with me now. I can't be messed with. Yeah, but that's not gonna stop him from trying. You can try as hard as you like. <laughs> what the fuck, Vince Barter? Oh my god, Vince. I think he's Fair probably enough. trolling. He's probably trolling too. Fair enough. Apologize now, Star Wars Theory. These are all probably the same, dude. Hmm. Yeah. Well, anyways, I don't know. I don't really know what you want to talk about now, but No, I mean we should probably go game. We should go we should go game and and slay the the demons in Elden Ring. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna work out, I think. Yeah. I ain't dude, what are you stop putting those on the screen? You're making me feel bad. Look you at know? the poll. Thirty-seven sixty-three. I can't you. see it actually. You got it, man. It's okay. All it took was I. I took the L. I was. I was me. out of line. I uh, all didn't it explain was, it. All it took was properly. ruining my relationship with my friend. Thanks a lot, chat. You dirty motherfuckers! Look what you did! Look what you did, chat. That's fine. Nice. That'll be the next channel. <laughs> Just different turd theory <laughs> <laughs> or den of turds. That's actually Bro, crazy. what's with this fucking crying thing you guys keep talking about? Because I cried because fucking Luke Skywalker came back. All of a sudden, I cry for everything. Like, go fuck yourself. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Yeah, like I say, it's not like, God forbid you cry for something that touches you deeply. Why? Because I'm a Star Wars fan? Like, go eat shit, dude. Don't let these people get to you, Theory. It's Pablo. Theory is passive aggressive. No, I'm just aggressive. Don't... Don't let him turn you. Chad is Chad's trying to turn you. Mm -hmm. They've turned you against me. Bro, you need to chill. Sky guy. Yeah. I cried too. Dude, I'm about to cry. Y'all gonna make me cry. Motherfuckers. Well, that was an interesting nerd theory. It was. It was right around that four hour mark, only this time it went a different <laughs> way. <laughs> this time it went a different way. Yeah. That's all good. I do apologize though. For what the fuck am I passive aggressive? Jesus. You guys are interesting. Dude, do you have one of those clamps right now? Are you clamping under the table or some shit right now? I've had one the whole stream. That's this is my thing now. I uh oh. to pass time when I stream. Man. So I can move on up. I want to get to 300, but that's like very far away. That's crazy. Like 300 pounds in your hand? Yeah. This one's 200. What? Yeah. I've just been doing this whole time. But it doesn't count unless they actually touch. So none of them actually count. Hmm. That's the rule. Feels tough. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. I don't like passive aggressive, so I just like being aggressive. It's true. Y'all skip <laughs> my suit. Yeah, all yeah. Rest in peace, to all the super chats. I guess. Fuck. Sorry. Yeah, it's a stupid uh, program. Yeah. Can someone talk about the opening scene leak, Bruh, You just gotta go back and watch it, man. Bro, you keep saying this through his Roy Grage. No. Uh -huh. When you keep saying that for real. I, I'm an emotional person. Like, uh, obviously, we'll get annoyed if I'm trying to say something and it keeps getting derailed. Sure. Yeah. Like, what the fuck you want? <laughs> Pedro says, theory thinking of Josh's head when he squeezes. I know, right? <laughs> for, for the last half hour. Oh, no, man. It's like, oh, no. fucking get you. Theory started by calling Josh a shill. Yeah, but it's all in good fun, guys. Relax, Jesus, chat. Bro. Relax. I take myself too seriously. I'm someone who loves your content, but you come off as moody too much. Side note, I love this YouTube. Way. I come off as how do I come off as moody? What the fuck do I come off as moody? Like you can't just say something and not have an answer as to why. This, and, and also, this was not a YouTube fight. 
So relax. Relax over there, Glenn. Sheesh. No, I think he was listening. Just didn't didn't want to hear me. Didn't want to hear me on that one. We did have literally the same argument, like over and over and over again. I get where you're coming from. You know what I mean? I feel like you just don't get where I'm coming from. No, I get it. You're looking at me being as uh, articulate as I can be and explaining it perfectly by saying um, Disney isn't creating everything to do with the sequels when you know damn well. I know mm -hmm. that too. Yeah. So I should have just said it properly then, I guess. <clears throat> <laughs> daddy please come back and make them happy yeah for real where are you at daddy my fault dude exactly see now everybody's gonna say i had an agenda pre-stream i had an agenda what does gaslighting even mean what does that mean gaslighting is like um it's kind of hard to explain it's basically like giving an alternate explanation for something and like pretending that that shit's real so like if somebody oh man how do i think of an example like if somebody came in and pulled the fire alarm mm. but they did it just to make everybody leave so they go make out with a girl in the closet if they came back in and tried what? to convince you yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they came back in and they tried to convince you that they actually saw smoke that would be gaslighting they'd be like dude there is smoke you didn't see the smoke like no nah, dude there was smoke like i pulled the thing because of the smoke um that yeah, you mean like they're gaslight. they're lying? Yeah, I think that's kind of it. It's a little more complicated than that, but uh, I never understood I what gaslighting meant. Yeah, there's like, it's like I can't. I don't want to talk about any like, uh, like real life examples because they're all like pretty controversial uh, things. I see. Mm -hmm. Disney subs. I know, right? Now the now the real theories are gonna come out. It's just lying with extra steps. <laughs> that's true, actually. That's not that's not fat, uh that's not wrong. Yeah. From my point of view, the theory is evil. I like that one. Fair um, enough. Hey, I was always a villain anyway, so if you're very uh, you're very moody how your moods change well do you watch your content or do you only read the chats that people pay for stop smoke and chill out damn well you still damn. didn't explain how i'm moody i think she's saying like your mood changes that's what she's saying uh yeah i'm not a robot my mood mm -hmm. changes for sure yeah scripted like, af everyone's mood changes Can you be moody or can you wait? What did he say? Can you gaslight my mom? Oh, can you be aggressive? Well, fuck yeah. I didn't know it was moody. Maybe I'll uh maybe I'll just stop being so moody then. <clears throat> no, I mean, look, I'm moody. I'm I fully admit that. I get grumpy as fuck. I'm grumpy as I'm grumpy right about Star Wars. What am I doing? Well, fuck, man. I shit. Clearly, maybe I'll just pack it up, dude. Just pack it up. Fuck it, dude. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't need this shit. You're letting you're letting the you're letting the chat get to you. This is rule number one: you can't let the chat get to you. No, nah, man. It's, if I'm moody, I didn't know this. I didn't know I was moody. But you said you were Anakin earlier. You know? Yeah, I thought I was. You know, just kidding. <laughs> you are not moody theory. Fair enough. Fair enough, man. It is what it is. Well, look, I think um, we all learned a valuable lesson tonight chat needs to shut the fuck up. homie if you knew how much fucking shit i deal with for the last six years you'd realize my skin's pretty goddamn thick but when it comes from in, inside my own circle that's when uh that's when it hits me yeah i mean like look that's real shit though like i said i think that the reason you got upset is because you felt like your boy was trying to make it a thing that's the truth right like you thought i was trying to make it a thing because i can't imagine you're actually upset that i disagree with you you think what, what it's, do I want? It, you think it's deeper than that, right? No, I don't give a shit if you disagree. I think right. I've said it a million times. I think everyone should have different opinions, but just be uh, respectful about it. 
Yeah, but like you got bothered because you thought it was more than that. You thought I was like trying to make it a thing. That's what you said, right? You were like, um, I forget the way you worded it. You said something like, what is, what are you doing right now? Or something like that. And it's mm -hmm. like, I'm not doing anything. Like, I'm not trying to do anything. I think that I've just maybe was a little more argumentative tonight than other nights, but that's because it felt like we dug in on that. You know what right. I mean? Like I wouldn't be argumentative unless it was like, yo, we've been having this argument for two hours. Do you know what I mean? And like, at some right. point, like, it's like, yo, like, yeah, man, like I, I don't know. You know what I mean? True. True. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I guess. Privileged white boy. Oh my God, Steve, what? Wow. Steve is just troll. That's got to be a troll, bro. Well, I'll say one thing. I've, I've definitely worked for everything I have. So. <laughs> Somebody's going through ridiculous. Wow. Damn, where the hell have you all been coming out of the woodwork? I know. Doesn't it kind of feel like that, though? Like a bunch of people. Like, is this like even my chat? Commenting, is this even like, my fucking chat? Yeah. This is not even my chat. It's like, it's Check weird. the poll. I don't want to, John. I don't want to look at the poll. Josh, what have you done? Yeah, no, my bad. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably like the best profile picture. I wonder if you just used one of those um, filters. Are there filters like that? Yeah, on Snapchat. Oh, man. I want to be fat. I'm going to look it. into that. I'll do it to you right now. Fat me up, bro. Fat me up nice and good. Then you can change yours to that, too. Mm, uh, maybe maybe Kathy is a chubby chaser. Bro, what's with you and, like, Kathy tonight, man? <laughs> like, stop about her. Yeah. I do like that Kathy, though. I did know a guy that actually legit had a thing for her. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, but this one, this filter isn't as good. You saying I'm not going to look as good fat or what? What are you saying? Look the other way. Wait, wait, wait. What do I do? I'll take the mic out of the way. Try to do this. No, the other way. Look the other way. Look the other way. Yeah. No, no, no. Straight, straight, straight. But then look the other way. There you go. Boom. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> that's pretty Yo, good. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's not bad. I might make the Just eyes look a little less uh, squinty or whatever, but uh, yeah, it's not bad. All right. Yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not as good. I think. I think mine is actually photoshopped. It's got to yeah, be. I think but he I actually like, take... he put a little care into that. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it's yeah. me. And it's me crying. One. Oh yeah. man. But I could take that one that you send me and make it look better. I could go into Photoshop and figure. Oh. Uh... Oh my god, dude! I'm trying to send mine to you. I sent yours to you, and it was fine. And it didn't send mine. It says your files are too powerful. <laughs> my file was too big. Holy shit! Really? <laughs> yeah, but that works. I don't know why that works. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I like that. I don't look too bad, actually. I could be a thick boy. It's called fat. It's called face app. Oh, face app. What you talking about? Just take the L. Yeah, no problem. I took the L. 100%. The theories weenie ego get threatened. I guess I have a very little ego. Wouldn't you say I have a big ego then? Theories gaslighting. I don't know what that's about. I gotta be honest. I don't know what he's gaslighting about. Uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> bro, bad vibes. No, bro. New profile picture brings good vibes only. Good vibes. Good vibes, guy. Good vibes. Okay, well, I'm gonna go play some Elden Ring. So, yeah, we oh. we outie, we outie. Yeah. Whoa, well, what interesting. Uh, oh, I mean, I didn't know. I mean, I I had a thing. I, I thought see, Kathy I was Kathy looking mommy. good. But I just thought Kathy and mommy. I didn't see. Uh, I didn't know she was like doing Pilates and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, the privileged way was talking about you guys when you're talking about how Tesla, not you, you and Josh are dope, and the arguments made for a good dynamic. Yeah. Uh, no, because that was a new comment. So. Nice. 
Dude, you gotta stop. Stop violating him. Stop violating him. Disagree. No, you're going down a path I can't follow. You're feeding no, the trolls great. right now. You're feeding they're the great. trolls. Yeah, don't let them get big. Oh my god. I'd love to take. I'd love your take on a Kenobi theory. I read on Reddit in the desert of Tatooine. There's a sacred temple where the sounds of. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they're getting creative with it, man. They're getting pretty creative. Oh, those will just never stop. And it's like I wish I could have like one eye that's like reading while I'm reading the, so like I know when to stop. Yeah, it's good for TV. Um, Better than reality. Josh wanted Star Wars theory to know he's no beta. I mean, no, that's not even it. Like, it's not a thing like that. It's just that I, look, I am. Fu- you know what it is? This is gonna it's sound a little super fucked. tonight. This is gonna sound a little fucked up, but I'm Polish, and the Polish are very stubborn people. We're very stubborn. So. I, that was just me being me, and that's it. That's it. You know, that's it. All right. Well, I'm gonna go game. So I'll catch you guys later. We hope you had fun, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. See you guys. Bye bye. Much love.